Seriously, on the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. If Bernie Sanders stuck his hand in my face like that, I'd snap a finger off. All right, Dan, that we know rude. you would. We know you would. That was rude. I know. We know, Dan. To then, a woman. And then you would fix it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> because, 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 That's because how you Bernie, for Bernie, Sanders, <laughs> Bernie Sanders would say, I'm going to sue you. I'm going to own you. I'm going to shut you. And you would say, Bernie, I am so sorry for losing my cool. Swing on over. I'll stin up that broken finger. No problem, buddy. Facelift on the side. Just <laughs> don't, yeah, facelift on the side. Morpheus with some Botox. And just don't let Steve or Jay know that we had this problem. <laughs> wow. you're, listening. you're listening to the Bum and the Love Sponge Show. <laughs> Broadcast rights for the Bubba the Love Sponge Show have been granted to this station by the Bubba Radio Network and is intended solely for the enjoyment of our listening audience. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or other use of this production without the express written consent of the Bubba Radio Network is prohibited. Tuesday, March 19th. Did Dan make it? Yes, I did. Jesus, are you kidding me? You like to slide right in, you know? No, no, I don't like to slide right in. I like to know what, what you know, when I'm going to the line of scrimmage, I like to know what players I have available. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? I, I couldn't get in the gate. For some reason, it locked me out. What do you mean it couldn't? Leave? I don't know. I think maybe I hit the code. I, did, I panicked because I hit it the wrong way, and I just kept hitting it and hitting it. And... All right, yeah. If you hit it the wrong way the first time, you got to wait like 10 seconds for it to reset. If you keep hitting it, it puts it in a lockout mode. Yeah. So you're out, out there. You don't have a clicker? I do. It's in the car. It's in Sarasota. It's my bad. That's... <sighs> Well, I'm not giving you a new. I'm not giving you a new clicker because I've responsibly, I've responsibly given you a clicker. And, I know. And you. So, is the car in Sarasota the one you traded in? No, it was. It was complicated. No, I, well, I mean, no, it's not. It's <laughs> not complicated. You have. I've given you a clicker for the gate that's in a car in Sarasota. Right. Now, are you ever getting this car back? Is yes. it Was it your trade in? No. For the Lambo. Nope. Well, what's it doing in Sarasota? Well. The, the Testarossa had an extra set of wheels, and so I had to bring those down. So I put those in the... Hashtag rich guy problems. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Please. please. <laughs> My Testarossa. Well, you asked, so he's telling you. He did All right, so anyway, what now? So your Testarossa is getting a wheel swap deal? No, I already have. I've been running on different wheels. The original wheels are really small, and it's hard to get good tires for small wheels. And they probably look real jobber compared to the bigger ones, because small wheels look stupid. They do. Right. But but you're selling it, so you're trying to return it back to stock? I just want to have the extra ones there, so I brought them down in the Cayenne, left the Cayenne there, brought the Lambo back, and then next week I'm bringing the Testarossa down, because I want to drive it one last time, and then I'll drive the uh, empty Cayenne back. Again, rich guy problems. <laughs> Where's our $10 property? Yeah, so, okay, so they have, they currently, the, what is it, is it Lamborghini of Sarasota? Yes. Do we not, now, how, and listen, Tampa's a much bigger market than, than Sarasota. Why do they have a Lamborghini, Ferrari, uh, I, why don't we have one? Well, the same reason they don't have a Ferrari one. There's a certain, like, radius between stores that they demand. And so once that one was built, I think that prevented one from Tampa. I think it's like 100 miles or something? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, Sometimes, yeah I've heard I've heard between 75 and 100, and that would be inclusive to, I mean, Sarasota's only about 50 Yeah, away. it's like 57 miles. Palm Harbor? Well, there's a Ferrari dealership in Palm Harbor, but I think they had to go all the way to Palm Harbor because the other one's in Orlando. Right. They, couldn't, they, go to, to, they Tampa. couldn't have it, like, on in Tampa anywhere. Too close. They needed that extra... 14 miles of northness yep. to, to be able to just because there is a ferrari in sarasota isn't there there's not in sarasota there's one like palm harbor and then in orlando and in like south florida did not does orlando have them here's the thing about orlando it's market 36 we're market 18 and i think they got every they got orlando's got lamborghini uh ferrari uh, They're all spread out, though, Bubba. Yeah, you know? but I'm just saying, like, no other city other than Miami has all the all the all those franchises, including Tampa. We're the second largest city in in Florida, and we get bitched out by Orlando when it comes to we don't have a Lamborghini dealership. But I bet you Orlando does. Yeah, they probably do. Yeah. Well, actually, you know what? I'm not sure if they do. I think they may just have one in South Florida. No, I think. I, well, let me ask. Let me ask. Ask old girl. She, actually, we don't even know that she's working. Let's see. Uh, good morning, Alexa. Or Alexa, good morning. Good morning. Okay, there you go. Bob Dylan's first album was released on this day in 1962. Oh, holy hell. Unlike its follow-up, which made him a household name with classics like Blowin' in the Wind, this first recording is not well known. It's a look at the artist before the times were. Hey, Alexa, shut up. 
I never got the Bob Stream Dylan thing. Oh, come on. Bob uh, Dylan was cool. I never. Nah, everybody, Roberts, let's get stoned. I, I, so I, they had back then, though. I like, mean, like, him and Neil Young confused. They did. They had Motown stuff. I mean, yeah, they had Motown. <laughs> they had the Beatles. Voice. They had the Elvis. They had Elvis. They had all kinds. When, when Bob Dylan was out, I never, I just never understood the Bob Dylan deal. And if you watch the making, I, I think it's on Netflix, the making of We Are the World. Remember they they all, when they all came together and sang? Yeah. So they invited him, and he was he's so all tore up. He was so up tore song. up, he couldn't even learn his lyrics. He was like, gah, 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 gah. he could. And then when they did the harmony, we are the world, we are th-. everybody saying that. You know, every, from Kenny Rogers to Cindy Lauper to Michael Jackson, you know, to every everybody sang the harmony, and then they did individual pieces. Well. Bob, Bob Dylan couldn't even sing the harmony because he was so effed up and stupid. He's still alive. He is? How? God. I think, right? Did, how much he he's worth? Did Bob Dylan's son have a bigger song than he ever had with the Wallflowers? Prob- uh, one prob- Headlight? Probably. Probably I mean, money-wise. No. Maybe not numbers. I mean, yeah, no, I mean, Bob... He's 82. He's not uh, dead. God bless him. Hey, Alexa, how much is Bob Dylan worth? Wow. Bob Dylan is worth an estimated 500 million U.S. dollars. What? <laughs> yeah, Bob, I think he did better than his son. Back wow. when you could get all your publishing yeah. rights, Bubba, you know? You could yeah. make money slinging CDs and records. Right. By the way, there is a Lamborghini dealership in Orlando. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. they got them all. Orlando's got them all, and Miami's got them all, and we get jobbed out in Tampa because of stupid-ass Sarasota. But did they feel that Sarasota might be more affluent? Is I think Sarasota is more affluent because it's got some money down there. Yeah, because Tampa, you know, you got to figure in Kenneth City and you know, <laughs> and, and, and Park, and East Pinellas Park, and then Tampa. Su- East Tampa, Suitcase City over by USF. Yeah. I mean, we got some real, 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 really bad areas of Tampa. They're on the come up though, Bubba. No, they're really not. Largo. Is there anything? Is there any? Is there any house in Largo worth over a? million dollars i mean is there there nice, will be in about three years is there, the yeah, things are going. Sets, sets will. is 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 lar is largo uh, uh is there any affluent areas like in largo everybody they're, calls it larghetto they're trying to make it uh i think uh just north of bel-air uh they're trying to make it that way in downtown they're building these like five hundred thousand dollar townhomes in downtown largo it's, it's nice. built, well, hold on the where is, is where's, nice. now where's downtown largo so at you, you know where the big largo central park is no, no. yes yes i, I do, I do. I was there I do. Last week. it's just north oh, yeah. it's uh yeah, actually it's technically nice. it would be uh west of that like what like near 49th and and gandy or uh, no seminal between seminal boulevard and uh, I don't know. Oh, I know where that big park is. So is it's it around by there. The com- that yep. community theater right that's there. Stu- yeah, that's well, stupid. kind of. Yeah, you, you, you Largo you sucks. No is. way, man. I spend a lot of time in Largo. Largo it, sucks. It's slightly depressing, but if you pop a Xanax on the drive, like everything's all good, man. Yeah, welcome yeah. to Largo. Pop a Xanny. Things will well, not pop be that a Zanny, bad. It feels like part of Tampa Bay when you're yeah. not on the Xanax. It feels like you're in another world. But, you know, Orlando's got some pretty, you know, like Apopka, and I mean, they got some pretty, you know, sketchy places, too. You know, oh, so, yeah, you know, yeah, I think we, well, outside of Kissimmee, I mean, Miami's got some real sketchy places. <laughs> the but, whole, all of it now is but, sketchy. But see, but if you but if you talk about a place like Sarasota, Sarasota doesn't have any sketchy places, I don't think. There's got to be a couple. I don't know. Let's do man. it. Let me investigate. So, are there any creepy places in, in Sarasota? So, well, it's like a Riverview, I think, is a little sketchy. River New, Riverview, Sefner. Yeah, and they like call, right over the Skyway, Sarasota? that little area. They call, is they call Sefner here in Tampa, they call it... Um, they Methner. Call, Methner, yeah. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> they oh, call I it. love Sefner. That's where I grew up. That. Yeah, Sefner in Tampa, right outside of Tampa, is called Methner because it is, you know, it's all full of meth and crack. Is that and, close to Zephyr Hills? No. No, no, no. No, no Zephyr Hills is just... Way I was actually it's in, like in between Brandon and Plant City. So Zephyr, you're going on I four. Zephyr Hills. Let me just tell you about Zephyr Hills. I was in Zephyr Hills last weekend picking up this my my old four wheeler that I'm trying to get fixed, and because my buddy One Eyed Billy had it, and that's where he lives is 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 land is the <laughs> Zephyr Hills area. <laughs> that makes sense. And actually, I'm not kidding you. I saw all two Confederate flags in Zephyr Hills. Oh yeah, I used to, I went there every day for four years. That's where Hornblasters was. <clears throat> yeah, and well, there's still that giant one off of seventy five and I four right there. Yeah, do they yeah. still have that one? Yeah, yeah, they change it out every couple of months <laughs> to clean it. 
I th- ah. Isn't it as big as a football field or something? Uh, not quite, but it's pretty large. It's the size of a uh, 18, 18 wheeler, I think. Yeah, What's, that sounds more realistic. How do they how do they clean it? Like pressure wash it? I have no idea. I, I you can't I put assume. it in a washing machine. No. Tide, tide pods. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I know. You, I would think that you'd have to probably lay it down on the ground. And then you know maybe gently power wash it. You know not like, like uh, with a, a not, not not a power or maybe just hand scrub it with a brush and water. What's bigger, that Confederate flag or the uh, the Bucks flag that they have at uh, at one Buck place? Probably they're about the same size. They're probably, they're similar. They're probably the same manufacturer. Jeez, <clears throat> for real. Has anybody watched uh, the Lawman uh, Bass Reese? I started it back when uh, obviously Yellowstone was never coming back. Man, it's pretty good. He, oh my God, Dan, you've not. You're probably not even familiar with it. No, you? it's called. And, and by the way, it's 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 from Tyler Sheridan. Yeah, okay, he's good. So who's come up with? My God, we could say, Tulsa King, uh, of um, uh, what was the mayor of mayor of, mayor of Kingstown. Kingston? That's a great one. Thanks uh, for um. Young, recommending that uh, Yellowstone, 19, 18, 18, 1883, yeah. 1923. Um, and now this one here, which I don't know. I sent you the trailer. The Yeah, it's called, um, it's called Lawman, Lawman. Bass Reeves. Yeah, when they came out, I, I thought it was kind of going to be cheesy, but. No, it's, it's it is. And this, I don't know who this African-American actor is, but he is so talented and does such a great job. I need to find out who this dude is because he might be my new, my new favorite black actor. Probably I mean, my favorite black actor would be um, Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington. Yeah. I think that's everyone's favorite. He's yeah. like, you know, this guy here, man. So, Dan, this is basically um, the, 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 this, this documentary. No, this, it's not a documentary. It's a mini. It's, it's on Paramount Plus, mm-hmm. and it's called Lawman Bass Reeves. And basically what it is, Dan, is there's this African-American man who was fighting for the Confederacy. A lot of times during the Civil War, um, Confederate men— Confederate soldiers who owned slaves would make their slaves come with them to fight. Nothing like a slave fighting for slavery. No, yeah, yeah, true. I mean, tough, but that's how tough, that, tough gig. That, that, not fair gig. No, I mean, and but then now the Union had a bunch of African Americans too because those dudes were like, man, we got to free our brothers down south, right? Well, and no, we, and also no. gave them freedom. Right. They were if you fought in the in the military for the North, they would often just give you freedom. Right. That. Yeah, but that was only halfway through the Civil War. The Emancipation Proclamation was 1863. The war started in 1861. Yeah, but 1863 didn't pro- emancipate. I'm not the, the talking soldiers. about that. I'm talking about this this document. This this. All right. Series. Sorry. Back okay. to Series. Series. Which is so a, there a was story. a civil war. Yes. And in the civil war, <laughs> in, in the civil war, in this particular movie, in this particular eight series uh, show, the uh, Confederate man, man, the Confederate man who was a major in the Confederate army, brought his slave Bass Reese to fight with him. Well. The Confederate soldier who was a major, I forget what his name. He uh, was uh, 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 William uh, Reeves. Yeah, he was, William, uh, like well, a, uh, he was well, some of the Arkansas yeah, State. William, William Reeves, which, which that's why Bass has his last name. I guess slaves, I guess, automatically assumed your last name. I'm assuming that. I'm, yeah. Right? A lot of times, yes. <clears throat> and so he got into an argument with the, with the, with the general. Uh, you know, this, he's gotten into a you know uh, an argument like you know, we're we're getting our ass kicked because you forgot to have the supply train come in. You know, kind of got adversarial to the to the general during this meeting. The white guy or the black guy? No, the white guy, the okay. the the soldier. The black guy was just a slave at that at that point. And uh, so the general told uh, the major major Reese uh, to get the hell out of here. You're out of here. Kick, kick, we're kicking you out of my, my out of my arm, which was the best thing to ever happen. I mean, you know, if you're in the Confederate Army and they kick you out and don't tell you to go home, man, and then the result happens, which happened, meaning, you know, your team got beat, but they told you to go home before they got beat. Chances are you might still be alive. Right? Yeah, I can imagine a German soldier that was released in 1944 is like loving it. You know, He's, yeah, he avoided that hey, disaster. Listen, buddy, you know what? You well know in Germany they just took you down there and killed you. That, yeah, they, they put. We they actually did. had we actually had more you know c- civility here uh, in America in the 1800s than the Germans did in the 40s. But we we were kind of stiff on them after the war. I mean, we rounded up all the German soldiers and kind of made them sit outside for a few months. Right, Lundin? good, yes, good, good. 
Patton, they, they, Patton was kind of a dick to him. He should have been. They did. They, <laughs> they, they actually, a lot of German soldiers They're participated. They're putting those guys on trial now after all these Good. years. Good. Remember so anyway, let me tell you this, the story here. So this uh, the slave, uh, uh, Bass Reese, and his, and his owner go back to the plantation because they got kicked out of the army, out of the Confederate, uh, uh, Confederate army. And they go back. <clears throat> well, um, the... Uh, What's his name? Uh, Mr. Reese gets drunk one night and tells uh, Bass to come into the to the big house, and uh, we're going to play a game of poker uh, for your freedom. And uh, so you know, like, because you stood by my side in battle, like you know, uh, Bass, the 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 slave named Bass, he always had his his his. I guess you call, was his master, right? I mean, I yeah. he always had his guy, his back, you know, never could have deserted at any time, but just was like loyal, just an absolute loyal dude. Now, so, does the slave know how to play poker? I don't, I guess. That might be not very fair if he doesn't know how so, to play. Yeah, so, they used to play poker a lot. Oh, yeah. okay. That was so, that's like one of the bonding things. They, it's, it's, a, it's one hand. Okay. It's one hand. Either if you be, you know, if I beat you, if the master beats uh, Re, uh, Bass, he he still stays a slave. And if uh, Bass beats the master, he's got he. And the master even said, "I'll sign the papers." I guess you had to have these papers signed to emancipate uh, your slaves. And so, if you would get caught walking down the road or something, you could show him your papers yeah, from your master, and that you were a freeman, right? And there was a certain set of papers he had, and he had the papers ready to fill out and everything. So they go to ha- they go ahead and dial they go ahead and uh, and and deal up the cards. And um, uh, uh, Bass has, it looks like, a, a, what is this, a flush or a straight lummy of spades? Yeah, I think it was straight a straight flush. flush. Yeah. A straight flush. Yeah, I, think he, so, yeah. He, I think he had a straight flush, and he, but he had, a, he had all these spades, but he had a queen of hearts, okay? So when you discard and get, you know, you can, you, you can, you, you, you know, when you're playing Texas Hold'em or whatever, is that, is that Texas Hold'em? It's probably five card draw. Yeah, yeah five, five card, card draw. draw. When, they, yeah, when you play yeah. five card draw, you, you know, the cards that you don't want, you discard and the dealer hands you those many cards back. Well, uh, Bass only wanted, he, the only card that hurt him was the Queen of Hearts, right? Yeah. So he, he gets, uh, um, puts the Queen of Hearts to the under, underneath the deck and gets his card back and it's a spade. Um, but it's not like a super Rambo, super flush. It's just like a regular, you know, regular a, flush. Yeah, he's, I think he's got a Jack ten nine eight three, something like that. All still in, not bad. <clears throat> all in spades. So, uh, the 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 master calls out, calls call and and and, and Bass throws his cards down, and, and the master goes, "Oh, that's a good hand, you know. It's a good hand, you know. That beat most hands, but it doesn't beat four of a kind." And he lay now. Hold on, and he lays his cards down, and within his cards of a four of a being four of a kind is a queen of hearts. Oh no! And so Bass, who never talked back, never ever 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 ever, you know, was disrespectful to his master, said, called him a cheater. He said, you're, a, you know, kind of got, got, you know, well, I'll tell you what he ended up doing. He ended up beating him, almost beating him to death. Oh. <clears throat> Did he show up the card at the bottom of the deck? No. He just said, you cheated. He, you cheated. And they got into a big argument. So uh, the, the, the bass, the slave, Absolutely beat the brakes off the master. Yeah. I mean, it looked like. <laughs> is this it, the scene we're about to watch? Yeah. Well, I don't know. This is this the trailer. trailer. This is the trailer oh. of the whole entire series. But I'm just telling you, this is Django stuff, beat, right? Oh, it's 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 Django light. Django. Yeah, yeah like Django, yeah, Django was Django a little was top. bloody man. When, remember when Django was in that one opening foyer scene and he would blow people and they go from here to you know the, the yeah, pond. I loved it. I, I love Django. I loved it. And I, and I, he's, my, he's my favorite African American actor. Yeah. That's right. Jamie Foxx. He, he Jamie, Fo- Jamie Foxx is my number two guy. But this, so the, this new dude, this unknown, I don't think this African American actor is like a, a really high name. His name is like, David. Ula Wawo. Oh well, he's is he even American? I don't know. Oh. So anyway, Dan. So the so he he, he beats the crap out of Masta. Massa go, go, goes down and sees his his wife, gets her pregnant. All right. The, the white uh, white lady. No, no, no. Get your wife pregnant. No, 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 no. Not the master. Like his, oh, oh, oh. the ma- the. I'm like the, she's the, probably old as hell. The slaves. He goes and Got sees it. goes and sees his wife. Told her what he just did. I just beat the master up. 
bad. And she says, you know, so they make love because. Oh, I thought he got this, the master's no. wife pregnant. No, oh. she's so, like seventy. Oh, so, okay. so he goes and sees his his oh, African American wife. And says, I got to go. I got to take up a horse and, and then get the hell out of here. I got to get out of here. And so they, they blast one more time, which did create a baby. And he goes out on his own now. And at the end of the day, reconnects with his wife and becomes, and, and this is, I think, a. Don't based, spoil it, Bubba. No, but he, I'm not going to spoil it. But he becomes the first, I think the story's <laughs> loosely knit around. The f- the very first African American U.S. Marshal. Yeah, no, it's a real story. The Marshal's an African American. Yes, ba- ba- <laughs> Bass Reeves is a real person. He when he beat up, he lived with the Indians for uh, or the Americans so, uh, for two years. After he after he left the master's place to hide out, he went and lived with the Chippewa Indians. So yeah, he, so he knew Indian. How did too. they not freaking? They kill loved him. him. They loved him. He's not a white man. He's the furthest thing from <laughs> yeah. a white man. He's oppressed uh, too. The, right. The, the, exactly. only, it, the only thing the Indians hate are the white man. Right. You, you smooth ass brother rolled up in here that learns the language. Man, you're our friend, buddy. And so anyway, is this a he, movie or a show? It's an eight-part series. Oh, my oh goodness. My no, but, goodness. But hold on. I, I, bi- I binge-watched it. It was so damn good and got through all eight last weekend. Oh, wow. And so, but I will tell you, so this this is loosely net on the very, in real life, in real life, the very first African-American U.S. Marshal. The real Bass Reeves. Oh, there's a big, yeah. there is a real Bass yes. Reeves. Yeah. Oh, it's a, it's yes. a true story. Yeah. Yes, right. I mean, yes, it's a true story. It's, do you love slave revenge films, Bubba? No, but I love uh, a bad Ass former slave going to be the marshal and being the baddest man there ever is and whipping people's ass. Yeah, I love that. I love when white people, even you know, like even after the Civil War and the uh, uh, Emancipation Proclamation, even after all that, it took in some parts of Texas, it was two or three years it took for the for the news to get down there. Juneteenth. So they would have you know these these slaves who were federally free. But the news hadn't gotten to Texas. That or the white man wasn't letting them know the news. Yeah, they were giving them newspapers and teaching them how to read. So what, here's the trailer. As soon as you go, so, I don't know. Oh, damn. You would have been a cool ass slave owner, Bubba. I would have been a cool yeah. slave owner because yeah. you and I would have done it. Like, a lot of fellas, pudgy small slaves. No, I would have said, I would have said, shut up, Dan. Where's my, where's my, where the hell it? Pu- oh, no, it's so early. Yeah, I know, my lord. <laughs> Morning zoo, what, on Z100. what a bunch of pudgy ass slaves! Small slaves, small slaves. <laughs> so much, yeah, so much, you man. <laughs> you're calling me. You're saying that I'm fat. No, I'm saying you'd have no, sex you'd... with all the slaves. Yeah, I would. I know you would. <laughs> but I'm, <laughs> you what, 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 what makes them? What makes them pudgy? <laughs> well, I don't know. Okay then. Well, even the why boy... don't you say well, there'd be a bunch of biracial slaves running around? Biracial there? Biracial slaves all over the place, light skin brothers. So, here, so listen. If I was a slave owner, I'd just go down there and say, "Listen, guys, you know, I guess I technically own you and everything." Who wants to get on top <laughs> and spin? No, 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 no. Sorry, I'm talking to the men out there doing the work. I would be like, listen, we got so much work to get done today, but when we get done, we're going to have, you know, we can drink and, and, and get high and, and, and eat. And I don't like whipping people. Like, I don't want, don't, don't, I don't want, there's no whippings. Or, I don't like whipping people. I don't, I don't. I don't <laughs> yeah, I'd be, no, but I'd be like, listen, I don't, there's some slave owners that tie you to trees and whip you and everything. And I'm not all about any of that nonsense. Okay. So, you know what? Be respectful to me and I'll be respectful. And if you want some, if you want a vacation, just ask. I, I <laughs> a vacation? You know You're what doing vacation? Yeah. yeah. I, I'll give you my best horse. I, I, I'll be, I'll be, we, we have to stay on property, of course. You know, Staycation. So I have, I have, I have, I have the slaves build a couple real nice little little, little you know, like, cabanas. Yeah, a couple that you know that are only for the slaves that are on vacation. <laughs> right. So, so can, now listen, can you imagine if you went to a slave and you went, you know, Jim, what? Listen, usually you have to go out there all day and work in the field and your wife's got to work and all this kind of stuff. But listen, for the entire week of next week, you get to go on one of my little slavecation uh, uh, condos and you eat and drink and lay out in the sun and do whatever. I mean, goes down over the creek and goes swimming. You don't have to work for an entire week. Do you know how much that would be? I mean, slaves, slaves would be coming from all around to come hang exactly. out with you, Bubba. Exactly. Please buy <laughs> me. Yeah. Then I'd have Christmas and be like, you know, listen, you got slaves need presents, too. 
So I, I tell I tell my 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 I tell the merch crick when you go into town when you go into town <laughs> other skirt. slave my other slave when you go into town pick up some gifts for the slaves you know they need I want them opening up something for Christmas okay, too you you had work slaves and sex slaves all different types I mean, of I have, slaves I know I just have happy slaves would you happy let slaves. the slaves hook up with yeah. Merch Crick? Oh, no, no. Hell yeah. So, so Bob, BBC. So how, how would you navigate, like, you know, hooking up with the slaves if they're married and stuff like that? Yeah, just, listen, I, he's I so pull that cool one. of a slave owner, they let him. Because of the slave, slave well, vacations? I, I go, to, yeah. I go, to, I go to, <clears throat> to, the, to the dad and say, listen, you know, your daughter's 21 and she's fine as hell. And, uh, you know, I'd, I'd like to... You That's know, where you have her come work on the inside uh, of the house. She, right. uh, can I have her come in and, you know, maybe just you know do the dishes and stuff and, you know... Maybe I can take some uh, some some liberties with her sexually. You know what I'm saying, sir? Can I please rape her? Is that what you're asking? It's probably just, no, just better to it's just not do it, rape. Bubba. It's oh, not, oh, not sorry, rape sorry. when sorry. your dad says it's okay. Well, he's not going to say, oh, she's 21. I she's 21. Her dad has I got, no control. I got a Steve Diaco consent form ready to go. She just signs her little slave name right there, and we have fun. Well, I mean, I don't think the dad's going to say no to you, the uh, owner, too, so... I mean, I and I'm like, clear. listen, you know what? If you say yes to me, Jim, I'll give you an extra week on the slavecation condo. Deal. <laughs> slavecation. Yeah. Oh, jeez. And and thing about it is, man, they get the g- great food. Right. You know, whatever they whatever they want, they get. And you know, and then you know how you know how the slaves would love you if you're just cool. If the slave owners just would have been cool, said they're just a bunch of dicks. Or like well, actually, you know, actually, a lot of slave owners really took care of their slaves because it was their property. It was like, you know, not it's like not taking care of your house or I'd not taking their, care I'd of your their, car. I'd be their friend. I'd be like, I'd be like, man, no, don't call me Massa. Call, yeah. me, call me Bubba. They take advantage of that after a while. They would knock you out and then they would flee. Yeah, and yeah. But I always it, had this fantasy of, of writing a movie where the slaves just, you know, overtook overtook the South. It was because they could. It's called Django. No, no, but all of them, all <laughs> once, like they, like they had Django this, made all. His, he made all his slave owners of his bitch, did he not? Yes, he yeah, it's like they had this deal, like on a certain date, they would know because of the way the moon and the stars were. And yeah. then oh, on like that day, Hamas? they'd all wake up and just <laughs> uprise at the same time and coordinate it because they had a language that the Southern Americans couldn't speak, and they could you know communicate that way. And I, I just Ride thought it'd it, be Dan. a really neat movie. Right, it, Dan. We'll get Paramount Plus to pick it up. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> so anyway, watch the. This is this dude right here. Oh, this is all for the buildup of the trailer. Yeah, this dude Holy right moly. here, Bass Reese, who is in history goes down, I guess, as one of the very. Now, you know how tough it was to be. First of all, it was it was it was just you know six, eight, nine months after the Civil War, African Americans are still looked down upon, and all the U.S. Marshals are white dudes who hate black guys, right? And, and like so, this dude so kick ass and so badass and so fair and so honest and just the salt of the earth that he rises to the rank of U.S. Marshal for all of like uh, Eastern Arkansas. And I mean, he, uh, it's just, it's, it's, this dude, this guy's the. Oh my God, I'm yeah, such a, I'm the, such a the, mark for this dude. You play the, it? They were saying about yeah, how play. because he knew all the like the native, he could speak Native American yeah. and stuff like that. Dan, so. the average U.S. marshal would be killed in six to nine months because it was just really? the, it, was, it was the Wild West out there. Wow, you know, literally they would stagecoach robbery, and if let's say you were traveling with your family and you had a stagecoach and you you spent the night underneath a tree, you know, as you're tra- and then these bandits would come up on like five or six dudes come up and sh- you know, shoot your entire family and steal all because you got to admit I can only imagine the kind of luggage you guys would have all that real high dollar Paris stuff you know <laughs> Dan would have like oh, a yeah. 48 horsepower uh, carriage yeah, I mean Dan, he'd be right. able to get the hell Dan out of there Dan would have like, hold on most <laughs> most most settlers that were going across the plains had like two horses Dan had the Anheuser-Busch Clydesdales <laughs> <laughs> I had nine of them nine of them like Santa and, his Claus. Going, his, and the one horse could even catch up with, with Dan's wagon <laughs> right. you know you know usually wagons would go real slow you know what i'm oh, saying not mine. dance would go fi- like they'd be like man we want to rob that guy but we can't catch him even on a single horse <laughs> son of a bitch i'm losing trains and, and, and all of his all of his horses have gold everything on everything <laughs> so anyway here's 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 the trailer it might get 
Let me. I, I would highly suggest you pick it back up. If, okay. If you, it is. It is unbelievable. It's called Lawman Bass Reeves. I don't know how long it's been out. I don't think it's been out. That so did, long. I think, yeah, in November. So not too long. Oh, so this isn't something that's been around floating around for six no, years. No, no. Here we go. Here okay. we go. Here. We go. You a lawman or an outlaw? Bit of both, I reckon. Tyler Sheridan, who does everything. I need a man with a good gun and a straight spine. You up for the task? I wouldn't be sitting here in my Sunday best if I wasn't. Around these parts, we might be men. They're just killers. All thieves. I took an oath to protect everyone. I ain't about to quit this. David, what's it? David, I don't know. You find a that is crazy, though? Yeah. 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 What would you do to hold on to it, to protect it? You got to the count of five to get the hell off my lane. Lady, you got two shells in that bird killer. Then I just shoot you twice. <laughs> just to be silly. <laughs> that, hold on, that, by the way, that's Lance's Girl, wife. You do what you do. That's Lance's you know wife. What? She's badass. Yeah. ain't afraid of much. But the real power lie beneath the badge. I thought you'd never ask. So it's like a buddy comedy. Like a what? Like a buddy comedy? Like this guy and the uh, the, the white slave owner, they're like best friends? No. Oh, okay. there's, 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 there's a lethal weapon? There, hold on, there's nothing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like lethal weapon? There's, there's nothing. No. It's not the slave version of lethal weapon. No. 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 The white guy pulls it's, it's out about, a Beretta. It's about an African American who goes on to be like the best U.S. Marshal in the history of U.S. Marshals. He had 11 kids. Holy cow. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Damn. He'd come home. He'd, he'd be on the road for like 40 days trying to catch his back. Guys, and he'd get home for like two days, and he'd just pound mama, pound the crap, pound the crap on a mama, and then by the time he'd get back, she'd be you know gestating or whatever the hell it was, Men menstruating. Yeah, well, having a kid. Okay, gestating. Yeah, right. but then, but so. <laughs> You just you, this. You just gotta. Oh my God! This trailer doesn't do it. Any nude scenes? Uh, no, 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 really? no. You don't get to see it naked. Oh, hold on here. By the way, Dan, they showed they showed hangings, you know, because uh -huh. when you did bad things back then, like if you'd go rob a stagecoach and Bass Reeves would come go find you and bring you back into the to the jail to face the judge, mm -hmm. the judge always gave you a hanging. Right. That old timer always gave you a hanging. But so they, they would take him up to the what was that? Gallows. The, to the gallows, and there was three positions. And the, what would happen is they would put the rope on your neck, and then the floor would drop out from underneath Ugh. you, and it would hang you. But, Dan, I noticed on all the hangings, they didn't have the knot to the side of the neck. Oh, they and, dicked them over. And so, no, what, well, but what I'm saying is maybe they didn't know. Maybe the people who wrote the show did not know, you know, what I, because you said, and, you know, being a doctor, that if you ever see somebody being hung, that if the neck, if the rope, not. Not, if the knot of the big rope wasn't on the side of the neck, then it didn't snap the neck, but instead they just died of strangulation. Yep. So in less than, it was only a very quick and not as painful death when the knot was on the side of the neck. And, and, every, and all the hangings they showed in this one here. Uh, the the knot was in the back of the, in the back of their neck. Yeah, well, the historian failed. Unless they were just trying <laughs> no, to be no, no, really no. nasty no, to those they people, weren't. they, and were they trying, wanted them to just they suffer. Didn't, they didn't. They were trying, and because when they showed the footage, it it showed their neck snapping immediately, immediately as if they were instantly killed. So oh. intellectually, they got it wrong. Yep, sure did. Intellectually, they got it wrong. Come now, on. if they would have shown the guy going ah. You know, kicking around, that would have been intellectually honest. Yes. But since the rope is in the back, they died. Te you, the, it, it, I guess, Dan, it cannot snap your neck if it's in the back. It's much less likely to snap your neck. I guess it could. Unless but... you're heavy like me and my neck's just coming, my uh, whole head's coming off. My body's got so much, you know, inertia. That you think my, the body's just going to hit the ground yeah, and your head's going to be stuck at the top? Should we just give, if we are thinking about doing that, should we just give the knot to Dan to tie for us just so we know everything's going to be I can okay? Tie those knots. I don't think okay. we should even be thinking about that stuff. Yeah, that's not. No. Okay, well. I'm warning you. Your wicked days are done. 
hip hop. I think we should bring back those thick mustaches too. I like them. Oh, he's got a real stash on him, yeah. man. He really does. Real man stash. Oh, yeah, those little he, thin ones. He, and he's oh my god, he's such Carl a badass. Winters. Hey, Bubba, uh, yeah, I could never go that thing. That movie looks like it sucks. It's not a movie. Well, it's a series. It's, 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 it's a series, and it's probably not targeted to Jewish people like you. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry just, it's not about I'm, baseball cards. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry it's not about, you know, the 86 Bobby Bonds, okay? I'm sorry. It's that a, looks like a cool movie, Bubba. I like, I like I stories like that. I, I think you would watch it because you're in the kind of like the Western grit, I like US, the grit. Yeah. U.S. Marshall, you know, that kind of deal. And I like history. And, 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 the, and listen, the underdog guy wins. He prevails. He overcomes, you know, this is about overcoming obstacles, too. I mean, do you know how tough it is to roll around in 1865 in Arkansas as a free African-American? Yeah, it was like trying to, you know, roll around jerseys uh, as an Italian back in the 80s. You were discriminated against. No, you Shut it, up. What? Hell, I wasn't. What? I was discriminated Jersey, against as a kid. Uh, hold, on, slave? J- j- hold on. New Jersey in 86 was nothing but Guido <laughs> Fest. Are you kidding me? I'm, you had to be Italian to be even hang out on the boardwalk. And you were still discriminated against. Bull my dad crap. My dad had to have a special favor called in because New they had Jersey an Italian built- quota when he was a resident in the 60s. An Italian quota. You could only have so many Italians in their residency program. Yes, back in the day. That was Italians him, not white. you. That wasn't you. That okay. was him. Okay, my area guy's confused. Italians aren't white. There you go. There's a positioning statement that we need to get. They weren't until the 60s. Italians weren't white until the 60s. And that was from that was from the president of the NAACP when I went to that, that banquet a year and a half ago with, with him as the lecturer. And he was highlighting the fact that Italians were not considered white until the 60s. Well, they, were, Ita- they were a fringe race. So can Italians maybe celebrate Juneteenth too? I mean, you're right. Oh, I mean, we we got, we got Columbus Day taken away from us. <laughs> by the God. way, by the way, um, I'm not really going to talk about it yet, but maybe during today's show, I will talk about our latest promotional item we have. The thing. The thing. Oh, it's so exciting. Yes, it's going to be uh, sponsored oh. by Diaco Law, Woo-hoo. and uh, it's a thing. Oh, Doctor Dan's right. And, 1965. What? The Italians became white. Yep. I'm not making that up. I'm not Welcome. trying to be. I'm not pandering or trying to be, you know, tintillating. I'm being accurate. And 19, boy, that's. And you were born the next year. Yeah, I was born a white man. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. God. So you've never been since <laughs> since in 19. Damn, trying to change that ever since. Gestationally, I wasn't white when I was gestational. No, you know, what, my, I'm saying, my, my was, what I'm saying right, is, Jesus. you've never had to live the day of. Uh, you've never in your lifetime because the law was passed in 1965, a year before you were born. Right. You the, the and that law being that Italians are. Considered Considered white, right? You've never had to live as anything other than a white man. Listen, I was conceived no, as a non-white true. man, but I was born as a white Trans man. Race. Conceived, please. What do you identify as, Dan? I identify as uh, a rich as... douchebag. <laughs> if you want twenty-four-seven on-demand, Bubba and the crew, go to bubbaarmyhq.com. The Bubba the Love Sponge Show will be back after this. Either. Are Jews white? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Not just other ones. Hey, Baba. Why? Oh. And then you got a lot of stuff going on in between sets and stuff like that, but I'd love to take you outside for 30 seconds. Bet you would, big guy. Oh, you would. Then you roll up. All right, let's go out there now. Okay. Taking me out to the wood shop, to the wood pile. I think you need an air grip. No, 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 no. Thank you. God bless. <clears throat> it's about the size. It's easier. Okay. It's cold out. What's up, sluts? All right, guys, AMA, ask me anything. I don't think anybody else is in here. What up, Gary? What up, Longwood? Good work on the video, Gary, with Rhett. You're damn right, Big Grease. 
<laughs> what up, Rubs? Roman, what up? Ty J. Hell yeah. Uh, I think I just hit them up a day or two ago. I'm never too far behind you, though, Ty J. Ty J. Armstrong? Don't talk to Ty J. Ty J. Armstrong? Yeah. Are you going to fake Ty J in there? Yeah. No. Why, Ty J. Armstrong? What up, Spencer? What's up, Brian? Timothy? Longwood. Dave Cush, she's doing good. Hey, I think he accidentally zelled me a hundred dollars yesterday. Oh. Yeah, I hate the Cubs. I mean, I used to hate them a lot more. Now I just am almost indifferent about line. baseball until the White Sox get better. What up, Kurt? Tony Lewis is going to turn them around. Who is? Tony La Russa. Oh, jeez. Is he still their coach? La Russa, nah, he's a, uh, he's a, uh, fucking, nah, he's like an advisor. They suck. That was you 61 months. The Flavius Rogers nerd. Gary. Yeah, the, oh. I think a Lamborghini's probably got two Hemis. That's why it's so fast. There we are. What up, John Elway? What's up? Brandon I don't know, Clark. Brian. I, uh, there's a couple of, of, I'm more familiar with some players than teams. This kid, Zach Eady from Purdue, who's 7 is intriguing. I know North Carolina's got some ballers. Yeah, Kentucky's got a couple of, uh, first round picks group? on their team. Oh, I'd love to take it for a ride to it. Six. We will, but I don't know right now. You can't really appreciate the pictures do no justice for them. No, it's ridiculous in person. I sold the Jeter, uh, Jeter card. Uh, Jeter, what are cards are worth? Yeah, of course. You can have a public driver, I love driving. Um, I don't know if we have time. He's what up, Somerville, South too. Carolina? And commercial breaks. Drive. Just put this in the fridge. What up, Glowbug? Pippi Short Stroker, Yinzer, Chub It Up, Rusty Taint, Grouper Lips, Jay Gator, Oscar, Tire Pressure's fucking good. Real strong. Yinzer, what it do, what it do. Andy the Hogs go 65 months. Go Pippi, 65 I got your months. email. Low bug, I did not get your email because you didn't send me one. Hello. Berto, sounds good, buddy. What up, Duck God? What's up, Berto? Oh, card Ron, what's up? Brian Bailey, Seth, Seth, Hootie. Did a lot of new names in here on, on uh, YouTube. What's up, Kirk Never? Good name. Kenny Powers. No, you sent me an email, Grouper Lips. 3,400 pounds. Who did you Weight comes with three engine options, Kubota, Kohler, Very and Yamaha easy. diesel. All 25 horse. Four mile an hour ground. The Jackal. Spencer. I mean, I do a little scad gimmick, so. Okay. I need easy. the air jet. No problem. Morning. Yeah. Nobody be smart asses on oh, Damn right, BMD. Yes, he does, Kurt Niebuhr. All right, because my emails get backed up pretty fast, so. I get a lot of emails. More than I've ever gotten in my life. <laughs> what up, Jay Bowler? The snake in the grass, baby. It's up kicks for guns to X. The blips. Fuck off. I don't think so, Lorenzo. Ramen. Absolutely, Yoko. No, we get emails like anytime somebody leaves a comment on Rumble, anytime something's ordered on Amazon, like anything, we, we get the emails for it. So it's hard to find the. Uh, you get weird emails like, hey, I'm Bubba's old hairstylist. Can you get him this, you know, email? It's weird stuff.
sure you subscribe to Bubba Army HQ. Otherwise, Bubba will have to take action. And there's a lot of power behind those short arms. You're listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Now back to the BRN. <laughs> that was actually funny. What? Is Jay here? That was mine. Oh, hold on. I'm looking at something. I'm looking at something, and it shows... I'm on Rumble right now, Lummy, and it shows Jay in there. Are you on yesterday's show? My, yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, you got to close your tabs at the end of the day. Oh, okay. That's I'm probably so a Rumble sorry. tab from like a week ago. Pro- thank you. Thank you, Rat. Appreciate you. I got to tell you, man. Um, I didn't really appreciate Dr. Dan, Dr. Dan Diaco's uh, brand new Lamborghini off-road Willie. I didn't really appreciate it. In fact, I was borderline clowning it yesterday, like saying, whatever. He, if you you guys, if you want to look at it, it's in the part he drove it today. Nice. Wow! So is he Dan Bergini? I, he is Dan Bergini, and I profusely very I like love busting Dan's balls. I do, but no, yeah, but, but I gotta I gotta I gotta rewind and and apologize about any clowning that I may have done with regards to his new Lamb- Lamborghini. This thing looks like the Batmobile. It is. I would sell. I don't know how many. Ex- I, I, I don't know how many exotic cars you have, but like you, o- you only need one. You can only drive one at a time. Correct. So, like, uh, this would be the car I would drive. Like, I this car is. Um, what's it called? It's a Lamborghini. Stur- what? Storato. Storato, and they only made fifteen hundred of them. Yep. Wow. I was. I thought it was good when Jay actually said it was a good car because Jay's usually a dick to Dr. Yeah, 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 he <laughs> Jay, chops me. <laughs> Jay, Jay and Dan are, are car aggressive. Yes. Where they, you know, they're, they, they don't ever want to give the other guy the nod that he's got a pretty badass car. They want to tear it right to part. But when Jay yesterday said, "Mo, this was a car that I that I would own or that I, you know, like that that like if jay probably after seeing it now dan if he had an opportunity i don't think you can buy any because they're all spoken for right. and there was a two year waiting list for it so mm-hmm. i don't think jay could buy one well he calls i'd call Zay in a row on him you do what well like copyright like oh my god oh you'd call a uh, oh, a, yeah. a biter infraction yes yeah. yes, yes. Had, now have any uh, ever during the tenure of your guys as being in car competition ever owned the same car well, we own the same race car for about a second. No, no, I, race cars don't matter. That's those, those aren't the ones that you're driving on the road. And we own sequential um, Cayennes, but that doesn't really. It's not the same car. But so I guess the answer is no. Yeah. How about women? No. Well, let's not get into that because you lied, Dan. But anyway, um, it's let's yeah. We can't get into that, Romina. We have we have verification that Romina listens to the show. Oh, I thought it was before the time we could talk about it. Mm-mm, no, oh, I just got to no, look for she, Dr. Dan. Sorry. Yeah, he, yeah. X nay on yep. the me and Jay did an Eiffel Tower a. Yeah, okay, exactly a. <laughs> yeah, dumbass oh. a. You you want me to want me to start talking about your exploit exploitation? I wasn't of talking one. about that. I was just saying about like let your poor woman. What if your wife had to hear? You know that you were tag teaming with me, me back in the day. Oh, oh what? Jesus. What you got? No, no, no. We never did. But I mean, if 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 she heard that, she wouldn't be happy about it. I was no. I, I was just saying about is there a girl that maybe Dan had that Jay wanted, and you know. Let me ask. Let me answer this question, okay? <laughs> Keep digging a digger. Dan, Dan, <laughs> I think Lummy and Bubba banged somebody, Dan, but that's no, we yeah. never did. No, Dan. Dan I wish. When Dan was <laughs> in medical school, his younger brothers were at Florida State. Steve and Jay. Yes. And Dan had already gone through undergrad, and now he's in medical school at the University of Florida. And when you're a medical school student, that, you know, he did his undergraduate work at Duke, which is pretty impressive, and then went and did and started and did, went, medic, went to medical school in Gainesville at the University of Florida. So Dan was already, he was in med school, and being in med school, I mean, Dan, how many years of med school were you in when they were, when they were freshmen or sophomores at FSU? I was a freshman freshman in medical school when Steven was a uh, sophomore, or, I mean, a junior, and Jay was a freshman in college. Right. So Dan would roll up as the older brother, and, you know, Dan is an attractive man, and Dan was already, you know, like, you know, had a Porsche. I, like, I don't know how you pulled that off. I mean, because, you know, med, med, med school students don't really make a lot of money, but you somehow pulled it off. So here comes, you know, you got a freshman and a junior at Florida State and their big brothers come into town 
to, to for the you know for the football game and Jay and Steve had the best pad when it came to tailgating. It was literally across the street from the stadium. Yeah, it was a place called Indian Village. It was literally touched. It was adjacent to the campus of the stadium. So they have these big ragers, and here comes Dan rolling in. Now, so at the big raging Diaco, you know, uh, you know tailgate party comes the big brother in a Porsche, in a black Porsche, good looking, going to be a doctor. You don't think that Dan just absolutely slayed it at FSU when he came and went. And- well, Jay had to patch it you know, with all his friends on Monday because there was, there was always one of his friends pissed off at me. Yeah, it was, oh, it was, it was always, this was, the conver- this was the conversation that Jay would get on Friday, I'm sorry, on Monday after Dan skirted out of town Monday morning or even late Sunday night. Uh, hey, Jay, what? Your uh, piece of shiz brother, uh, the medical student from Florida, uh, blasted my girlfriend uh, Saturday night. And I, and I oh, should have gotten in a fight with us Friday night. <laughs> yeah, you should. You shouldn't have been. You should have been at our party, not your own. You dumbass. Uh, so anyway, um, to answer your question, I think I think that there's probably been some cross pollinization between Jay and Dan over the years. Maybe allegedly, possibly. Yeah, but it was probably all just during the college days. Yeah, it's back in the old days. So Lummy, I was talking to my buddy Randy. You know, the CEO of SCAG. Oh, yeah. And he was like, he's, he's the best. Like, oh, my God, I just can't, I can't, I just cannot uh, emphasize my appreciation for him. And I try, you know, I tried to be a brand ambassador for, for them. And, and, you know, I got Dion a SCAG and Dion's going to cut me. I, I just, I sent Dion a text. I said, Prime time, coach, you got to call him Coach Prime. Coach Prime. I don't know when the first lawn cutting of of Colorado is, but when you when you when you get your skag out, can you do me a little organic uh, video that we can post? Uh, uh, I'm I'm with Randy, the CEO of Skag, right now, and within ten minutes, Dion texts me back. I got you, I got you, I I got you, a sponge. I got you, sponge. So. Uh, I try to do a lot of great things for Randy. I like to use my radio show to promote Skag. I mean, let me, I'm encouraging people like all the lawn dogs out there that when you're going to trade, they, they usually like, I think like Joe from Average Joe uh, Landscaping, I think a lot of guys will keep a mower for maybe two or three seasons and then they kind of have a rotation. You know, a lot of the lawn dogs out there. Yeah, he's looking to maybe get a, another Skag here in uh, does he got? June. Does he have a Skag? Yes. Oh, he's got a Skag. He's been talking to his, one of his reps, uh, the Skag rep, uh, on maybe looking at one of the new ones for right. this summer. So anyway, I, I also like for the Bubba Army that have a, or possess some type of Skag to always email us and I put it up on my back uh, video wall. Let me, uh, you know, people that show getting their skag on of course what's the email uh, address that they, they can send the pictures to bubba army picks at gmail.com bubba army picks at gmail.com yes if you got a skag or something like, so anyway randy's like wait do you need a piece of equipment for the track you know we're, we're we're partners you know you you advertise for me and help me get the word out on skag and things like that and I'll I'll take care of you and, and get you maybe I'm I'm assuming Lummy maybe I maybe I'll get a piece a year maybe like one piece a year oh, you know that'd be awesome so be great yeah build the collection I'm I'm kind of thinking that maybe that's we and Randy haven't really necessarily discussed that but <laughs> I mean it's kind of what I that'd be kind of a good deal for us I'll continue to promote you uh, I I got Larry Plummer for the Warsaw Park Department to uh, skag up Larry I mean uh, Lummy I got uh, so Larry bought bought a, bought a skag for us. Nice. And then the cemetery, the Warsaw Cemetery, which I think they have like eight or nine zero turn mowers. Larry told that guy who's, you know, like Larry runs the parks and then the other another guy runs the cemetery. He's like, man, you should see my skag wind wind blower. And so the cemetery might buy some skag. Oh, that's awesome. war. It's just spreading the organic word, right? Is the cemetery owned by the by the municipality? Yeah, the, c- the city of Warsaw owns the cemetery. Interesting. So it's their responsibility to maintain it. And since the city maintains it, they maintain it well. Is it big? Very big. Very big. Um, So, Lummy, I was looking around as to what maybe I could get. Yeah. And I was looking at these these turf storm, uh, like, seed, like these, you know, I think they're they're spreaders spreaders and seeders. Because, Lummy, that whole back 40 that I got, if I planted really nice grass in there, Instead of the weeds that grow up in the back, huh. and then the infield, and then all like over by Nashville, I you know I I, I need something like this. This is something that I could use. Oh, that would be I, nice. I, I already got a badass mower. I mean, I got the baddest mower known to man. I got the uh, the seventy two inch three cylinder Kohler diesel, a liquid cooled. Can I ask a really <laughs> stupid question? What 
Is that something that your mower would tow? No, no. You stand behind these. Oh, you drive yeah, it. Yeah, you drive. It's its own driving thing. Yeah, you stand. You stand oh. on it and you drive it. Yeah. Could you use that to replace? I know it's not doesn't have the same kind of capacity, but could you arguably use that to replace the water truck? Because it says it does no, spraying no, and, no. and spreading. This only, and I think it only has sixty uh, gallons. Yeah, thirty. Yeah, thirty to sixty gallons. Wait, how much does your water truck hold? Like three thousand. Three thousand. Yeah. Oh I don't God. think Randy's going to get into water I'm trucks. So glad you didn't die. <laughs> I'm just. I'm, I'm just. I'm, I'm so <laughs> glad you didn't die. Let's stick to the. Let's stick to the cedars and the spreaders. So, Lummy, I'm thinking maybe one of these tur- uh, turf storm XL kind of deals. Oh yeah. Uh, Those and, are nice. And then I don't know if you know, but you know, Randy is now getting. I think they're going to eventually get into the skid steer space. Really? Oh, really? Sk- skag. And this is a brand new thing. That I don't even know if it's available to buy yet. I don't know if you could go to your local Skag dealer and buy it, but it's called a Jackal. And a lot of time, Lummies, you know, uh, like guys like Average Joe, they don't need a full blown skid steer because they're so big they can't get them on the trailers, but they need kind of. Have you seen the walk behind skid steers? Yeah, I rented one from uh, Sunbelt. You, oh, you did, yeah. didn't you? Listen, so, Jackal is. Hold 11. on. So you, you've, you've ran one of these, one yeah. of these walk behind skid steers. Yeah. Randy from Skag. Skag's getting into this space now, oh, yeah. and it's called the Jackal. Here, there, well. the Jackal is 1,125-pound rated capacity machine, 3,400 pounds of weight. Comes with three engine options, Kubota, Kohler, and Yamar diesel, all 25 horse. Now, four there's, mile, there's a big scooper right there. One-hour ground speed. has several hydraulic hookups for attachments. The vehicle is capable of narrow tracks, seven inches wide and nine inch tracks standard tracks are easily interchangeable with removal of some spacers the machine should be available spring of this year oh nice the jackal the jackal the the, the, the skag jackal if you need to walk behind those skid are steer. perfect for uh, like tight spaces because obviously you know those skid steers are pretty yeah big. let's say that you had like some rock delivered and you had to get mm-hmm. it to your back to your back to your back area yep and you have only a you know you have a gate that you know, like a standard, what is a forty-eight inch? What's the standard gate? Forty-eight inches? Yeah, forty-eight I, I to know. sixty. Yeah, the side of the house, pretty much too. You know, so you're not. Yeah. You got two options. You got because the guy that dumps off your rock, he dumps it right there in the driveway. Yep. He doesn't jump it anywhere else. So you got two options: a a wheelbarrow and a shovel. No thanks. Or b a, a skid steer. But most you know, big regular skid steers are these. You know, the buckets way too. You could never get it. You could never get it in, and they're so heavy that they would tear your grass up. Or you could have this smaller sized walk behind skid steer made by Skag called the Jackal, and uh, supposed to be out here uh, coming soon. That's going to be. How much do you good. think something like that costs? I don't. I have any idea. I didn't. I don't really. I don't ask about the price with Randy. Prices. How much does a normal like a Bobcat skid steer cost? Now? Oh God, like sixty grand. Jesus, I think. I got to get my hands on two of them. You would. You wouldn't even know what to do. You know, oh what, please, what, what I would a, take them up and down Del Mabry, bitch. What? You, what? Your skag jackals? Yeah. <laughs> 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 they only go four miles an hour. Set. I'd ride right on the median, man. I'd let everybody see what's you're up. You're not riding. You're walking behind right, it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Coffee up, chicks. <laughs> Yeah, can I get look a chick my, on there? Look, look at my. You can put Phoebe in the bucket and put her up high and just for, <laughs> and little Sethy. You know, you can put the bucket way high and just go four mile an hour right down Del Mabry. Yeah, like a like a parade. But you think about it is if you did do that, can you imagine the vi- it'd be viral? Would it not? Oh, it would be. Yeah. Oh my god. Can we actually do that? I don't know. I don't. I don't need a jackal. Okay. Yeah. Like, me neither. I need a cedar spreader. Me I don't, too. I don't yeah. need a jackal. Jack, jackals are out. Cedar spreaders are in. Well, for my application at my track, of course. So you know, there you go. Let me tell. Uh, average Joe Aaron. Yes. That one, I'd like for him to send me a picture of his existing skag that he has. And okay. then two, let me know when he gets his new one. And for all you uh, guys out there that are skags, uh, send, me your, send me your pictures. Bubba Army Picks at gmail.com, right? Oh, yeah. It and, is. And, and we'll post him up. Yeah, Average Joe said he, he will. And he actually has, he uh, he's looking at uh, maybe looking at one of those skag uh, jackals. Oh, for real? Yeah, he was just texting me. So. Nice. And when you go to your Skag dealer, tell them Bubba Army. Some of them might not know, but when that get back, when that gets back to Randy, the CEO of the company, you know, some guy from Tennessee be like, "Yeah, man, I sold a, I sold a turf tiger too today." And this uh, this feller walked in and said, uh, "Bubba Army." Do they sell Skags in Tampa or just like in Ocala? Oh no, there's there's Skag dealerships in Tampa. Everywhere? Oh, yeah. Okay. But oddly enough, did you know the largest Skag dealer in all of Florida? 
is Mike's Lawnmower Service in Ocala. Really? He's, really? he's the large. Yes. There's, Mike, a lot of, there's a lot of mowing going on in Ocala with well, all those giant horse farms oh, and ranches. Yeah. And I mean, mm-hmm. there's a lot of grass to mow in Atlanta. I it, mean, uh, or, Ocala. It, Ocala, yeah. And you know what? They a lot of them will have those uh, striper bar uh, so that when you you know they look like a baseball. You know when you go to the baseball game and mm-hmm. the, the grass looks like it's going one way, the other side, and it's like they put stripes in it, right? Yeah, that's how they mow my lawn. Right. That's how. No, no. I swear to God, he does it as a courtesy. He does the stripes. That's that was that's just showing off, isn't it? But I mean, you know, <laughs> well, I don't know. I love it. You get to pay extra for the stripes. No. So anyway, uh, those all those horse farms, you know, they're always immaculate. So I can only imagine that's probably why Mike's Lawnmower Service in Ocala is the number one skag dealership in all, all of Florida because of all the horse mowing. Yeah, right. It's got to be. Uh, when I return, uh, what happens next, Dan? Uh, Trump cannot secure the four hundred and fifty-four million. Uh, bond that he has to put up to appeal the civil fraud case. So what happens next? Well, it's not that he can't. He's saying he can't. He hasn't met the deadline yet. He's got like another five days But but they're saying financially he has not been able to secure the funding. That's what what they're saying. The bond. He hasn't gotten the bond because the bonds are limited to $100 He got one for the uh, defamation lawsuit. To cover that one, but it's hard to get a hundred. I mean, when your when your credit limit is a hundred million dollars and you need four hundred and fifty million dollars, it becomes a problem. So, can, and can you imagine? A different mechanism. And can you imagine? I'm going to talk about this when we come back. But can you imagine? Because I've been drugged through three, four, five lawsuits, and they and lawsuits. Listen, they're expensive. They are expensive. Even if you're innocent, and they're you know whether you think Trump's innocent or guilty, that does not matter. He still has to pay for his own. Lo- Nobody is funding right. his legal. So, Bubba, just from your own personal experience, the the hog trial, which was absolute horse shiz to put you through, no one gave you a penny back for all the money and aggravation that you had to spend to defend your your well, your, thank, your freedom. Thank, thank God, um, Clear Channel paid for that one. But don't pay them back. But hold on, that was a million plus. Right, that's then, a million dollars. They had to piss away then because someone trumped up a BS charge on you, and then. Uh, you're, you know, we had 800 in the MJ case, right? That we got screwed on, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Then I had, I had eight, I had 900 of my own money in the latest, you know, the it's, it's, it's catastrophic. Nine, that's what destroyed me. A, fe- right. a federal lawsuit is what put me in the poorhouse. A yep. federal lawsuit. Mm-hmm. I had saved some money. I had, I had a ton of equity in my home, um, you know, but that. You got to rob that, it to that, save your that, ass. That federal lawsuit, that last one that took me down, you know, you're like, you have to, you have, you have to defend yourself, mm-hmm. and then, you know that took me, you know, took nine nine hundred thousand dollars. Right, and it crippled Roger Stone. Right, right. It crippled all those co defendants for Trump in Atlanta. It's 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 how they get you back. The 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 Trump. The, 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 I'm talking about the evil people. The evil not, people not, not that are only, at hold on, not at, only our in gov- not only our government but society. Oh yes, I'm I mean talking society. About well, like you know, to, a businessman will slap another lawsuit on a. It's called a slap suit. Slap another business, another law, maybe potentially his competition with a lawsuit. And when the one guy might just be a startup Willie, and he's just getting going, and now he's got to, you know, use the capital that he had set aside for his new business to defend a lawsuit, he pretty much is out of business. Right. Just like Kenny Powers said, the process is the punishment. And so, you know, even though Trump will prevail by the way, quoting, on the majority quoting, Kenny, quoting Kenny Powers nowadays, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, Chad, he just said it because he summarized Oh, it. I thought you meant the Kenny Powers oh, yeah, as in he's found it down. Kenny Powers on I mean, the YouTube man. chat. Yeah, okay. No, he said it correctly. It's it's the process is the punishment and putting you through that. Cox knew that if they drummed me up on that on that federal lawsuit, which they did, that it would destroy me. They had a yep. copy of my contract and they knew that I was responsible for all legal fees because I was I was a subcontractor, not an employee. And so they're like, hey, let's ring them through a big federal lawsuit. Let's let's you know make it go three years. Uh, and listen, the cost of federal lawsuits compared to state lawsuits. Oh, those lawyers are way are, more expensive. You're talking about five to six hundred an hour versus fifteen hundred an hour. Yeah, it's at least three times. And uh, you know, they'll just they'll just they'll ring you right on. And, and I think that's uh, listen, whether you, whether you like the guy or not, 
it's not that's not what I'm trying to talk about. What I'm trying to talk about is I think that's a strategy that somebody is trying to use to bring Trump down on the backside, not so that he even can I, 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 not, you know, not that he won't be necessarily the GOP candidate, but let's tie him up with these lawsuits and time that, that cost him, you know, so much money and time and, and time and distraction that, you know. God, here's I mean, where it gets and, scary. And, and here's the thing: I don't know that Seth or Anna or anybody other than you, Dan. You've been. I don't know that anybody else in this building's been in a lawsuit. I mean, so you don't even really understand the dynamics. You have, yeah, yeah, with the fish thing. It's yeah. not fun. No, it's did, not. Did you go to the deposition phase and did you do all that, or did it just settle? Uh, no, uh, we uh, we went to the deposition phase and they they were dragging us out. They, you know, our lawyer fees were, uh, I think. Four hundred and thirty thousand. Jesus, I will say this. It was bad. So there's been one other person that's part of, that's been in a lawsuit, but I guarantee you, not a one of you has been in front of a jury. No, and that's a whole. No, I mean, Dan, I almost make it feels like that. Like, like that makes me. I mean, within all of our, you've got testicles the size of Mars. Like, I mean, it's unbelievable, I mean, man. Like, like, like when all of it, when all of us boys hang out, I'm talking about huh. Jimmy and Pity and Jay and you know Breezy and you and Tom Bean and all that. I mean, and we come in different shapes and sizes and different tough, tough, toughness and different you know financial wealth and different toys and different all kinds of things. But we're all good friends. But none of you have been in front of a jury with your livelihood, you know, resting in their verdict. Your freedom, too. Yes. And, I, it's scary, <clears throat> Bubba. And, and again, you're one of the most fearless men I've ever met. And, 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 you know, I'm not trying to say you're like Trump, but you're one of the few people who, like Trump, has had the opportunity to experience a trumped up lawsuit, a, a, a lawsuit based on no legal foundation that threatens your freedom, your career, your livelihood, your family, your, 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 your generational wealth, and, and, and drags you through the, 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 the dirt of it, the whole thing for a year and had you had to go to a jury trial of your peers, which what they what they mediate for like thirty minutes, fifty two, fifty two minutes to determine while that eating, you were while, absolutely while, innocent while eating ham sandwiches provided by the state, <laughs> right? And uh, tr- but while trying to convict a guy that killed a wild boar, which, right? Which provided that ham, right? So you know, it, it, <laughs> and, and again, I'm not trying to you That's know awesome. butter up Trump, but he's his his administration when he took office, they spent two and a half, almost three years saying this whole Russia collusion, Russia collusion. Russia collusion, which turned out to be completely false, mm-hmm. but they had that narrative. They had that 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 gauntlet just swinging the knife above his head for three years, and it's 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 crippling. Now you don't hear anything about it. No, God, because and, and no one apologizes. They so said it, the whole time, no one apologizes. They did they did bug Trump Tower just like he said. Everything he said was right. So it's it's frustrating because now they're doing it again, and they're they're trying to create criminal charges at a civil infractions i i i just i i'm not trying to campaign for the dude i'm just saying i kind of feel what the, what the dude's going through because when they just start throwing down lawsuits the public doesn't really know man it the, but the, the, financially you gonna vote for him today fi, uh, no i'm not voting for anybody Finan- financial financial <laughs> fi, why is today's florida's primary no, yep. republican primary oh. republican I wouldn't even know where to do it. I, I yeah, used, no, they used to do uh, mail. I, I think they took the mail-in ballot such mm-hmm. system away, did they not? Well, there was early voting, but that's over. And where you could have done, I think, a mail-in ballot. Mm, okay, well, well, it looks like I'm not voting. I mean, no. he's, he's already locked in with enough delegates. Sorry, right, he doesn't need mine. Proceed. He doesn't need your vote. Mm-hmm. Right, no. Good. Fantastic. Thank you. That way nobody can get mad at me. So guess what? I didn't vote for the dude. Right? <laughs> right. Well, exactly. well the- exactly. If you want to deep dive into the Bubba the Love Sponge show from the past, go to BubbaArmyHQ.com. The Bubba the Love Sponge show. We'll be back after these words. Vince was in contractual privy with if the business signed the contract, if the business signed the contract, it's, it's the business. If you sign it, it's with you. It's the business. If you sign it, it's with you. Is there a time? That's a weird old time. I don't know. Every state's got its own rules on that. Eight to ten years. No, stop. That's a tweener. Maybe fuck off. Do they make those things that sent me for people? I don't think so. 
Because think about it. If you sent little Sethi out to the bus stop with one of those moments, they're going to make a toucher. What the fuck? Not right? Well, I mean, yeah, you could probably get a dog one on a kid, I think. But, but I'm, I'm going to get into that, saying we should make these for humans, because if you're a little bit scared going through a bad area, nobody could grab you, could they? That's true. That's true. I mean, could that be the next be Bubba Shoe? Yeah. No. Oh, I had to pull the cleat down. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, never talk about that. Okay. No cleats. Oh, no. Pull the cleats. Pull the cleats? You're not doing the cleats? No. Surprise. All right, well, save a few hundred bucks. Save you a thousand bucks. Yeah, thank you. I mean, the boys already have shoes, right? Oh, please. Good morning, Charlotte Panda, Kendall Hill. Good Good morning. Oh, where's that article, CC Hall? I'm sure you would like to know. Hey, what article? <laughs> Chisel. <laughs> he likes that adjective. Did you see that? 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 I've read it all for a while. Can I shut that down? Oh, shit. I'm sorry. You can start off with a bloodbath thing, but then like, it's on mm-hmm. his main page. It's just every live on. Oh, Trump. Trump was talking about economic blood back, too. Oh, no. About Sorry, the, Mr. Call. About the auto industry. Sorry, Mr. Call. I just realized you were panicking. Yeah, I know. I was texting you. I was seeing where you were. I speak more clearly. Huh? I speak more clearly. I text him. Maybe you text like you talk. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I was before you said that he was stuck out there. I was like, 5D7, you were here, I'm like, is it okay? Once I hit it wrong, I just kept hitting it, and I just got into a wrong mode vortex. We have that big giant button out there, we can just push now. We don't have that problem. What? This big giant button out there, we just get to push it, and it's like, hey, I'm here, I'm saying, did you text Brad? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, I texted everybody. I didn't get that. I got a call. Oh, I got a text. I sprinted so fast out there. Appreciate that, Bob. I'm going to kick that door in. <laughs> Good morning, Jim Flask. <laughs> like button. Cash App and PayPal. Oh, a Debub Army. <laughs> Be greasy. I do. I did say that. Come well, on, Jay Hater. Be, I got What's up, job. Jay I welcome all opinions. Welcome. What the fuck is that? Is that for your dick or something? What? I don't know, that pink thing you have on the screen. Is that for your dick? It's like a sleeve for an ankle. Oh. No. <laughs> We're going to talk about it next once you oh. shut the fuck up. Okay. Because I don't want to lose any of the spontaneity. Oh, sorry. Shutting the fuck up. What's up, Big Breeze? Am I saying that right? What's up, BR916? What's up, Ground Bubble Army? Good morning. I can't wait to go down and meet your boys and defend my fuckboyness. <laughs> defend, defend on why I think you're a fuckboy and you're not a fuckboy. They say you're not a fuckboy. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to say, 
Motherfucker's a fuck boy, guys. Let me just lay it out for you, homies. <clears throat> and they're gonna fucking and we're gonna get a great have a great discussion. All right, I think they're gonna make some good points. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna make some good points, and I'll be like, listen, if we can intellectually, like when one of us gets you, like you gotta throw, like if I get a, if I get a couple good zingers on you guys, you just can't keep me down because I'm the only white guy in here. <clears throat> no, they won't keep. No, they like that little tongue that you had. They, yeah, they like to uplift. <laughs> If we can be honest as men around here, yes, that see no color, intellectually honest, intellectually. You're listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. After the show, make sure to check out BubbaArmyHQ.com. It's all things Bubba 24-7. And now back to the BRN. Sizes that we have in our podcasting world. Yes, flapping gaps is is is, is pretty popular. Um, I I don't know. I, I don't. Does two live dudes? Does two live dudes? Two live dudes? Does two live Jew do good? It's hit or miss. Sometimes it's the biggest podcast of the week. Sometimes it's the worst. So really, I get yeah. That's yeah. on brand. Yeah, no, it works. It's on brand for you and you and Anna. You guys are either killing it or being irritating. One of the two. Yeah, yeah, I'm good with it. Uh, let me speaking of of, of well irritating. Oh no! Uh, everybody was saying, oh, we want we want the bu- the air Bubba Dunkin' a Donut Trump inspired high tops. We'd like to have those for cleats. Yeah, we'd like to outfit our team with them. Well, I got officially. I opened it up, and I had one order. I got one order. And Dan put in nine, but outside of Dan's order, I got one order. The two the two dads that had talked to you about potentially outfitting their kids, yeah. you didn't get on there. So I pulled them. Mm. And I refund the, the refunded the guy's money. And I think at this point, we're just waiting for Bubba Army. God, Jesus Christ, love me. What happened? I just set you up for oh. an alpha high spot, and you missed it. Oh yeah, that one. Did one. you not? I'm. Um, did yeah. you not? Could you got feel the belt? I said, and now we're just waiting. No, don't say it. That wasn't. That wasn't him. <clears throat> who, who? Who was it? It was me. Nobody said it. What do you mean it was? I don't understand. It was you. What? Nobody said alpha. I whispered alpha, and you said, "Don't say it." <laughs> no, I. Okay, I'm sorry. Is is he listening to the same show or are we both? He are we, said it. Yeah, was, yeah, I heard it. Hmm. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear Alpha in any way, shape, or form. Sorry. Can we dump all that and start all over? Yeah, no, I know. probably turn your headphones off. I think maybe we should go out, maybe turn the whole radio station off, turn it back on, and reboot the whole goddamn Barf. thing. <laughs> Unplug it, plug it back yeah. in. Like, I think I need to reboot myself. I'm just telling you that right now. Well, you said you were going to have a bad day today. Yes, I was filming. I was taped until seven o'clock oh here in the studio. Damn, yeah. Yeah. Jesus, thank you. Oh, yeah, mm. it's so been I, pleasant. I didn't. Yeah, thank you. Um, but I didn't get a chance to make it to the gym today, so oh. I was just like, oh man. I'm and sorry, then, the, then I look brain. at the cleat numbers. We've only sold one pair. Or no, I, I, that <laughs> what that surprises makes, that makes me. me feel bad about myself. And then yeah. I do the you know the next big the next big project the next big piece of merchandise that's coming. I try to do a hard pre sale on that. Don't forget what's coming up next, Bubba Army, and then Alpha. No, no, don't do it now to try to cover your ass. You weren't there when I needed you. He to doesn't dance even with sound me. sexy anymore, Bubba. Yeah, I'm actually, kind of, I'm actually kind of mad about these breath. two dads. I was getting on the uh, the chat, uh, our, our Bubba Army HQ, where they messaged me and <clears> kind of was gonna. I'll go ahead and get a little lummy with it if you like, but okay. uh, I pulled it and they can't. Uh, you know, it's just I'm just not. What gonna, are we gonna shake them down into buying twelve pairs of cleats? No, I'm, we're not going to. No, Obviously, not. they just... didn't want to, so I'm not gonna. Like it's done. It's over. We're not moving on. The next project is Bubba Army. Alpha. Alpha. Then, uh, went from not enough to too much. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, I I I think Bubba Army Alpha, Alpha. will sell w- really well. I think lummy that'll be a lot a lot like you know 
like like the backpacks and the tactical bags and the things that really really sell quickly. It I smells think good. It's 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 it's. I'm not trying to say it's a knockoff on Creed, but it's been formulated to smell just like a five hundred dollar bottle of Creed. And it's, it does. It has a very very complex rich smell to it. It really does. It, you're you're going to need it to be that that manly pheromonic man that you are rolling mm-hmm. up and down the streets of wherever the hell you're coming from. Alpha. Uh, anyway, it'll be available soon. That's in route. Oh, awesome. <clears throat> um, so Seth sent this to me, and it was on Curb Your Enthusiasm. Do they? Because I'm one behind. Do they? Is, do, do the new episodes come out on Sundays or Mondays? Sunday on Curb. Yeah, Sunday night. Sunday. And do you usually watch the Sunday night one? No, Monday. You okay, Monday? Yeah, okay. Monday afternoon with Phoebe. <clears throat> and so I'm gonna. I'll end up watching it today. But in the what are they on the sixth episode of the last season? I think they're episode yeah. six. Yeah, and uh, the and this la- is the final season. This is the final season. The last one was uh, uh, um, late. Was the last title to the episode five was called Gettysburg, and it was so funny. Oh my god! And so Seth, you're saying episode six is as funny. And they had uh, somebody's dog had one of these coyote vests on. <laughs> yeah, Susie. It was kind of a, it was kind of making a mockery of it, but. She said, yeah, this is a coyote vest, and yeah, it had spikes on it. And I asked Phoebe, I go, do you think that's a real thing, or do you think she made it up for the show? And she's like, they made that up. No way it's a real thing. And then later on that night, she sent this to me from Amazon, $109. And, 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 so, and, and so here's the thing. This is brilliant. Because let's say you had a little Yorkie, you know, or, you know, like, listen, Bella, my dog, you know, 93% pit bull is not, if a coyote came and, you know, approached her, she's not going to get just got she may lose but she's going to fight and give that coyote one hell of a fight oh, yeah. and it's probably chances are her being 81 74 75 she's pro- most coyotes are scrawny and skinny and so because they're always foraging for food and malnourished so, yeah and malnourished so a lot of times a coyote won't mess with a bigger dog but they love the little you know yorkies and french bulldogs like they love that so if you live in a coyote like cocktail you know the little you, things easy to pop in yeah that and they have no fight back right and you bite them one time in the back of their neck and, done and you're and they're done and so you're done if you done. did have a little Paris Hilton foo-foo dog that was rolling around and listen I've actually seen videos of little Yorkies in California and they're in the back like in a real mountainous you know Pacific Palisades kind of area and it's mm-hmm. a big your back your back the back your backyard is kind of you know mountainous but you have a fence and you know and I've seen like little Yorkies out poop, you know, taking a little poopy or a TT, and like a big condor or a big hawk or a big eagle. Lift or them right will, up. Literally will come down <laughs> swooping and towel on their back and take them away. Yep. It happened to Brooke Hogan. It happened to Brooke happened Hogan. Happened to her dog? Yes. Oh, no. Yes. So. Think about it. Even if you were one of those big, you know, condors or one of those big, you know, hawks or one of those big falcons, falcons or eagles that prey out there in the West and your little Yorkshire's got this spiked coyote dog harness on. I mean, it's it, it's not going to be able to tell. Right. It's, as soon as it goes, because it's ta- it's going to tell on the ridge of the back. Right. Yeah. Well, it's going to get sp- it's going to spike it's itself. Mm-hmm. And then if a coyote comes in, they usually try to go for the back of the neck. Well, look at that. <clears throat> he's not going to he's going to get, you know, a mouthful of, of hurtness. I think this is brilliant. Is it worth 109? Yeah. Oh man, they spent three thousand on those dogs. So hold on, hold on. I got to say this. I think we need to make these for kids. <laughs> but, but think to make them for make them, make them for kids that you know. Let's say your kid has to walk through kind of a bad area to get to his bus bus stop, and you put this jacket on it, and, and you don't got to worry about anybody messing with your kid. He ain't nobody's gonna grab your your daughter if she's got this. This yeah, but I mean, you could, she's gonna stick to the seat when she sits on the bus. Yeah, that's true. I wasn't thinking about that. Why don't you just chip her? I think we can just. I think we could just probably keep it. Um, we should just put chips in people. What do you mean chips in people? Like 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 uh like a uh, air like like they do with the air the the air tags for kids. Meaning, you, well, that that can't protect them from a guy abdu- abducting you them. Track them and it find them. Tracks them in what real time. Saying. Yeah. Would Hopefully you would you would you dead. would you steal something that was being tracked in real time? Would you chip your kid? <laughs> yeah. If it was for that. 
I mean, I, I think I well, probably... It's always would, four good yeah, intentions. Yeah, I mean, you chip your dog. Why wouldn't you chip your kid? You, you worried less about your kid than your dog? <laughs> no, I'm all for chipping kids. Right. You, you just you just gave you me... them I mean, in you, when you, they're adults? You, you just... No, it wears out. Maybe it's a 15-year life. So, you know, you put a chip in them, and by the time they're 18, 19, you know, no. it, it, the battery's dead, and you, you they're gotta not make, chipped you gotta anymore. Make it, you got to make it quit on their 18th birthday. You can't, like... You, you, you don't want them to be vulnerable 15, 16, and 17 when the... You know, you don't want to the chip to wear off until they're 18. Exactly 18, yes. 18 or beyond. But what I'm saying is if you, you know, when they're... Now, when do, they're you dig the chip, do you dig the chip out or does it just... Yeah, with, like, with like a Rambo knife. <laughs> they do no. You have to have a chip removal <laughs> ceremony. Do you like, do you, like, you know, do you have a chip, a chipping ceremony and then you have the... The de-chipping? You know what? I think you get de-chipped on your, the same, the same graduation party. Part of, <laughs> part, you incorporate the de-chipping as part of the graduation it's party. It's like a bris. Right, Sophia, exactly. ladies and gentlemen. Just cut it out. Come, come to Sophia's graduation party. Not only did she graduate high school, but she's also getting de-chipped. Do you not de-chip them if they don't graduate high school? Yeah, do I have like, to bring you know, a gift? You did chipping gift? Yeah, it's a band aid. <laughs> and then you can always threaten to, you know, maybe de chip your kid early, but like I'm gonna de chip you, man. So you get stole, you're gone. I'm some some bad guy, come get you. You little son of a bitch. I can just dig out your chip right now. I think we should chip people. Bubba, I wanted to know if you're going to make that uh, spiky dog vest the next line of Bubba Army merch. No, I don't think there's enough uh, people that live in that that type of rugged rural area. It that... could be bigger than the cleat, though. No. But, well, but an alligator? So so seriously, people though, Bubba, if we, if would we... an alligator bite a dog? Because you know, here we don't have to worry about hawks picking up dogs as often, although I'm sure it does happen There's sometimes. There's a lot of coyotes around here. Uh, Ospreys and, there are, and coyotes, there, are, there yeah. are, yes. But the biggest problem for small dogs in, the, in, in at least our part of the world seems to be alligators. You know, you're walking the dog by the, by the lake, people. and all of a sudden a gator comes up and takes a big bite. But if you had spikes, the gator may let go. Put it on Grandpa. He always seems to get bit by the gators. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't Come think. on, Bubba, make them. No, no. Anti-gator vest. Do you know, Seth, that, you know, when we do a project that doesn't do well, and if I've bought a lot of them, that means we lose money for the month. Did you know that? Well, what Which about could affect your paycheck. What about clearance sales? Uh, no, then now you're, you know, barely breaking even at best, still losing. Let me leave, leave merchandise to me, okay, buddy? Okay, all, all right. right. Well, I thought I had a good idea for you. It's Speaking uh, of ideas, I had the best idea, and everybody that I've shared it with uh, has said, oh, my God, it's an unbelievable idea. The thing? And I'm showing it right now. And so I actually um, wanted to get a cash cube for the show. Whoop, whoop. But I had to get a couple things. One, I had to get somebody to sponsor it. Some cash. Because I have to purchase it because it's 600 bucks. Damn. And I can't afford that. And Oof. then two, I want to put like five, five or $10,000 in the cash cube. And uh, and I need somebody. I obviously don't have that either. So I had a I, not a very long meeting, but... Uh, um, uh, I, I talked to Jay um, two day. Th- uh, what day was it? It was yesterday. Or? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's Friday. Friday. Might have been Friday. Yeah, it might have been Friday. Friday. I talked. I talked to Jay, and I'm like Jay. I sent Jay over the cash cube pick, and basically I googled the ten best inflatable cash cubes booths in America, and uh, it gave me this one. So then I was, went and saw if Amazon had this one, and Hey-o. they do. So uh, I asked Jay, Jay, if we call it the Diaco Law Cash Cube, will you sponsor it? And he said, yes, I will. And so um, it's the Diaco Law Cash Cube. Uh, and Diaco Law has all naming rights until the end of the year. And then we can put it you know, back up for, you know, if, if they want to extend it another year or not. And, um, and so, and then... But part of the deal, Dan, is whatever cash is left at the end of the year, I, the company gets to keep. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So Jay's giving me, I think, I think Jay's giving me, I think, he, I think he's giving me five grand. Okay. And that incorporates buying this and then putting like, you know, $4,500 in this cube. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this cube in the studio. And on Fridays, two employees get to go in and grab as much cash as they can. Now there's going to be $5,000 swirling around in there. And you get and I don't know, we got to figure out the rules like uh, how, how long how, is it 30 seconds is it 60 seconds how, how you know. do we get selected for this every friday well we'll probably do like you know how that wreck can throw to throw together one of those wheels 
You know, remember when we used to do uh, yeah. you win nothing. nothing? You can throw me. You can throw. I could put everybody's name on there, and we spin it. Brett, if you could whip me up, or somebody whip one, whip, whip me up one right now that says, "Lummy, um, uh, Rhett, Macho Man, Seth, and Anna." And and so on Fridays, I'm going to pick two people. Now here's the twist, and Seth actually gave me this twist: is that two people go that you go individually, you grab as much as you can in the time allotted. The next guy or person goes in there, grabs his, and then we count. And whoever's got the most gets to keep theirs, and whoever has the least has to throw theirs back in. You don't even get to keep it. Suckers. <laughs> yeah. Because we'd be, because because if not, we'd be running through cash. Damn right. I don't know. Let me. When we get it, we may have to do a litmus as to like how much can a guy grab in thirty seconds. How much can you grab? We're gonna have to par it up because we don't want to get killed, right? We don't want a guy to be able to grab a thousand bucks in sixty seconds. I just oh, yeah. sent let me the link to send you for the wheel. Oh, you did? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Why don't you just turn that uh, cash cube on high, Bubba, so it make it really hard to, to grab right. something. But with this cash cube, it actually has a couple different options. You can get inside of it, or you can stick your hands in it, and it's only a hand grab. Oh, oh. no. I need to be fully submerged. So let me just let me give, so let me give you some different pictures of Where it Where are you going to put it? I'm going to put it directly behind you and Anna. Okay. It's five <clears throat> feet. Five feet by five feet. Yeah, it's five, oh, it's five feet. small. Yeah, well, no, oh. it's, it's but it's nine foot tall. Wow. So yeah. I mean, you, so here is here's an example of now I got it. I got another twist to this as well. Uh, I it's be interesting to see what chat is saying about this. I sent you the uh, the wheel. All right, hold on. So this is um this is a per, this is first of all it looks like they have hardly any money, but they put eight eighteen 8 bucks dollars. in there. That's yeah. disgusting. And you know, you're this woman's trying to grab it with her hands. Now we can have that option, or we can. I, I, I want to put you guys in it. You know, now it didn't have any videos with it. it with she's got she's grabbing. Yeah, she's you know, grabbing. Yeah, she's grabbing. So, um, let me. You sent. Did you send me the wheel? Yes. Okay. Here, let me see. So, like, if we were to do, if okay. So, what do I do here? Let me try. I gotta click this. Oh, click oh, the oh spin. you guys already put the names in there. Yeah. All right. Cool. So let me make sure. Is the volume turned up on this? No. We went to volume turned up. Volume, volume, volume. Not, not. not uh, uh. So like we would pick two people. It would be Rhett. Oh. So when we finally get it, let me. Which I think we, Rhett. <laughs> now, now you remove Rhett. And now, the, hold on, is this the machine? Oh, yeah, there's the machine. <laughs> finally, 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 the sound of the machine turned on. So, like, Rhett, you would be a guy that's going into Cash Cube. And then you go, okay, the next person. Is Dr. Dan not on play on Fridays? Hey. A, and Lummy. Woo. No, Dan can go in there. I think it'd be great to oh, see Dan that, in there. You think that's a conflict of interest due to the fact that he's a partner of Diaco Law? I'm not sure if he, <laughs> I'm not sure if he wants You're to trying be... trying to hem Dan up on a technicality? No, no, no. I just... I bet Dan would want to get in there. It's fun, so... It looks fun. I, I mean, mean, it does look fun. Hey, and listen, man. If, I'll if, do it once. If millionaires like 100 bucks. Yeah. I mean, you know... Ask Elon Musk. You don't I think mean, he's going to take 100 bucks? You give it to him? Dan, I'm thinking like $100 might be your excitement threshold. Whereas like... I get like, pretty excited on 50s. Uh, <laughs> what about a 20? No. 20s uh, I, I wipe my yeah. ass with. Oh, yeah. man. I don't think 50 is really good. I, I think 100 <laughs> I think a hundred dollars is kind of your par for where you don't scoff at it whereas like you know like 30 no. 30 bucks to you. Is, 30 is, bucks is, yeah, is no. A, but I, no, I like 50s. I do like 50s. They they're they, bad they luck, make me smile. To Tony, Tony, oh. Tony Stewart says they're bad really? luck. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'll never look at it like another one again. So here is I hate 50s. This is the Diaco uh Ten thousand. I'm tr maybe we might put five or ten thousand $10, dollar. What's One million. The, the Diaco Law ten thousand dollar cash cube. Cash cube. Okay. The the, the cash cube. Now, if you're if you're saying ten thousand, I mean, you know, are you it's saying ten k cash cube? No, no, no. What I'm saying is Jake, that's what we're saying. Jake, Jake that's what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> is the Plastic Institute kicking in five? Might sure. have to. Okay. Yeah. So I'm really kicking in 7500. Can, can you imagine if that was right behind <laughs> you? You realize if you if if it was right behind you and Anna. Mm -hmm. And then so let me just play. Hold on. Oh. 
Seth can't get in that machine fast enough. I mean, Seth... Is it bouncy on the bottom or is it a hard floor? No, it's a hard floor. Okay. Now, here's here's what people don't... The twist I've not told you. Oh. Is that we're taking this out to... We're going to be... We're going to really, really start busting ass and going to various promotions. You know, USF football games, Buccaneer football games. Um, you know, any big... Any big big gathering of people maybe you know let me when uh when they have the country artists at ray oh, j yeah. you know like and, and have a whole setup where i'm working on getting the cream machine fixed i'm working on and we'll have the cream machine with the cash cube and then a wheel when we go out and do these live appearances and not everybody will be required to go but i need you everybody at one time or another has to do a couple but you don't not you don't have to do it every every one we do. Do we want to get really obnoxious and bring the wheel of sin? No, I don't. No, I do not. <laughs> I do. I knew that you were going to know that we can't do that. Okay. So we do have this. I, I maybe have to buy a better little wheel, but I got currently. I think I just ordered like twenty five hundred or five thousand koozies. Nice. And then I'm looking for these. Have you seen those real cheap, like forty nine cent or like a dollar nine? Like rape, like glasses that you can private label, like sunglasses. Oh yeah, like the like the you know the sunglasses they give away at, at, at various functions and things like that. Women love them. I'm looking for to maybe build. I'm I'm getting koozies, sunglasses, and then maybe a keychain or something. And you come up, Lummy, and you come up to our booth, and you open up. You go to one of our social media. This is how you play the game. You go to one of our social media, whether it's our Instagram, our Twitter, uh, whether it's our, our uh, uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Rumble, and because everybody has, and, and, and if you, if you, I'm sorry, but if you don't have one of those on your phone, then you can't play. Like, and to play is once you've been, once you've followed us, let's just say YouTube, you walk up, you're at the USF game, say, hey, do you want to have an opportunity to get in the cash cube? Yes. Okay. Well, I need you to go to your you pull up YouTube uh, on on your phone right now and go to the Bubba Army and hit the like and subscribe button front and, and do it in front of me. And the guy does it. Then Lummy he goes to the next because he did it. He yep. goes to the next station, which might be you, and you might be uh, running that little the the wind the the, the wheel the yeah. wheel we have. And I think our wheel is kind of chintzy, so I might buy a little bit better of a wheel. And on the wheel it has like sunglasses, keychain. Uh, koozie, uh, you win nothing, and then a small sliver that says cash cube. <clears throat> and so they nice. spin they spin the wheel after they've already followed one of your social medias, and, and the ultimate prize being getting in the cash cube. Now we may not, we may make it just a arm grab only cash cube when we go out. And maybe the cash cube has two little sections where it's cash cube hands and cash cube inside, right? I guess you could even do that. Yeah, but do you really want random people in your little cash cube? That's the point. Well, well you can get the money with the arm thing. That's a, I think that's the point is that, you know, it's easier. You don't have to like, you know. Are you saying that you might get stinky people in there and you're, a little, mean, bit, you're a little upper crust in that? I don't, know, I don't let valet drivers in my car for the same reason. You don't reason. want some hot college chicks in there? Yeah. Oh, they get yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Get some hot Girls college only. chick that's got, that's got a halter top that's yeah, blowing exactly. up. Right. And you're getting some under boob action. Yep. Right. You want to get back to me on that bitch? No, I, I get it. And then we, and then we <laughs> stream the whole event like we're live on YouTube while we're doing the whole event. And, uh, I mean, uh, listen, I was only be able to get this done because Jay sponsored it. I couldn't have done it on my own. So, um, what does everybody, I'm, I'm, I don't know what chat's saying. I don't know what, you know, Seth thinks about this, but I'd like to get everybody's opinion about this idea. And listen, the guy, the guy I stole the idea from is like, I forget what his name is, like Big Joe or something, Big Joe Audio. And I was at the Gator Nationals, and I saw this big this tent with a with a, like a prize wheel, and people were spinning it. And you only got to spin it after you went to one of Big Joe's social media platform. And so I just looked to see Big Joe has one point. Two million subscribers on YouTube, and all he is is selling used. I mean, I'm sorry, car stereo stuff out of out of Ocala. Yeah, but let me ask you, how many views does Big Joe normally get on his videos? I, 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 I understand. Like seven hundred to a thousand. Right. 
I realize that. But if but you we, have a but, million followers and you we, have the content that we have, then all of a sudden you've got you know eight hundred thousand views on all we your videos. We will kill Big Joe's view numbers if we got as if we got as many subscribers as Big Joe did. No, we you would, are, we we have better content to potentially keep them around to watch right. something than him, him to, you know giving you fifty percent off the new kicker uh, kicker subwoofers. No, you are absolutely correct. I just don't necessarily want you to be fooled into thinking that he got eight hundred thousand out of those one point two from the cash cube. He probably bought a lot of those. Okay, that's fine. I ain't buying any of them. <clears throat> I know, but I, but I promise you that I mean we would get you know a couple. I bet you you'd get. 500 to 1,000 new signups, uh, you know, per event. Oh, yeah. Easily. I mean, right? And, and secondly, when people are walking into the Kenny Chesney concert or the USF versus Miami game or the Buccaneers versus Lions game or whatever, there's nothing else going on. Nope. Like tailgating wise. You know, like, you know, you know there's no, there's, you know, like the, you might have Budweiser, you might have uh, some other corporations that are handing out little trinkets and stuff, but nobody's got a $10,000 cash cube. Nope. And all you got to do is follow one of their socials and spin a wheel. And if you know what? If you don't get in the cash cube, you at least get a keychain, a set of sunglasses, or a koozie. I mean... Or a duck. I, I think, or a, or a black duck. Exactly. <laughs> a couple people in chat were wondering if Dr. Dan would maybe give like a Diaco uh, coupon for like your uh, surgery oh, center. Like whatever. I don't, maybe. we'd have to look and see what the legality of that. It's mm-hmm. like a golden ticket. Be, yeah. yeah, like a gold. Oh, that, see? Yeah. Can you not see that the Cuban itself has now morphed into something even better? We're, a, we're, a, we're going to be like, hey, there's an, there's an $8,000 boob job in there, there somewhere. There you go. <laughs> You know, and you and you make it literally like you put it on a fifty Dan, but you you know you you you, you ride on it. What it's really worth? It's not a real fifty. It's a it's an eight thousand dollar boob job. We kind of get a hold of Steven to see if the legality is on that. Oh, wow. that's a lot of great ideas. That's exciting. Or you know, or let me get with some of our sponsors and you know say like the generator guys. Or there's a free generator. Yeah. You know, coupon in there. There's, I mean, right? I mean, the sky's the limit. Oh, it is. Get with Redline and say there's a free case of oil in there. College chicks will get disappointed when they pull that one out. Yeah. <laughs> they start pulling it all over themselves like it's baby Seth, oil. Seth gets a, <laughs> the thing about it is that 50 that has the coupon of what you want, Bad luck. it's still worth 50. Oh, you still, I mean, you're still winning that 50, but that 50 has an added value kicker to it, right? Yeah. We could do, you know, I mean, there's just all kinds of different things. Do you got, so Seth, you usually are the one that's busting my balls the most. What is your, and you've been in radio the longest and seen the most, most, you've seen almost every type of radio promotion that people do organically when they're on the streets. What, what do you think about this? I love it. I think it's, like I said, I think it's going to be a great idea uh, just for content. I think it's going to be an awesome idea when you go out to all these concerts and football games. We talked about going to the south side of St. Pete and having a party with it. We're going to celebrate Juneteenth. We're going to, we're going to, it might be the debut uh, at. In uh, your last day on earth, but. Uh, at, at, we're going to celebrate <laughs> at, at Latin Sun's Barbershop. We're going to have us a parking lot party with the cash cube. Yeah. Uh, and free pizza. Yes. But what uh, if someone uh, holds up your cash cube? Well, that's what. Well, we have to tell the, 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 Latin, the Latin sons to say, hey, listen, you know. We need some protection. We need some protection. Brothers. Maybe we get Taiji down there with an AK. I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and his drone. <laughs> not a if Taiji can't shoot you with the AK, he'll get his drone up and follow you where you live That's and right. come get your ass. Right? Yep. Uh, I I mean, I think... I think so from, from a perspective of like the content and the content that's going to go up on social media from it, and I have, I have not seen a lot of Cash Cube content, and the reasons why radio stations don't have them and haven't had them is because they actually cost money. You have to put something in there, not just a coupon for a free shirt. So, yeah, Bub, I think you are one of the few people with them, uh, one of the few streamers, one of the few radio guys, and I can't wait to break it out. Oh, the D, uh, the ten, we're going to call it the Diaco the the Diaco Law ten thousand dollar cash cube because I'm going to get another ten I'm getting another five grand from Jay I'm going to make ten thousand dollars in there you realize that half of Jay? everything you can get from Jay is really coming from me too right you yeah do okay. I do realize he is your boss though when it comes to the law firm yeah <laughs> we're partners but 
You're but par- no, your partners, but he's a driver. I'm no, in the passenger seat. Exactly. And the driver says, I'm going to throw another five grand in there. Did bitch. he say that? Or are you just assuming? I'm assuming oh, I, can, okay. I can get Jay to do anything. <laughs> really? Especially when it's going which, against Dan. Which brother can you I mean, like, persuade hey, Jay, the You know easiest. what, Jay? I know you gave me five grand, but I like to make it 10. And Dan's being a real dick about it. You think we can, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't being a dick about then, it. And then, and then Jay's the, e- the most if, easily manipulated Diaco? Or? Well, no, Steve actually is. I thought it was Dan. <laughs> No, then I'll go, you know what? Don't make me call Steve up because uh, Steve owes me a favor. Oh. And uh, and I'm, Steve doesn't really owe me a favor, but I tell no. Jay that. Oh, so you, like, <laughs> so, yeah. <threaten> them. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm, I, this $10,000 yeah, $10, <laughs> $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10 yeah. cash cube sounds far better than five. Yeah, the I mean, 10K cash lie. cube. Yeah, the 10K <laughs> cash cube. The Diaco Law 10K cash cube just has a certain ring to it. I don't think Jay would be caught dead in that thing, though. Mm, Not in it. I bet you hundreds I bet you hundreds get Jay excited. You think his own see, money? You see Jay put his little hands his in own that money. thing? Yeah, it is his own money. It's money that, he, that he's saving. That he can win back? Yeah. Um, I can't see Jay putting his arms in there. Yeah, I, was was say, I just don't see it I guarantee at all. Steve would. You know Steve would. <laughs> Steve couldn't. Uh, so we have to put Steve inside he, and he, see if we could touch the top. Oh, it's God. nine feet tall, bro. Oh, dude, that's why. That's why <laughs> so Steve can't big. touch the top. <laughs> so anyway, it, ha- it does. <laughs> I was reading about this cash cube, and it has Lummy like uh, the most powerful blower, which makes it harder to grab. Huh. And then it has an adjustable um, vent up on the top of it that can make it even that can make it swish more like more tornado like oh, to make it man. even harder nice. so i'm not putting on the easiest i got ten thousand dollars in there i ain't i have to make it last for all year for the rest of this year and you know i don't know that we're going to replenish it so you know we gotta have you know we're gonna have to so i'm gonna make the top let me i'm gonna put it on the most aggressive work you know cat five uh uh Tornado settings. Suck the contacts right out your eyes. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah, like even women with tampons have to kind of keep you be careful. Can we use, can we use coins right instead of dollar bills so no, the coins can hit co- you? No. Jeez, Dr. Dan. It's like a hailstorm. Yeah, then we put an eye out and guess who gets sued? Not me. Diaco Law. <laughs> no, they would be there. You sign a waiver before you go in. We might want to probably think about that too. Having a waiver, Dan. But so. you could put ping pong balls in there just to make it more exciting because that's not going to really hurt anybody. Yeah, Dan, Dan, can we just fly around? Keep the cube. Can awesome. We, can we just keep the cash? Can we stop okay. trying to? Okay, just cash. Screw up my cash cube. Okay, it's brilliant. So, so it's does it, brilliant. When, when the wind's not blowing, is the cash all on the floor? Yeah, hmm. yeah. Like so I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna actually oh. gonna have to have Macho Man put a blink camera right on the cube. So in case one of you guys don't sneak in here, like let's say you're you're you know you need a couple hundred bucks, but you're short. You're like, hey, I can go to work. I could sneak in the cash cube mm-hmm. and pull out a hundred, you know. So you know, maybe know. maybe we don't. Maybe after we leave it up, it's inflated, but we put the cash in a you know in in a in a, a lockbox. Well, somewhere. So I just don't think you. I, I, I think there's a there's a, there's a percentage of people here that would try to dip into the cube and get, and get him a twenty. <laughs> Who do you think would be most likely if, if to Kushner, do that? Guy did the right and Bubba. If Seth was here, <laughs> if Seth was here. Doing a podcast with somebody and nobody was in the building and he knew that the cash cube was not camered up and there was just a 50 laying right there by the door. I, I think the Kush might go there and get it. Man. I'm just telling I you, know, brother. I know. Everybody, yeah, I know everybody wants to believe I'm a thief for, and do, do anything no. for money, but I, I just don't steal. I'd rather kill somebody. Okay, perfect. Then okay. we know. Now, now we know. Well, you're, then, now, now I know. know what to do. Now we know. I'll give you 50 bucks if you kill this guy for me. <laughs> Now, now, now he's a after the show. Now he's a, okay. now he's a train killer now. Oh boy, yeah, well, I'll he's, do. He's, he's I got a savage. Base, I got a baseball bat. I mean, I'll do what I got to do. You can hit someone with a bat. You can't kill nobody with a bat. You can. Yeah, you can. Not, not a, not him. I mean, not Seth, him. big <laughs> enough. I don't want to get hit by a bat by Seth. It would hurt. Why don't you just shoot somebody? Yeah, Seth's so not shooting, really a gun guy. Shooting's you know? far more efficient. Yeah, but I would. I don't know how to. I don't know how to cock block and lock it. You know, so I need. I don't to, know how to <laughs> cock block or lock. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> It's the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Want to listen to the show on demand and on the go? Enlist today at BubbaArmyHQ.com and sign up and start listening. The Bubba the Love Sponge Show will be back after this. Oh, it's Austin's dabbling victim. 
My dog eats everything except mushrooms. Shut up, Nug! Don't panic, it's organic, Gene. Yeah. All right, I got I got the makeup of the cash cube. What up, Sicilian redneck? Quarterback for the Giants, Tommy Cutlets. That's what I think about when I see Sicilian Redneck. I was thinking about getting that same title. <laughs> What's up, Big E? Hope you have a great day, man. You still rocking that cowboy hat, Iggy, or is that just for fucking parties? That's a serious look. Thanks, Beach Metal Detectives. I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a Steelers shirt or a field shirt. I'm sure not gonna make a Steelers field shirt, but we're getting some field Steeler stuff here shortly. I think it's a good signing for Jacksonville, man. But I think losing Calvin Ridley is really fucking tough, especially because uh, the Texans are coming in that division. What's up, LM Close? Hello, Maria. What's up, Chris? <laughs> Hello, Jeffrey. Spencer Squared. Who Ridley? They just Ridley. Uh, they just got off. He got offered more money in Tennessee. He said he wanted to stay. Sixty-five dollars. Yeah, really, guys. Thank you, purple jersey, little purple, little purple. Oh, man, man, man. I hope so, man. I hope so. Yeah, I think it's a lot to draft Caleb right now. Yeah, it is. I mean, unfortunately. I'll be rude. I'll be rude. I think, I honestly, I think he's going to be horrible. Uh, you know? I think he's got a horrible, I think he's got a horrible attitude. Uh, I don't think we really know that much about him. Well, it's because he didn't want to do the, be, be, a, be a, a clown for all the people and, and, and be like the monkey, grind the monkey box and do tricks for everybody? At the, at the combine? At the combine? Yeah. And get hurt, potentially? Good look at Jones. Yeah, he said. Yeah, he said. Uh, I saw it along when he told Caleb not to fucking not to go. I don't have a problem with that. If you're the number one obvious guy, not going. He went. He went. He talked to teams. He just didn't. He just did that. I'm saying, but not like you know, jumping yeah. in the fucking. He's not. He's not the little monkey boy. Yeah, no, he did a good thing by I'm showing not, up. Not, yeah, I'm not. I'm not going. What up, Jeremy? Nick the gun guy. Nicky, Nick the gun guy. 
Lucas, Jim Jim O'Con, the Florida Skin 88. Yeah, you got it, Pippi. I'm going to be at 199 this week, motherfuckers. Woohoo! Oh, you are? Sending in dollars on cash apps. I'm here for the titties. <laughs> titties, front row titties. It's work so I can be around titties. What's up, Cracker Chris? What up, Jason? It's the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Miss part of the show? We got you covered at BubbaArmyHQ.com. Now back to Bubba Live Worldwide. Lummy, I need that um, get a hold of Bad Touch Jeff. Generac Generators. Yes. I need one of those little quiet whisper gimmicks. Bad. I'll, I'll give them all types of promotion for my cash cube. And you know what? We may not have the cream. We may not need the cream machine. We just, I'm ordering a couple tents, tables, and then the cash cube will be there. And then we can, we can have it, you know, we could probably, uh, we need one, I guess we need probably the smart car or something. <clears throat> I don't think we could put the cash cube in the smart car, but we need a, we need a vehicle that has a bunch of flashing lights on it. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, well, remember you were talking about if the TV worked, you know, if we were, stri- uh, if I can get it. the cream machine, yeah. I got to get the cream machine. You know, I start the cream machine every day. Oh. I start it every day, but it gets real. I think maybe it needs a new thermostat on it, or the electric fans are 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 have fr- been fried because it gets real hot real fast. But I I keep the I keep a trickle charger on it, and it starts, and all the fluids are good. It just gets real hot real fast because I think the electric fans, Hootie, disconnected them or cross wired them or. Mm-hmm. Or something like that. But in a perfect world, I'd have the cream machine out there. And then we use the TV that's on the cream machine as the monitor for us being live. You know, like we're, 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 because we'll probably be alive, like probably on YouTube. That would be awesome. And I think most people have one of, one of our social platforms on their phone. Would you not agree? I mean, from everything from, TikTok to YouTube to Instagram to Twitter. I mean, chances are there's some when, when they roll up to our booth, they have one of those on there, right? Yeah, I would think so. And you if they would. don't, then it's probably just somebody you want to tell the you know keep yeah, on sorry. stepping. Sorry, you can't be part of the contest. Yeah, you spin the wheel. Now, Dan, here's here's You're not on MySpace anymore. Here, Let's see if I can find it. Oh my God. The C Morning Zoo. On C100. Um, so I did I did this breakdown using ten thousand dollars because I know Jay will give me the extra five. I just know he will. And Dan, quit being a dick about it. He's the senior partner. Okay? I'm not being a dick about it. Yeah, I asked for extra five, and you're like, "Oh no, we ain't doing it. We ain't doing it." I didn't it. say that. Yeah, you did. I didn't say that. You said that Dan had no say in. You said I had no say, and I said just be, be understand that uh, half of that's sure. mine. <laughs> But it ain't. Yeah, it is. You're hitting from the doctor side and the lawyer side. So now it's three quarters of it's mine. All right. So listen to me. (laughs) The way that you can contribute is if we put inside there a golden ticket boob job. Okay. (laughs) So so here's what I was thinking based on $10,000. Put 5,000 ones, 200 fives, 100 tens, 50 twenties, 20 fifties, and 10 100s, then That's a, a breakdown. and then a golden ticket boob job. Lummy's going to win. <clears throat> well, that's... I mean, you could give it to someone who Thank could you, use Dr. it. Thank you, Dr. Dam. No, I, you know, it's non-transferable. So, oh, if, so if Lummy a, would if, have to get boob no, job? No, so if a guy grabbed it, he has to throw it back in the hopper because he's not... Dan doesn't do boob jobs on He can't give men. it to his wife or something? No, it's non-transferable. Is that, okay. what, mean, is that what non-transferable means? We have yes. to throw it back? You got to throw it back in. Okay. <laughs> 
We can't get the cash clip. Gotta have a vagina you, you, to win a breast. Don't you understand, Anna? That's a very, very, very expensive prize, and you're trying to make it. You know, to get to get the sliver of humanity that could potentially grab it. You know, at, 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 make it as difficult as possible, so that if a guy indeed does grab it, he can't give it to his wife. He has to throw it back in. It's only available for girls. Okay, it's our cash cube. We'll make rules up the way we want it. I mean, if you really were giving a boob job away, Bubba, I mean, you talk about showing up to events and being like, hey, there's a golden ticket in there for a boob job. I mean, mm-hmm. we, they would kick. Hold on. Do you know the hot college co-eds that would show up? Oh, yeah. yeah. Again, right back to the content Hundreds. factor. Back to the content factor. They, I know, Can I you would- imagine if we went down to the University of Tampa, Lummy? Oh, yeah. And said, this is our cash cube. And, you know, all kids, college kids, are need, they're broke. Right? Yes. Go, for our social media. Go, go. I don't think anymore, but yeah. Okay, well, uh, yeah. Not the mass holes at UT. But anyway. They're from rich You go ass down families. to U of T, uh, Lummy. They all got social media. They got stuff we ain't even got. Yeah. You tell them to follow our YouTube or whatever the hell. They do. They're like, no problem. You're like, inside of there, not only is there $10,000, and you have 30 seconds to grab as much money as you can, but there's also a golden ticket for a free breast augmentation courtesy of the best plastic surgeon known to man. You have a little sign of Dr. Awesome. Dan there. Yeah, I was going to say we hold up a picture of Dr. Dan's yeah. face so they can see it, you know. Well, yeah, from yeah, 1989. You have, you have like a little display from, oh, yeah. from this doctor. Like a man oh, you can trust. Yeah. yeah. Like a family picture, maybe. You know, I mean, Dan can even send one of his one of his people to help work the booth and hand out some, you know, some product and some Ooh. coupons and things mm-hmm. like that. Nada. Don't think that Diaco Law shouldn't have a, a booth set up there for people mm-hmm. to get a grab a Diaco Law card. Mm-hmm. Well, but how much real estate are we getting in these places? You've got us, you know, now with acres now of getting everybody involved. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't don't worry about room. it. But I guarantee you, right now, every radio station in Tampa, probably America, is like, God damn, does he know how to promote? Mm-hmm. Damn, yeah. that's brilliant. You know what? We can't get our social media numbers to pop. We can't get our YouTube numbers to pop. This guy not only has 110,000 subscribers that I didn't have to buy on YouTube. My my videos will do, I don't know, we got, I got a, I got a Hogan short that has over 7 million views. Damn. We get real views. Our average show gets about, by, by the end of two weeks, over ten to 15,000 views. Some shows get 10,000 views in themselves, talking in the YouTube world. And now this this guy, when he goes out and deals with the public, he has a ten thousand dollar cash cube and all the organic, you know, content that's going to create. And inside that ten thousand dollar cash cube is a eight thousand dollar boob job from the greatest plastic surgeon known to man, Doctor pro- Dan Diaco. He's a promotional genius. Oh my God! I know. So I'm sorry. We're the bone, and we got a, a couple little trinkets we give. Like the, I, I remember used to go by the bones. Um, um, promotional tent at the Lightning game, and it looked like literally a really sad intern sitting there. <laughs> they don't have so, you can only take a picture with the fake Stanley Cup that yeah. they have. You they don't even That's have it. anything to give away well, anymore. They got, they got an eighteen dollar. They, pla- they got an eighteen dollar plastic, you know, Stanley Cup that they got the first time we won the cup, and you can take a picture with it. I always send pictures because every event I go to, there's always a bone tent. It looks like it almost, Virgil. It almost like Virgil. Virgil yeah, yeah, it's always Virgil. It's like now, the one you, guy now, sitting there. Can you guys mm-hmm. imagine? So we all they, uh, listen all radio stations usually have some type of primp presence at these events we're going to be attending, right? Can you imagine how packed ours is going to be compared to theirs? Yeah. They're handing out, you know... They're they're Carlton's hand- fingernail clippings. They're, 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 they're hand... <laughs> <laughs> Something so easy. Morning on Z100. Or I, I can go get a keychain uh, from uh, uh, Wild 94.1. Or, or I can go to Bubba the Love Sponge's Diaco $10,000 cash cube and grab a couple hundred bucks. Uh, and maybe if I'm a girl and I spin the wheel and I get a, I could, I could win a free boob job. Oh, way, way better. One. Way better. And don't think I'm going to have Domino's cater it. And I'm going to have food there. And I'm going to like I'm going to have it's going to be, be a party. We're, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start. Like I said, I'm working my I'm going to work my ass off promotionally. I'll DJ it. No, nah, let's not do that. I'll just <laughs> pipe in some royalty. I'll free do it stuff. for free. That's just more set up and just another thing. Right. Like I need you working. I need you working the booth. Signing the, people up. Like, yeah, I need making you, sure they got the I, yeah. like follow and subscribe. The, the no, decks. No, the you're, you're not. You're not working the decks. You're gonna be. All, you know, it's gonna be all hands the on ones deck. And if, twos? You're, if you're at if you're at the event, you're going to be working the booth, which is ensuring people 
uh, have signed up for one of our various platforms so that they can spin a wheel. Uh, and like Lummy might be working the wheel. Yeah. I might be working the cash cube. Okay. We can't let Seth work the cash cube. <laughs> <laughs> Seth, and you're going to be required to do a few of these. Not all of them, but a few of them. Yeah, no, and, I'm down. Like, I don't need, you know, you there on every one of them. And I, Anna, I don't need you on every one of them. But, you know. I'm excited, Bubba. What about the Seth? I think it's really good content. But I'm in the process of ordering mm. some koozies, mass quantities of koozies. Some of those really cheap sunglasses, those promotional sunglasses that have Bubba Army oh, on the yeah, side of them. For sure. Uh, and, you know. And the, the ducks. And, maybe, yeah, may, maybe a duck. And, and again, the cash cube's only one sliver of the wheel. Not everybody gets to go in. Very few people. There might only be, I don't know, 10, 15 people during an event that even get to get in the cash cube. Because it's a process. Right. You you know, it's it, it's a process. One, you got to sign up for our deal. Then you got to spin the wheel. And the wheel may land, land on free sunglasses. It may land on free black duck. It may land <laughs> on uh, free koozie. It may land on, sorry, you're a loser. You get a bumper sticker only. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> but you, sorry, you know, buddy. There you go. Sorry, buddy. I'm sorry you didn't get in the ca- into the cash cube section. Can there be a thing on the wheel where they have to pay us five dollars? No, no, sad. Okay, I just wanted She's to make in it like dreidel. dangerous. Damn. Congratulations. Hand over a five and get to. And here's a bumper sticker. I'm trying to bitch. get an ROI for the Diacos over here. An ROI. <laughs> Return on my investment. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Like, hey, guys, we got 17 bucks today and, for and, the and Bucks th- game. Now, so, but think about this. So while you're doing this and having fun and signing people up to your various platforms, you're also creating probably some pretty good content. Yes. You know, especially if you go, if you get, you know. Some, A tailgate party or something. You get some hot chicks in there, you know, trying you know, trying to get some money and stuff like that. Check those boobs. Dan, will you check on, because the boob job. Oh, definitely. The, absolutely. The, 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 yeah, boob, absolutely. the boob job kicker is a Big time attraction. Mm-hmm. Like if I'm promoting this and saying, don't forget the Dianco Law ten thousand dollar cash cube mm-hmm. that also includes a free, you know, breast augmentation courtesy of Dr. Dan Diaco. Mm-hmm. There is a golden ticket boob job ticket in there. You get like eight thousand Dr. Diaco dollars. <laughs> right. Do they get go. to pick the CCs, Bubba, or is that? No, I mean, uh, they go in for a consultation. Dan will see if they're a it's candidate. A mutual, it's a mutual. Yeah, I mean, conversation. Yeah, it'll be a conversation they have, and and Dan. They first of all, you have to qualify. Like mm-hmm. you know, there could be some type of medical condition they have that. Like Dan, a penis. Yeah. yeah. And if a guy, uh, and if a guy, and if a, if a guy, if a guy grabs the eight thousand dollar boob job, you put as part as part of the rules. You put it's non transferable. It has to be grabbed by a girl eighteen. Well, if they identify as a woman, then Dan has to take them at that point, and you know. I don't think Dan does. Do I? I don't. Think I don't Dan know, does. but it'd be great if you put boobs on somebody with a pee pee. <laughs> Dan, have you done that yet? What? Are a you, breast dog on a genetic male that's a transgender person? Yes. yes. You have. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh wow! You really have? Yeah. And how big did you go? I don't know. I've done it more than once. Did it as recently as a few, couple months ago. Oh damn! Now they make for good patients. Uh, some of them do. Right. So, I, so you know, again, but hold all on. patients have to be screened for psychological stability, and if I don't like them. What about the doctor? I could say no. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, Dr. Diaco, I appreciate you screening me, but can I, get a screen, can I get a screen on you, kid? Because you seem a little erratic at times. I hear you on the air, and sometimes you're really, really cool, but other times you fly off the handle, and I don't want flying off the handle, Dan, doing surgery on me that day, okay? Yes, you're so, right. So I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, Calm so, man. but, but here, but here, by the way, fish on the J, Lummy, so, so very gracious on the PayPal. PayPal and Cash App are the only ways. I still don't have our Venmo fixed. I'm so sorry. I, I'm trying. They told me they were going to get back to me in less than 24 hours, and it's been two weeks. Of course. Jesus. What if people want to mail you cash like the old school way? Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. We oh. did get that one check from that one guy in Canada. Yeah, we did. Was it, was it Rob? Was it Rob from Canada? I don't, uh, know. I, I, I don't know. No, but yeah. Anyway, so um, let me. Do you have a roster? With Eric re- Gill, forty on the cash app. Thank yeah. you. Yes. With regard to the uh, Bubba One Ninety Nine this Friday. No, I did. I did have Erica get a hold of Maria Guatemala, and I said, if you have not the same one, but if you have like another under boob outfit. That under boob action, Lummy, really took. You know, we had, we didn't have Wizzy. We didn't have a few of the girls here that time. The last Bubba 199, for whatever reason, and Maria pretty much helped 
kind of evened out the lack of female participation by having this outfit, this under boob outfit. And I got to tell you, ladies, right now, and maybe all the guys will agree with me. We really, really are turned on by under boob. I can't explain it. Under boob, over and, boob, or the side, whole boob. No, 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 no. Side boob. I, I'm side and under boob only. Top of boob. Mm, that's cleavage. Anybody can see that. But you, that under boob, where the tan line, you can see oh, it gets a little lighter. That just nothing's hotter than a an an, an adult coed. That's got like a little top on that just goes like just a little bit over her nipples, and she's got the under boobs. Sh- oh my! Jesus, God. are you writing erotica the right little, now? The little banana, banana hangers, well. yeah. with a t- with a, just an absolute tinge of banana hang. Yeah. Oh, T-shirt and you're wearing alpha, and you got Bubba Army alpha on. Oh, my oh God. man, that's that's that's, that's oof. That's I can see this too wild. Beast. Is old school fashion cleavage okay for this event, Bubba, or does it have to be you know some new wave cleavage show? No, off? whatever. I mean, because I, I mean, just like, you know, the merch crick, the merch, merch crick will be plunged. Yes, but I'm not going to let her under boob. She's going to be plunged. Uh, you know, not a fan will be plunged. I think when Wizzy shows up, she plunges. Oh, um, my shoulders um, out. Um, Anna will have her shoulders out. She can't plunge. Um, and um, okay, and, uh, so and gonna hopefully be a, Maria Guatemala will have an outfit that has a, 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 some more under boob action because her under boobs are just to God, die for. To die for. So let me. What do you got roster wise? Do you got is Maria Guatemala going to be here? Yes, she is. Did you tell her about the under boob gimmick? Oh, she knows. She's in chat. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Macho's going to be with his guns out on the DJ. Deck. Macho's going to be on the ones and twos. Well, this is going to be a sex party for his birthday party. Yeah, for his birthday party, he's going to be pumped up. Uh, so I got Little Wilbur's Afterbirth, Big Red, not a fan, Susan Poitras, Tease, Fish on Jay, uh, Cracker Chris, Mitch the Mark, Maria. Cracker Chris, is he new? No, he came the one before. Okay. He, yeah, he's, he's a Seems qualifier. New. Cracker Chris. Uh, Maria Guatemala mm-hmm. with No Name Willie. With No Name Willie. And that's uh, it and right now. No Mushroom Mitch? No, Mar- uh, no, um, no Nash? I put Mitch Mark. the Mark. I probably call him Mark, Mark, Mitch the Mark. <clears throat> Mitch the Mark. Okay, yes. yeah. And then, so we're, wait, we're waiting on oh, a, what, Bob a Heather. Cook, Bob Cook. Oh, of course, Bob Cook misses nothing. So we're waiting on a, what, a Heather Wiz. The Nashes. And the Nashes. Yep. Is that what we're waiting on? Yes. Okay. I hope, I mean, I hope they make it. Me too. Mm. They should just, let me know here shortly. I, uh, I just checked my Amazon account and my cash cube is scheduled to be here on Monday. Really? Ooh. Awesome. Ooh. I'm so, I'm so excited. I mean, the, the I mean, please. And we and we gotta we gotta figure out how we get on University of Tampa. Let me like you know can we go to one of their lacrosse matches or? Oh, of course. I mean, I don't know. Maybe the girls' volleyball game. <clears throat> no, but let me. You know what? We don't have to worry about University of Tampa because we have a partnership with USF. Yes, we do. And I'm sure they have just as many hot chicks. Yes, they do. They actually, probably have four times as many because it's a larger school, it right? Is. Right. It's one of the largest right. schools in the state. Is it really? Yes. Oh, great. It's got like forty thousand. I think it's up to fifty. Is it really? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Maybe we could do the cash cube. It's 25,000 girls, maybe, Bubba. Maybe we could do ladies only cash cube. Why not? You know, wearing like a bikini or something. Well, I don't know if, I, if USF's going to be all about that, Bubba. Yeah. Bubba's trying to poach all their college girls. But, you know, we can poach. T- yeah, we, did you say poach? Yeah, I can say poach. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is a daily telethon. We got to keep the lights on somehow. So don't forget PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. All at BubbaArmyHQ.com. Bubba the Love Sponge. We'll be back after this. Thanks, <laughs> sixty nine or hundred dollars for the cash cube. Thank hey. you, Mel Carpenter. Is is no name, is no name Will Maria's husband? Yes. Oh, okay. The Nashes will be here. Good. What up, Lunger? Plant-based, zero calorie protein shakes. Uh, 200 grams of protein, no calories, no fat, no sugar. You have 200 grams of protein, but no calories? Yeah, zero. Depends on who makes it too and the thickness of it. Yes. Hey, let me know when you guys order one on Friday. I want to try one from that place. Long to say? 
You're gonna throw me like a uh, Ralph North. Has Dan got the protein shakes? Yes, sir. I may have to start getting back on those. You want to taste the mine? No, no, no. Sure. No. I would taste. Fine. I'll just get one. I know what yours tastes like. There you go. A little different every time. What up, Dark Cat? DDP. That's what I. You, that's what I got. Where is this place? It's on McDill. McDill, okay. Like, Yum. You know, like Euclid, El Prado. Okay. Mmm. They're really nice. A little Spexo Barbershop. A little place on a little. Like Maybe start place. getting me one, Danny. Okay. Please. On your, Watch on your phone, can you open your oh, uh, email? Oh, yeah, I'll get you one next time. Oh, oh, right. Right. Say right. please. You gotta say please. Wait a second. Pop up the thing. Pretty badass. Obviously, you know that. What, what's the full name of your car again? Yes, I'm setting up the new market. It's Nat Black. Black. I never had a Nat Black car. Did you go to Nat Black? Yeah, I saw the picture, then I saw it. It looks. I never did a matte black car before, so because usually it's a wrap if you see a matte black or a matte gray. So bolt. So your other Ferrari that you had is fun. Yeah, I'm down, AD. Put strong. me through it. It's probably going to be going. Hopefully, I can lose some weight in the process. Was one of those Ferraris? I'm so sorry. Was one of those Ferraris one of your race? No, I'm sure she was. My oh, race car still have. It's a red one. That's also a Macho's got the strap. That's why you don't see it a lot. You know, Bubba gave, you know, Bubba's got it off camera right now. Mm -hmm. It's not on TV every week. Like Roman Reigns. When's he gonna fucking lose? Uh, it's ridiculous. supposed to be this 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 WrestleMania. It's borderline ridiculous. They've got him wrestling back to back. He's headlined both nights. But I mean, is he that over? Uh, yeah. For, I mean, for real? Yeah. Morning, Doug. Yeah, he's the biggest baby face they got because Cena's not there. So it's him and why, Seth. Why ain't Cena there? Is he hurt? Yeah, yeah. No, Cena's uh, Cena's just very part time now. Like he's, I think he was at WrestleMania last year. So he's kind of rocking himself out of the business. He loves wrestling first and foremost, oh, yeah, but you know he's so busy. His movie career is doing very very well. I think The Rock has some free time. Why is the last Rock not been so good? Last, I think the last couple Rock movies weren't that great. Well, I don't even remember which one they were. There was one called Black Adam. I think it was a superhero thing. Oh, that didn't do good, did it? People said, yeah, people said it was flawed. Cocaine and cigarettes. So. <laughs> Cocaine, cigarettes, caffeine. I can't think of the last one. We're twice a year. Must have been Fast and Furious, maybe. I mean, Moana 2 is coming out, so if he's going to be in that one, that would be another fucking huge one, yeah. He's this is spring workout. But either way, man, he's killing it in wrestling. They're let him do 20 minute well, promos. Well, it's the vernal equinox. I worked out in. Hello, baby. Five months ago. In your. I'm not sure. I haven't fucking lifted a single weight except for the physical therapy last week. But you do like exercise and shit. You ride my bike, and it's about right, right. That's good. That's great. That's great. Looks like my seat. Is it feeling any better? Yes. Oh, fuck, ton better. Much better. We suck fish on day. I mean, it's healing itself, or is that? I'm going to start fishing. I'm going to regenerate. Dude, I wouldn't be fucking surprised. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple of doctors that you absolutely need surgery. I'm like, fuck you, I'm not getting surgery. I'm going to regenerate. <laughs> We just needed the catalyst, the PRP was a catalyst to help it. I, I mean, I feel like I'll be 100% better in another month or two. Like, I feel no that way. good. I feel that much better. I feel like now, does finally, that confidence kind of fuck you up? Because then you do more than you can handle? Yeah, I won't. Get re I won't. I'll be, I'll, I'll be very cheap. Because I, my rehab. Like, I know not to run as fast as I can run. Because I'll rip my hamstrings off my ass. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I know better. Yeah, okay. So fish on day. That's really up. Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, yeah. I'm just going to sit here and just get off my chair and just rip 50 yards. Yeah. Right? yeah. I'm like a little rubber band. You know, I'm trying to ride it. Well, I thought you'd have some protection with your fucking yellow jumpsuit or whatever. Your spandex, your banana suit. <clears throat> Untouchable. It is too damn nice outside. It's nice. Yeah. So nice. It's like a high 60. Right? I feel alive. So big. Sorry, Bubba, I chucked a ring your way. <clears throat> but I don't think it's going to get very cold tonight. It got cold last night. No. Oh, so I missed it. I missed it. I missed it.
Do you want to hear all the times Hulk Hogan or Tucker Carlson called in? We have it all for you on BubbaArmyHQ.com. You're listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Love those, love those new positioning statements. Love it. Got some more. Courtesy, all you guys wrote me some more. So I just sent them to her. So we'll hopefully have them here in a few weeks. When we often often uh, think about living a more heart healthy life, sometimes you might think it makes means big unsustainable changes. Well, the Super Beat Heart Chews, you get a daily b- blood pressure support and just two tasty chews. And they even promote a heart-healthy energy without the stimulants. Paired with a healthy lifestyle, the antioxidants and super beats are clinically shown to be nearly two times more effective for promoting normal blood pressure than a healthy lifestyle alone. Super Beat Heart Chews are the number one doctor, pharmacist, and cardiologist recommended beat brand for cardiovascular health support. Super Beat Heart Chews are also support healthy circulation without the heart healthy circulation without uh, all any stimulants at all. Double your potential with Super Beat Heart Chews and get a free month supply of Super Beat Heart Chews on all bundles and a free full size bag of turmeric. Turmeric. It's great stuff. It's valued at $25 and it all starts and stops by going to BubbaLovesBeats.com. Get this exclusive offer now only at BubbaLovesBeats.com. Um, so did you see, like, Don Limit? <laughs> Don Lemon, like, like, like. I'm sorry, about when you say his name, it just makes me giggle because he is he is a clown. He is there for our entertainment. You know what? You know what? Uh, uh, Seth would be interesting uh, to ask your barbers what they think about Don Lemon. Oh God, I'm sure they hate him. No, I'd love to hear their their stance on him. Be like, hey man, how do you guys feel about Don Lemon? I'll ask him because I think Don Lemon is potentially. One of the biggest race baiters ever. Mm. 100%. Up. All he does is puff uh, puff out his chest and try to bait you into, and, he, and plays the black card more than any journalist I've ever seen. I think he'd win a popularity contest in prison, and that's about it. What pushed him over the edge to get fired from CNN? Did he call um, a lady old or something? <clears throat> it was something misogynistic. <laughs> yes. What did he say? He got, he got caught by his own BS. Hold on here. He was talking see. about like she's Some no spring bitch. chicken. He was talking about someone that oh, said she was no, age related. Yeah, it was an age related <clears throat> shaming, which is really of all the shamings, that's like the the least volatile. I can the least actually, I could have actually maybe supported Don Lemon on that one. Yeah, he didn't do anything wrong. But, but, he, but the other things that he done that never got him fired. I, he's a, he's an abs- absolute joke. It was, and because he baited everybody else, it's so funny and ironic that he got stuck by his own bait. It was his comment about Nikki Haley. Uh, hey, Alexa, what did Don Lemon get fired from CNN for? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, sexist comments. Also, I can share the poll of the day with you each evening around 6 p.m. Would you like me to set up that routine? Yes. No. It no. wasn't sexist. It says she, with it, Nikki Haley like wasn't no in her prime, yeah, right? Nikki, yeah, it was Nikki Haley being past her prime. Yeah. A lot of people past her prime. I mean, White, black, male, inc- female. Including himself. So anyway, Don Lemon now has a new spinoff show. Where is It this? was an interview. I sent you the full one on Twitter because I know that this upsets you, the pausing in, on the Daily Mail so stuff. So the one that I'm getting ready to watch here is not the one that It's I need. not the full. It's like two or three minutes or something. The one I sent you... Uh, the one you IM me, yeah, Bob. I believe this is his, his Twitter. His sh- I believe his show is over now. Yeah, I got, got that was one. It was one and done. Elon <laughs> fired him after he interviewed him. Well, I I would have too. Well, Anna, but here's the thing. Like maybe I this you is just want I some mean, clips. Well, you sent me the one that was probably the highlight reel, the two minute reel. I'm thinking that they've taken the hour and six. I can't. I cannot navigate through this. You know that. Yeah, the timestamps you could click on. Do you know them? If you exit out, there, up, up the blue. If you click on like, oh, I want to hear what he said about trans rights, you could just skip to like fifty one twenty five. All right, you know, sorry. let's do that. Thank you. Sorry. So they, all right, perfect. So I do that, and this. So this is the Don Lemon interview on X slash Twitter, and then <laughs> I love it. It's such a pimp move that he, he pissed off Elon so much that. This was Elon canceled his account right after. A, a, after this interview. Brilliant, right? 
Did Elon, yep. did Elon retweet this? I don't know. I got to see if Elon uh, oh, recognizes this or not. Here we go. Um, listen, we are here as part of a launch of a news interview show that is going to be on X.com. Uh, it's coming as a media industry, as you know, is going through a whole lot of changes. Yeah. X has also been affected by that. Where do you see X.com's role in the future of news and journalism, Elon? Fair question. Well, I, I think... The, Very I fair. I see the, the X as... Uh, it, it's, it's really the number one source of news uh, in the world. So it is number one, yeah, uh, the number one way that people actually are informed about any kind of news, meaning real-time events, is uh, on the X platform, formerly Twitter. Um, there's, there's nothing even close for real-time news. So um, we also want to expand upon that, um, and we've, we have done so with uh, long-form content. So instead of just doing what you call tweets, you can now do long-form posts. You can post- Shows? We, we, we post our show up there every day. So I mean, something with, I think that's what he's talking about, long yeah, well, form. Anything, yeah. anything beyond the original 140 characters. Right. You know, they have Posting now 280 head. characters. You can do clips. You can extend what you're you can posting. Do porn. You can go live. You can do video. It's, it's, it's gotten can so much porn? more comprehensive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's, yeah. Tons of There's a on. lot of porn. So let me. If I use some of our <laughs> porn, like with Stormy and Janessa. That's and, fair game on Twitter. But what I'm well, saying did, is. Well, we did that with uh, uh, but, I mean, Akira. Like, I know, but what I'm saying is, like, is it a new day since Elon's there, and now we could put up some of that porn because that would eat. Well, we put it, we, we put it up. Porn. We put it up with uh, Elon there. The problem is, Bob, with it, it. Even though a lot of people do porn, every now and then they do flag it. So I think and, it's and it asking probably for a problem. Also, get you demonetized. Right. Too. I think it's asking for a problem. Rhett, but this is kind of your. This is your world. Would you suggest us not putting porn on our X? Uh, I would su- I'd suggest that. Clean- must be cleaning up a scout turd. Hold on. SA, <laughs> in fact, you can now uh, put an entire book, post an entire book to the platform. Um, you can do long form video content. Uh, so you can do uh, up to four hour video segments. Um, we really want news in whatever form it is, or information, I should say, in whatever form it is, to be available on our platform, whether it's short, long, text. Pictures, video, whatever the case may be. Porn, you should put porn in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And all right, so they've the, always had allowed porn, by the yeah. way. Did all you right, hear so, what he was demanding yeah. from X in his contract? Who? Who? Uh, Don. Don, Don Lemon. What? No. He wanted a free uh, Tesla Cybertruck, five million dollars upfront payment on top of an eight million dollars salary, an equity stake in the multi-billion dollar company, and the right to approve any changes. Man, in he policy. really Who thinks he, he, he really think he thinks he's all that. I mean, Tucker had literally like. 10 times the views that this bozo had. I think Tucker just I I think Tucker only asked for equity uh, equity partnership. I don't think that he has I don't think he had any of that. Hold on. Donald Trump and endorsing a candidate. Here we go. Hold on. Group. My question to leading into this is about MAGA. You and speaking of MAGA, you recently met with Donald Trump in Florida. What did you guys talk about? Cool stuff. Uh, I was at a dinner I, I was not done. I was at a breakfast at a friend's place. And Donald Trump came by. That's it. So you didn't go there to meet him? I, no, I went to a, a, a friend of mine's house uh, and it said, said, Donald Trump's coming by for breakfast. Is that uh, if, just so you know? Like, okay, fine. What'd you discuss? I've, I don't. <laughs> um, let's just say uh, he did most of the talking. The normal things he says, there was nothing particularly gra- 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 groundbreaking on you, but uh, he, you know, uh, President Trump likes to talk. And so he talked. I, I, I don't recall him saying anything that he hasn't said publicly. Uh, and that was it. It was just a breakfast. Did he ask you for money? He didn't. Did he ask you for a donation? No. He didn't. No. You said you're not going to donate to any candidate. That's correct. Why not? I think. Hold on. I think that. I think that. Right. I think that's a stupid question because I think you. A, a, you the question answers itself because I don't want to get into the fray. If I don't give anything to anybody, I'm not in the fray, right? I think. Like I don't think you have to even ask that. One hundred percent. Yes. Exactly. But you know, Don Lemon is not a masterful interviewer. I'm just. I'm wondering when. I'm wondering what it was when Elon started becoming uncomfortable with the interview and becoming annoyed. It's the whole it's thing. Right it now. Whole thing? Right about here. Yeah. Right about here. Okay. Hold on. Right, let's see. Because you can tell that he's Academy trying to get him stuff. to say something. He can t- he's looking for a gotcha. I think, uh, I 
Well, I'll, I'll voice my opinion. Um, I think uh, I don't want to. I don't want to put uh, a thumb on the scale monetarily. Uh, that uh, is, you know, significant. Are you going to loan him money to help pay his bills? No, not at all. Pay his legal bills. And at the end of the day, man, who, 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 it's, who's, who's business? That's a weird question. I mean, exactly. It, again, it was it's, chock it's, full again, of weird questions. He's just he's just trying to jam him up. He's trying to jam him up with every possible way. I'm not I'm not paying paying his legal bills in any way, shape, or form. And he did not ask you for money. And he did not ask me for money. Are you going to? So you're not going to endorse a candidate. I may, in the final stretch, endorse a candidate, uh, but I don't know yet. Uh, I want to make a considered decision uh, before the election, uh, and if I do decide to endorse a candidate. Don Lemon with the very first and only uh, X show that he did with, you know, owner and of X, Elon Musk. And after the interview, Elon canceled the guy's account. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> Unreal. That's pimp. But, but it looks it looks like it was unedited, like because there were such such long pauses. Like I figured if he actually wanted to make Elon look somewhat decent, he would tighten up the show a little right. bit. I agree with you, too, right. Seth, 100 percent. He was not trying to make Elon look good on his own platform. Here we go. Then I will Dumbass. explain exactly why. Are you leaning towards anyone? No, you're not leaning towards anyone. Because you've been... Well, I'm sure I'm leaning, leaning away from Biden. You're leaning away? <laughs> I've made no secret of that. Are you concerned about losing your security clearance if Biden is reelected? Does that have anything to do with it? No. You are leaning away from Biden, but you're not going to endorse anyone. It seems like an endorsement of President Trump because there are only two people... What are- does it matter, Mr. Johnny, trying to just dick? God dang, chill out, move on running now. Nikki Haley is out. I mean, a lot could happen between now and the election. So we'll see who in their final analysis uh, are the choices for president. Um, And at that point, I may or may not endorse uh, one of the candidates. If I do, I will provide a very uh, detailed explanation of why I I am endorsing one. Looks like he had neck surgery. At that point, might you... Yeah, neck surgery. Like a spine, mm-hmm. anterior approach for spine surgery. Or like a thyroid. He starts getting really heated with, in the, uh, in yeah. the 30, 30 minute uh, angle. All those Con- the, content moderation. Like, or the ketamine when he starts. Oh, that's what got him mad. Yeah, when he was like asking him about his prescription right, ketamine. Right, right. Asking him if he was on drugs. Do you think if there, if, if you moderated yourself more, if there was better content moderation on the platform that you wouldn't have to answer these questions from reporters about the great, great replacement theory as it relates I to I don't Democrats. have to answer these questions. The great replacement theory as it relates to Jewish people. Do you think that... I don't have to answer questions from reporters. Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, otherwise, I would not do an interview with this interview. So you don't think... You, do you think that you wouldn't get in trouble or you wouldn't be criticized for these things? I'm or criticized that possibly. I could care less. It, you, don't, you don't care? No, I don't Why care. not? I don't think people should care what the media thinks about them. They're e- terrible judges of character. <laughs> <laughs> Even someone who has one of the biggest... So listen, Don Lemon is so stupid that he's getting his next big break on this guy's platform, and he's trying to do nothing but shove it right up his ass. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, I mean, so who stupid. in the... Oh, God dang. Social it's so media. stupid. I mean, okay, if you don't want to interview the guy because you have to throw him softballs, then don't interview him. Go interview... Go do your stuff. Go interview well, the well, things well, that well, you were going to go go do. But, but wait a second. One step further, Baba. I don't think Elon Musk was asking for a, a really, like, a gentle interview. He just didn't want an inappropriate interview where it was nothing but trying to get him on gotcha right. moments. I don't think he, he wanted, wanted a fair he interview. He didn't want softballs. Don Lemon's, this is Don Lemon's defense because Elon is on record for multiple times saying that there should be a public square where no one is censored for saying anything, even people you don't agree with. So if he gets canceled, which he did, he's probably going to start screaming like, oh, well, Mr. Free Speech, you can say whatever you want, has canceled me. That's so he he's and a guess hypocrite. what Elon says. That's what he did. Who cares? Yeah, he Talk. went on CNN to, to complain about it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was fired from platforms yeah. in the world. You don't think, you don't care, you don't think that there's. You have yeah, he goes on CNN, the place that fired him before, yes. to discuss <laughs> discuss who latest who, who's the latest to fire him. Exactly. That'd be like, yeah. E, X. That'd be like me going on the bone to talk about Beasley firing me. <laughs> 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 right? I mean, yeah. like, come on now. We, we get you right after the lightning game, Bubba. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right after the lightning game, oh. I'm going to go do a two-hour show as to why 98.7 uh, fired me. Yeah. Anyone on the responsibility view? to the truth or moderating the platform? 
Uh, you're conflating the truth with the, with the media, and I think the media is uh, not truthful. Well, not just the, the media. I mean, just the truth in general. Uh, I care about the truth very much. That's why we have, for example, community, community notes on the YEX system, um, where uh, in order for a community note to surface and uh, provide corrective information about what somebody posts, and, and my posts are equally subject to this. My, I've been being a community noted many times. Um, the in order for, for a community note to surface, uh, people who have historically disagreed must agree in order for a community note to surface. And all of the code for community notes is open source. Man, I, I, holy equipment. <clears throat> but just so people know, I like, know. just so people know that not everybody's on Twitter, like, somebody can have a tweet, and then if there's misinformation or something on it, uh, there'll be something at the bottom that says community notes, and then it'll be explain, you know, what the truth, like, someone could post a video and be like, look at this fight that happened last night, and a community note would be like, this is a fight that happened from eight years ago. Here's right, the new story. Right, right, right. It gives you a little right. correction. Yeah. Here we go. Gently, though. This is, yes. uh, the relaxing of video games. Let's talk now about um, SpaceX, Tesla. You got a lot of lawsuits. You've got X.com. You got a lot going on. How do you relax? Well, um, I, I relax. I spend time with my kids, my friends, and I, you know, make somewhat of a nerd technologist. I, I like playing video games. <laughs> so uh, I'll play video games with, with, with friends online. Which one? And lately, I've been playing Diablo. Um, and, um, but I've played almost all the games over the years. Uh, a long time ago, I was like semi-pro good at Quake. This is really dating me, uh, <laughs> because we're talking about... I wasn't even familiar with Quake. No. What, was it like Oregon Trail or something? Years yeah. ago. Quake was a first-person shooting game. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Uh, like Duck Hunt? Like Wolfenstein? Like, like Wolfenstein. Like Wolfenstein? Twi uh, here we go into the Similar high spot. Twi tweeting and drug use. I think this is where it starts to go south. Oh, no, his average, like, those last ones is when he tells him, you're pissing me off. What, just choose your questions the one carefully. I, the one I just missed? Well, no, it's like no, the, the trans advertisers. rights and stuff. Yeah, trans yeah. rights. It's all toward the end. All right, I know. So I'm, I'm just continuing on down the line, Lummy. That's what I'm trying to say. DEI. Doesn't he look like an aged Nicholas? A little bit. Listen, I'm not yeah. asking you anything you that anyone else hasn't asked you about um, your controversial stuff that you tweet. You post a lot of controversial stuff. Is that considered blowing off steam? Um, well, I, I guess I do en enjoy using the platform. I mean, I do call um, the X platform the, the PVP or player versus player uh, platform. Um, so in video games, there's... Uh, player versus like environment um, where you're not playing against other people um, and then there's PvP which is like hardcore you're actually playing against other people and uh, but that's blowing off steam for you yeah yes. it, it, it is to some degree not always I mean I'll say use it for uh, none of this is even interesting to post no. jokes to post uh, yeah. can we talk about the great replacement theory now um, some of the things that you post, a great replacement theory. You claim that Democrats, He's not President a good Biden's immigration plan to open up the border. You said that they're, the president is getting, and Democrats are doing it, to get more votes. Um, but undocumented immigrants cannot vote in federal elections, so how is that possible? Right. Um, well, you're conflating two things. One is great <laughs> replacement theory. Uh, the other is, which I, I don't subscribe to that. I'm simply saying that there is an incentive here uh, if uh, legal immigrants, which I think have a, a very strong bias to, at least everything I've read, it's a very strong bias to vote Democrat, um, the, the more, more that come into the country, the more they're likely to vote uh, in that direction. But it, it is, in my view, uh, an, the, a simple incentive to increase uh, voters to Democrat voters. Um, and, yeah, so the so question is, like, how? So there's, there's, Don Lemon's a bitch. Uh-huh. He just—he like, even looks like a—he even looks like a bitch. Yeah. He tries There's to a, catch him with a, a clip. Get a real man up in here, man. To, uh, this works. One is that. All right, I'm done with this one. I, where's it start? Let me. When does it start getting a little bit crazy? I mean, DEI. toward the, uh, toward the DEI the, and trans rights, and then right. advertisers. Right, advertisers right. is when he tells them to watch his questions. All right, here we go. <laughs> hey, so listen, let's talk about diversity, equity, and inclusion. All right, that's been a target of yours lately. Of on course, that. of course, we got to talk about that, Don, because that's what you have to bring up in order to be relevant. <laughs> so you, uh, on, there was a repost of Ben Shapiro. You claim that DEI is killing people. Specifically, you point to medicine. You claim that DEI programs are putting people at risk. Do you really believe this to be true? And what evidence do you have to support it? Um, what I was referring to What's there? DEI? 
Diversity, equity, inclusion. Dale Earnhardt Incorporated. Yeah, Dale and it, and what it is is that it's putting people in positions and in and, and accepting people into schools that would not normally have been accepted because we're instead of having equality, we have equity, which guarantees equal outcomes. So what it happens is we saw Bubba in the eighties and nineties affirmative action. And that allowed a lot of African Americans to get to college. Of course, it bumped white kids and, and Asian kids that would have gotten Asians in are because pissed, by the way because they had better grades. But it allowed a lot of African Americans to get educations and and get great jobs and become pillars of society. Well, that's not good enough. Now we need equity, which means that we all have the to same. have the exact same <laughs> outcomes, and that further discriminates against people that aren't black, and allows people that I believe have lesser talent get into positions in schools and in business and in medicine that they should and not in, be and in. And in law you're in. And in law in all in all professional standards right they aren't on. as gifted as the ones that should be there. And so the standards go down, right. the quality goes down, is that the outcome right now? goes the down. Standard yes. goes We're down. There. That's what he's saying is when you reduce the standard for anything, pilots, this is one of the things they talk about is that they reduced, you know, is there any evidence that a naval aviator is going to be safer for you than the woman that landed that Boeing plane where the door fell out? And he literally tries to catch him on that. And the truth is, when you have a naval aviator like Captain Sully, or any, I don't care what color he is, or her, if you're a naval aviator or you have military experience, you're going to be far more qualified than the person who gets hired to do the UPS overnight, you know, uh, transportation, giant Giant airplanes, but those people have cargo. they've reduced exactly cargo planes. They've reduced the qualifications. So the cargo, That's all cargo he's saying. Cargo pilots now fly in Seth and his family to, to vacation. Right. Okay. Here's the thing: people that, usually right. think that equity and equality are the same thing. They're not. They're not the same thing. If you hear equality, that's good because that's equal opportunity. But if you hear equity, that means same outcomes. Right. Run for the hills. I want equality, Run for the hills. not right. equity. Right. And that's where yes. we grew up, Perfect. Bubba. You and I grew up on equality, right. and that that is that is the word that makes sense. That is what our constitution is based on. I could have been a doctor. I could have been a lawyer. You had an opportunity. I could, could have been, but mm-hmm. guess what? I decided not to because that was mm-hmm. school and wasn't for me, buddy. Now, now excellence. <laughs> I could is, not pay attention. Now, excellence is excellence, and the Tuskegee Airmen, which were all black naval or uh, military f- uh, fighter pilots in World War II, were awesome. Super but what they talented. Did was, but what they did was they got the smartest, most athletic, best, best trained. Black guys in the whole country. They didn't just say, "Hey, Jethro, you're just slinging crack on the street this week. You're going to be a pilot next week." They picked the best of the best, and what they got at the end was the best. If you start with the best, you end with the best. But you can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear unless you start with a silk sow. Man, we got if some old with school, junk, some old school junk. euphemisms coming Whoa. up here, my friend. That's some nice. Hold on. But prophetic but proverbs. <laughs> Dan, settle down, buddy. Somebody step. shoot Dan in the side of the neck like Dexter immediately. We need to knock him out immediately. <laughs> if you go boss, we should stay there. I don't know. <laughs> love it. I think we keep it going, Bubba. Uh, so, so that they... That need, let know, me, we need to make that... We need to make Dan's out Burst uh, short. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If, if the test for a doctor, so we can get ourselves canceled. Lowered. <laughs> uh, that, then the probability of them making a mistake and killing someone is obviously going to be higher. <coughs> Wait, say that again. I'm not sure I understand what you're saying. Oh, I my want to make goodness. sure I understand what you're saying. <laughs> yes. If if the if the standards for passing medical exams and becoming a doctor, or especially <laughs> something like a surgeon, if the standards are lowered, was uh, that cough on my end? No. Yeah. Yeah. Who was it? I had my button pushed, and it was just too loud, I guess. Jesus, Dan. Uh, uh, then the probability that the surgeon will make a mistake is higher. They're making mm-hmm. mistakes in their exam. They, they may make mistakes with people, and that may result in people dying. What evidence do you have, though, that they're lowering the standards? Uh, there is no evidence of that. Yes, sir. <laughs> I believe there is. <laughs> There's no evidence of that, Elon. What, what is the evidence? I, I believe they have literally lowered the status at, at Duke University, and that is... By the way, which is where Dan went to. ...is what the article was referring to. There's no evidence they have not lowered there's, the status? There's no Duke? evidence about uh, lowering standards, and I think that there is... Um, <laughs> Leave but, that as a false statement you're making. Okay. Well, now, well, now, 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 amongst us all, 
can we all agree that there are instances where they have lowered the standards to get into various and the military. He's referring standards. to a specific study about Duke University, and that's why he's saying, I believe you're giving misinformation because he's referring to something. Something he's read, yes. so a study that he's seen, yes, and he's ref- which he's referring back to that Don's not familiar with. Right. And Elon's saying, listen, bud, I, th- I, think you're, I, th- I don't think that you're as well read on this subject as you think you are. We'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. I, I think I mean, the interesting thing is when, when this is posted on the X platform, there will be a whole bunch of things that rebut what you said and what, what I said. Right. And so people can then make their own decision based on the replies and the rebuttals and the community notes. I think that's fair. But I do think that. All right. So let me see. Let me. Where are we going here? I would go probably if you want to get the, the, the advertisers. Trans. Uh, yeah. He advertisers when he starts getting really pissed. But Testing. yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. With, let's go with trans and then over to the advertisers and we'll call it a day for the Don Lemon talk up. I did not. Uh, let's talk about trans rights and the, the woke mind virus, because you've talked about that a lot. You write about that a lot on the thing. You have been deeply outspoken about the issue of trans rights. You posted trans <laughs> rights. You uh, posted that pronouns and bio mean the woke mind virus ate your brain. Do you know what the term woke actually means? <laughs> um, this is kind of like when you were lawless when I was in a lot of trouble. But what it actually <laughs> what originally it was meant to mean. It's just being aware of inequities in society and, and being aware of facts and, and history. Yeah, I think it's come to be, I think, I think being aware of inequities in society is fine, of course. Um, but, uh, By the way, make- you're listening to Don Lemon's first and last show on X, <laughs> and his first guest was Elon Musk. First and last guest. And I think, I think Elon probably got up from the stool and went to who, like, you know, his assistant and said, Go ahead and cancel that guy immediately. <laughs> I, I mean, Bubba, it. it's 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 Don Lemon who just got fired and now he's resurfacing, and it's Elon Musk, you know, one of the most fascinating dudes, and this is just such a, a boring, boring interview. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. To me, it just seems like like there's no there's so many things that you could talk to Elon about, and this seems like it's an hour and six minutes of 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 Don Lemon trying to catch Elon in a viral sensation. You don't think that's interesting? Well, um, no, I Just don't. The, the <laughs> tension, the tension between the two. I don't know. I think it's interesting. To I, watch. Don't. I don't. I, I don't. Mm-hmm. I think it's more interesting to watch him on Joe Rogan when there's not tension, and you see him open up and tell you things you never imagined about I like himself. Tension. I think it's interesting Everything, to watch Don Lemon uh, look like an idiot. On, on What's yeah, that? exactly. I think it's interesting to watch Don Lemon look like yeah, an idiot. I think it's interesting yeah. to let him mm-hmm. watch a guy, you know, completely ruin an opportunity. <laughs> yeah, that's fun to watch. <laughs> I'm trying to make everything a race issue. Well, I could just replay my life. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't gotta, I don't gotta watch Don Lemon to, to see a you know a, 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 guy, a guy lose it all. Please, I got a cash. I, I got a ten thousand hour Diaco Law cash cube coming. <laughs> I heard. We're on the way up. Did you, now, did you, Jay, did you hear that? I'm like, I'm gonna ask Jay for ten, and then Dan's like, Nope, can't do it. I'm like, I heard. Oh, that? I never said nope, can't do it. I, I never that, said that. Half of that's You're my, making that up. Half of that's my money. Well, he's I like, you, maybe you should ask Dan as well as Jay. I, think is I thought Dan would definitely go for it, but he was kind of like being a kind of wedge on the deal. And, I wasn't being a wedge. He's kind of being a wedge on the deal. I'm contributing seventy five hundred out of the ten thousand and a boob job. I'm good. That's fair. How, how, are, how are you? Con- you're, you're not. You're. You're half the law firm and the medical firm. That's three quarters. Half plus half. No. God, I hate math. I do hate math. Plus sorry. a boob job, Bubba. Sorry. Plus a boob job. Sorry I screwed right. you over, Danny. I'm so sorry. It's all right. It's it's never going to frack Looks like it might be the 12-5 uh, cash cube. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, don't you think it's going to be an unbelievable uh, opportunity, though? It I mean, sounds pretty cool. It is. Would you get in it, or is that beneath you? Grab, beneath grabbing me. hundreds. Well, I don't know that I would say that like that. Uh, See, yeah, I, I don't think I, think I get in I think that. hundreds excite you. I like your cash breakdown because there's some, you know, randomness like to it. Yeah, I question. thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> what? So here's here's the, here's the way we're doing yes. it: five thousand one dollar bills, um, two hundred fives, one hundred tens, fifty twenties, twenty fifties, ten one hundreds, and a golden boob job. How many how many bills is that total? Uh, let me see, 5,000, 5,200, 5,300. Jay just busted fi- out an SAT fi- on you. 50, fi- hold on. 50, <laughs> I it's, know. About, it's about, it's about 5,400 pieces of, of it's okay. 5,400 bills. That's a lot of bills. I'm just trying to figure out how many bills are going to be in this box because there's going to be, you know, well, you want gonna, it to be a lot. Well, here's the thing. We're going to get it and set it up, and yeah. then we're going to fine-tune it on how fast the blower needs to go. Test how mu- it with Lummy. We're going to, well, yeah, we test it with anybody. 
Um, we can't test it with Seth because, you know, t- t- if, you know, when we test, you have to put the money back. And Seth would just literally have an anxiety attack that he grabbed $210 and couldn't keep it. <laughs> so Seth won't be able to, won't be in the, probably the R&D department of the Diaco Law $10,000 cash cube with a, with a boob job kicker. I'm fine it's with a, that, Bubba. Well, that's... A divisive and corrosive to society. We're going to try to make it as tornado as we can, Jay, so, so that, you know, a person can't, you know. Really can you work the vents like, like somebody that's working the rodeo thing at the No, at the I don't bar? think you can sit there and go, bam. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, no, I don't you think, think you can continue. Higher, no. lowers, twist it. <laughs> no, I don't think if a guy's grabbing too much, you could turn like extra, you know, 500 yeah. horsepower on and Just have Lummy just tackle the machine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even as and a start relic- shooting out pepper spray, and we have to like you know, grab, <laughs> grab, grab, just you know, gas them. And then, and then they drop all their bills because they're you know trying to scratch your eyes, and you said, "Oh, sorry, you didn't win nothing, buddy. The pepper, the pepper kicker got gotcha. you." It's the trans issues, which is what I'm. All right, let, let me just does it is it, is it Yeah, this, this is where it really is, gets heated. Yeah, because I got to get into words here. Hold on. Let's let's talk more about free speech and for advertisers, right? Because all, all this controversy, I, I believe, as you know, has made um, X less appealing to advertisers. About half of them have left the platform. You call advertisers that left X uh, dot com. You said there were oppressors. You've even gone as far as saying it publicly <clears throat> that they can go f themselves or go fuck themselves. No, Advert- if they're if they're going to force censorship on the, on the company uh, before advertising, then. Uh, obviously, I find that unacceptable. You find it unacceptable. Why is that not a form of, of free speech? They are free to advertise where... Yeah, they're free to advertise where they want, and I'm free to tell them to go after themselves. Correct. It makes for a great combination, Don. They win and I win. They don't want to advertise, and I tell them to go after themselves. There's no loser there, my friend. It's, it's, it's the First Amendment at its finest. They're making a decision to tell me to go pound sand, and I'm telling them to go pound sand. It's a mutual effing. How can you not wrap that around your, your head, my friend? Because he's stupid. Easy. They want. They're not beholden to. They're not Easy. 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 <laughs> half of half of Diaco Law is not supposed to be no, saying that kind of sort of thing. Diaco Institute of Plastic Surgery. Yeah, yeah that's there. certainly. That's the. Yes. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, Diaco Institute of Plastic Surgery's official policy and position on this is that Don Lemon's stupid. Meanwhile, you have no position when it comes to the law firm. <laughs> yeah, I'm oh, second you, position. Right. Second so, fiddle. How is that not free speech? The, they, they, that's, whereas the other platforms will censor on behalf of, of advertisers, the X platform will not. Okay. So, but you think it's, uh, you don't think it's okay for them not to. Aver- I really, honest to God, <laughs> I really wish that Elon just would have just, just straight up just went. Just smashed him right Spitch in the lip. Slapped him. It probably just, felt better to fire him, Bubba, right after this. <laughs> that's the difference between canceled. me and that's the difference between me and me and Elon. He so calmly goes back and says, "Can't you?" I just would want to just give him a purple eye. Yeah, I just want to pound him right, you know, right in his mouth. Just right square those two nice little bicuspids that you got right up there. Up to the big, the, <laughs> those two the big, big new your, fake veneers. Yeah, your two new fake, you know, six thousand dollar veneers. Bam! Eat veneer there, buddy. Advertise with or have their content or their advertisement next to. You know, Don Lemon, I think you're the only guy that really has a problem with Elon Musk owning X and opening up X wide open. He was he had disdain when he described it when the purchase was going on a year and a half ago too. For sure, Don Lemon was one of those people that thought it was just unconscionable that Elon Musk would rescue X. Something that is. Twitter. By the way, uh, Twitter was financially in ruins. Yes, that's they what I'm were, saying. They were financially in ruins. They were. That's why he swooped in and got it. Make sure you follow us. Or, <laughs> that is different. Question. Make sure you follow us on the Twitter. It's at the, the Bubba Army on the X. We put yesterday almost, I think, what Seth, well, I think you and Rhett said over 100,000 impressions yesterday. Yeah, yeah, it was a big day yesterday. And we're going to get very aggressive on X. If you can show me how to go live, I can't figure out how to go live, but I'll go live, like when I'm changing the oil on my truck and stuff. Okay. If you can show me how to do it on my phone. All right, yes, sir. Uh, you, you, we, there's, there's, you could- Let me, I took uh, Bella Goten last weekend. Oh, nice. And you know Is that that nice? really, I think it, I think it might be. It upsets be, him. I think it causes anxiety for the goats. Oh, of course it does. And we, Lummy. And yeah, black it out. When you talk to your therapist, you say, I, I know that Bubba's letting his dog, you know, because and what Bella does is she runs, she's faster than they are. Of course. And they go right to the top shanty. 
and then they stay there scared to death and then she tries to kind of nip at their heels and then about after you know four or five eight seconds of that Hootie gives her a big good news concussion protocol and she kind of goes down and then she's stupid enough to come back up but baby's shaking like baby's so scared yeah I know. he's the biggest scared Do you feel bad bubs no i think it's fun it's 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 wildlife stuff <laughs> yeah. he's got a little ecosystem back there i mean it's, yeah, it's, it's wildlife it's, it's, stuff yeah, with your domesticated terrenium. dog and it's, goats it's, 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 she's she's going reverting back to the wild she's chasing the goats. The goats are fending her <laughs> off. That dog ain't wild. No, hey, listen. Lummy, you will attest that she has not hurt the goats in any way, shape, or form. No, she has not. They just are scared of her. So maybe if I cause it a little goat anxiety, would you cancel me for goat anxiety? Yeah. Please. Absolutely choose well, thing. Where, next to which content. So, Lummy, what I'm saying is I could go live on, on our X platform. Yes. Say, hey, listen, I'm taking Bella out here goat, and this is going to make Lummy, uh, and Lummy, you'll probably get like an update that we're going live. Of course. And then you could, would you cry? I yes. Mean, would you- I'd probably have to block the updates for that time. <laughs> Little Walker asked, Mom, why is Daddy crying? Well, because his, his fat, fat ass boss is letting his pit bull bite the goats. Bite the goat goat's hoofs. She likes to nip at their hooves yeah. for some reason. I don't know why she likes to do that. And do you want your advertising to appear? Absolutely, of course. Mm-hmm. And we do. We have, I think, very good ad placement controls in this regard. Yeah. So you said if they kill the company, it's them. But doesn't the buck stop with you? I mean, you're on. Here it is. Here it is. He's, <laughs> oh, he, here man. It is. Had Elon, enough. Elon He's had had enough. has sat there now for one hour and one, almost almost two minutes. He's been there for an hour, over an hour, and it's been constant being on the deep. Nothing, nothing, uh, fun. nothing offensively fun. Meaning mm-hmm. like, hey, Elon, tell me about, you know, at, and how cool is it? Chips to give, and brains. Yeah, and boo boo. And how far and, away are we from living on Mars? Yeah. Right. Yeah, and, cool and, stuff. And, and, you know, like, you know, the electric, the electric phenomenon and, you you know, like just the electric phenomenon. Yeah, I mean, the electric car phenomenon. Oh, oh, and, and, he just tried to catch him as a hypocrite. Right. Or, you right. know, right. all that. Right. That's the whole thing. So it. Elon has sat there for the entire hour, and it's exhausting when you're being interviewed. When you're being interviewed in a fun, kind of jovial kind of way, you can kind of put your guard down a little bit. But when you have to lawyer up, that's why he's every, pausing so much. Every, he's every like, answer oh, you have to almost pre-lawyer up or have. Uh, kind of think about what this person who's asking me this trip up moment, what their alternative motive is, and try to flank that. Mm-hmm. It's mentally exhausting. Oh, yeah. It mentally is exhausting. And and Don Lemon has, I mean, you know, y- you see when I do interviews, like when I had Mark Cuban on. For, I didn't get Mark Cuban on because I told him, you know, that he's, you know, what said bad things about him. No. You 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 say, you know, you interview them and, and, and try to accentuate good things about him. And if you got a couple little gotchas, you maybe worm him in there a little bit, see how it goes. Yeah, but, rock but, stuff. But the, but the whole damn thing is an a gotcha moment. Even when Barbara Walters would have like a sit down with somebody and she'd try to get them, you know, she would really, you know, it, it, she'd rub their belly for 10 or 15 minutes and then she'd get, she'd get one in on you. Or sleep with them like Paul Mooney. Yeah. yeah. Fidel yeah. Castro. Fidel exactly. Castro, Bill Cosby, yeah. allegedly. Oh. I have to say, I, I, choose your question carefully. There's five minutes left. Mm. Okay, but so is this the same question you want to ask? The same question is you said, you said <laughs> that they are killing the company, but you're the head of the company. The buck doesn't stop with you? I acquired X in order to preserve freedom of speech in America, the First Amendment. Perf- great answer. He's got his stagmas now. He's so mad. His eyes are shifting back and forth rapidly. Do you see that? Look at his left eye. It's doing a little left, left, right twitch. He is about to explode. He oh, did his sh- head shrug, his shoulder shrug, the head shake. He's doing everything he can not to dive on Dom and start hitting him. Here we go. He's angry. I acquired X in order to preserve freedom of speech in America, the First Amendment. And I'm going to stick to that. And if that means making less money, so be it. So I have to be, listen, I, I'm just being honest, right? I'm not trying to, like, get you or anything. You're, After an hour and six minutes of trying to get yeah. him, that's all. That's not trying to get you anymore. I, 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 I realize <laughs> I, 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 I would have been. It would have been more intellectual honesty if I said, "You know what? I've been trying for an hour to get you, and I can't." Yeah, so, exactly. So let me just say, man, you know, Elon, you are you are one hell of an interview, and, and I gotta tell you, you got you really got your stuff buttoned up nice here, and I'm glad to be an addition on your platform because I I, I gotta tell you, you got way more swag and way more great answers than I ever anticipated, and I I'm glad to know you buddy.
Boom! Right? Done. You just yeah. spent an hour. If you told on, if he, if Don Lemon had told on himself and said, Elon, I'm going to be honest with you. I came in here with the mentality of trying to get you, and you completely knocked it out of the park. And you know what? It it accentuates exactly what you're trying to represent in X, and that is adverse opinions. People that don't necessarily agree with what you're saying or somebody is saying or an advertiser is saying or a content com- a content creator is saying is allowed to thrive and be part of your platform. Thank you so much. I was trying to get you, buddy, but I, I you, you complete. You know what? I got to take an L on this one, Elon. What? See, now you're now you're pandering to his ego. If Don said, you know what? I got to take an L, kid, because all I was trying to do is trip you up the entire time, Elon. Appreciate you welcoming me, you to your platform. What, was what right? Was what Elon said not a good enough answer? Because now Don's like he's afraid, and they really I don't know what I, he I, asked I, him, I but perfect answer. I, I mean, if 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 Don Lemon would have be- he healed the entire hour and two minutes if. If he just now, for this last two minutes, baby-faced, shakespeare off on the deal mm-hmm. and said, whoa, whoa, listen, I tried like hell to get you, and I couldn't. So you are ex- – your for- Twitter X is exactly as advertised. It's for free thinkers. It's for adverse opinions. And I'm, I'm glad to be part of your platform. Thank you for allowing me that privilege. Yeah, right. Boom! All, it, You'd have a job today. Elon would say, you know what? Yeah, hell yeah. I tried to get you, but I couldn't. I was just surprised that you would blame other people for killing the company. I mean, you're the, I mean, when you say the buck stops with the president of the United States, regardless of what happens, right? This is Don Lemon <laughs> being just stupid and not knowing how to work. Because he didn't yeah. get the answer that he liked, Bubba. Right. Like that's, he didn't exactly. get the answer he wanted or he liked, and now he's just going to keep going until he gets just something that right. pacifies him. Right. So, But if in an hour and two you've not got what you wanted, you might want to retreat. You might want to retreat. Give when the man a softball when, at when, that point. When the CEO two minutes ago told you that you have five minutes left, <laughs> choose your questions wisely. Exactly. You're, you don't get them for an hour and three. You got two minutes. You got 120 seconds left to ride out to the high side. You say, listen, you baby face so that guess what? There's a Don Lemon show Tomorrow. On Tuesday. That's so true. <laughs> You're right. And it's Don Lemon pontificating about this interview and how he didn't agree with it and this and this and this. And But you don't have to, you know, you don't, uh, he, he only has himself to blame. He didn't accept Elon's dry, drop the mic moment, which was, I bought Twitter he does, because I he, didn't care about profit. I cared about the First Amendment, and so I don't care about profit. He didn't accept any That was the of answer, Elon's and it was answers. a perfect answer for, doesn't right. the buck stop he here? Didn't, he didn't accept any of Elon's. He right, actually Bubba. adversarially right. argued every mm-hmm. one of those timestamps was an argument. Yep. None of them was, you know what, Elon, that's, you're, good point. that's a good point, bud. And you're, and, and you're right on that one. I, why, would this, why would that question upset you? You seem upset by it, are you? I think you're. And I'm not trying to upset you. The way, well, you are upsetting me because the way you're phrasing the questions, I think, is is not cogent. Um, <laughs> it's not the, what? Not cogent. cogent. You don't know what yeah. that you means. Know. Oh you my god! Dumbass. He didn't hear. He didn't know what it meant. He said it clearly. What does it mean? Cogent. I, I think cogent. Intellectually honest. Intellectually. Conceivable, uh, you know, intellectually, uh, intellectually solid. fair and honest. Okay, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. something like that. Well, All right, just surprised that you would intellectually blame sound. Clear, I, hey, logical, I lo- convincing. I love the fact that Elon is able to, in his Elon type way, just do a complete shove it right up Don's ass for not knowing a word. He tries to come across as this all-knowing, you know, journalist that's super smart and what have you. And in the eleventh hour, Elon brings up a term that he's not familiar with, only showing Don Lemon was just is, is one, not as smart as people think he is. Two, not as smart as he thinks he is. And three, talk about uh, Elon oh, just owns you. He just owns you. You tried to own him for the last hour and three minutes, and he brings up a term that only, I guess, smart people know. Not most of us didn't know. No. Dan and, and Jay knew. Anna may have known. I don't know about Mach uh, and Rhett. I think they're as dumb as we are, <coughs> me and Lummy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, um, and you know, I didn't know what that term was. Did you, Seth? No, I sir. I didn't. Uh-uh. And certainly Don Lemon didn't know because he made him repeat it. Okay. And I'm going to stick to that. And if that means making less money, so be it. Okay. I, so I have to be, listen, I, I'm just being honest, right? I'm not trying to, like, get you or anything. I, 
I was just surprised that you would blame other people for killing the company. I mean, you're the, I mean, when you say the buck stops with the president of the United States, regardless of what happens, right? So I, why would the, why would that question upset you? You seem upset by it, are you? I think you're- And I'm not trying to upset you. The, well, you Somebody are, said he has, he looks like Metal Ark Lemon's brother. <laughs> Don Lemon, you know Metal Arc Lemon, yes. remember? So the Globetrotters. The Globetrotters. Are your phrase of questions? I think. Remember when the Globetrotters used to come in town? It was a big deal, and your dad would take you. Yeah, I remember when we went as kids. So uh, did we. It yeah. was a big Seth, deal. did you ever get to go as a kid? Oh yeah, yeah. Curly Neal. And For then they sure. have that. They'd have the one bucket full of water, and then one bucket full of confetti, and they had all the high spots pre-planned. You know, it was great. That was awesome. Is is not cogent. Meaning um, it doesn't make sense. It's not not cogent. 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 Yes. Go ahead. Uh, so. Uh, Elon should have said, "Don, do you know what that means? Explain to me what you're, how you do, how you perceive that word. What do you think it means? Because I don't think Don knows, mm -mm. right? In context, he's just saying your questions don't make sense. They're not cogent. They don't make sense. I think Elon's accent is just thick, and he you, when you talk about you said you were born that way, is that? Um, oh, no, I think I got a little ahead of myself here. Our advertising revenue is rising rapidly." Uh, and our subscription revenue is rising rapidly, and I feel very optimistic. Hey, we got ours back, bitch. Yep. Whoop, whoop. Courtesy of Alex Stein. About the future of the Xbox Bowl. Okay. By the way, Anna, I think I got a... What? I think I got an in, a real in, with Alex Jones. Oh. A re no, like a real uh, in. <laughs> okay. Why, have you been working on it? No, no, no. I thought you were saying... N. Uh, never mind. I didn't hear you say in. N. I got an N. Got it. I got a connection. Inroads. A connect. It's not his female gr girl, is it? No, I'm no, it's not. Yeah. It's not. It's not his female girl. It's him. Like oh, the no. person that I'm speaking with texts him. Hell nice. yeah, that's awesome. And the person that I'm speaking with is texting him to the point where, hey, Bubba is a good dude. I've done his show a lot. Mm. Um, can I give Bubba your number? That's. That's the connect I'm getting. And so I think in the next two or three weeks, I'll have Alex Jones on, which I think would be huge. That's huge. Sounds. Listen, I'm not, I'm, honestly, I'm not meaning to offend you. You're an intense person. Where does that intensity come from? Oh, my God. Oh, that's, that's a question you should have opened up with, right? Yes. I don't know. I mean, that's, that's that's a, well, I mean, but it's a softball. That's what you open up with. If someone called you intense, would that, that be a compliment? Because I feel like yeah. it's not. Intense can be a compliment. It's a dumb question also. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. It, it's also uh, a dumb question when you just told him that you're upset. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Hold on. You're an intense person. Where does that intensity come from? Dumb He's question. autistic. Let's go that way. <laughs> and I had a tough childhood. You did? So, yeah. How so? Uh, <laughs> Walter Isaacson goes into it in the book. And, and we only have a couple minutes left, so... All right. Too long to, to describe. Um, so the one or two questions I can do, and then we'll have to call it. I, okay. Again, I don't mean to upset you. Why are you? I, I got. I got. I mean, we got. <gasps> we got. We got to wrap this up. We got two minutes. Because you suck, Don. You're an irritant. <laughs> You're a horrible interview. And if you didn't have someone blowing st stuff to what? say into your ear every day, oh. you'd have nothing interesting to say at all. And I'm glad you got canceled. Good for you. It happens to you. You throw stones. You get hit by stones. Glass houses, bitch. <laughs> That was a Diaco plastic surgery of, 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 of official of, statement. Of, official <laughs> statement that was not one of Diaco law. You just. He's partner. See, Jay, we know. He's partner, but Jay can override at all times. Did Don think that sure he was going to look good that. in this? I don't know. Hold on. Let's, let's, let's wrap this up. A whole room full of people waiting to meet with me. Okay. So we're just going over time. Okay. All right. I understand that. Um, so he's given you an How about hour. A thank you for he's your time. He's given you an hour. I mean, an hour, hour. in argue in the rich in one. And is he the richest man in the world? No, Bezos was as of yesterday. Okay, but okay, so but but yes. you know, it, so it's, it changes almost one daily. Of the, one of the most richest, most powerful men in the world has given you an hour of his time, and you have just absolutely blown it all by trying to get him in these, you know, gotcha, catcha. You know, and he's your boss. And, 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 <laughs> And he's allowed you back on his platform because you've been deplatformed for the most part. And you're completely just trying to irritate him the entire time. That would have been like the first time I met Howard. I met Howard in 2005, the Monday before Thanksgiving. And I met him at Don, Buck Don Buckwald's office. And I had to go into Don Buckwald's office first and talk to him. And then he said, after kind of like pre-interviewing me, you know that I wasn't some serial killer or crazy you know, guy, that I was wow. just Bubba Clem. 
He said, Howard's in the, go down my hallway, the second door on the right, there's a conference room, and that's where Howard is. He's waiting to speak with you. I walked in there. I was just like totally in awe. It's like, first of all, he stood up. I'm like, my God, he's tall. He's 6'7". You're know, like Big Bird. <clears throat> and then we sat, we, we sat down and talked. Talked about radio. Talked about the markets I've been in. Talked about the markets he's been in. Talked about some of the breaks that he heard when I was in Connecticut. And after about 35 or 40 minutes, and, and during that entire time, I wasn't insulting him, saying, hey, Howard, man, you suck. I mean, like, you know. Yeah, what was up with that fart man costume? <laughs> yeah, what was up with that fart man costume? And <laughs> Which would have been the dumb question. What, 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 what that would have, Don Lemon would have asked that well, question. About that time you did blackface with Ted Danson. I mean, like, you know, I mean, come on. What's going on? No, I was like, hey, man, I, I'm super, super stoked to be even considered here. I have so much respect for what you've done. And anybody that says that you're not the, you know, the king of all media is just jealous. And I look forward to, to working with you. And, and he, one of the questions he asked me was, who do you, who would be on your Mount Rushmore of radio? And I said, Phil Hendry, Neil Rogers, you, and Jim Rome. And he goes, I, 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 I like that. I like that. I, I like how you have the sports in there. And, and, and that's one of the questions he asked me. He goes, I'm not as familiar with Neil Rogers' work as the people that live, you know, live in Florida that were exposed to him and had the availability to listen to Neil Rogers out of Miami. But Neil Rogers regionally was this god of a talk show host. He was this gay Jewish man that was the number one talk guy in all of Miami for two or three decades. And he was just so good on the air. He just he just had the it factor. He was much like, you know, uh, Seth, kind of like what, what the WLS guys or like Kevin Matthews or Jonathan Brandmeier or Steve Dahl of Chicago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, so he was kind of like the Miami version of Steve Dahl. And, uh, but I didn't sit there and insult him the entire time. No. Because I wanted a job. I was appreciative of him giving me an opportunity. And at that point, he said, he said I only have one rule. I'm going to I'm going to tell Sirius XM to hire you. I want you to be the afternoon drive guy, but don't ever involve me with the negotiation of your contract or money. I do, I do not do that. I don't do well with it. Employees will come to me and ask me to I I do not. So I just going in that's on you. Everybody cuts their own deal. And it's, and I never involved him even when they were trying to screw me over. I never So finally on New on on New Year's Eve of 2011 going into 12 when we couldn't come to contract to a contract deal and I wasn't going to be on anymore because they'd offer me this horrible deal. Howard called me on December 31st. I was at the Clem gym working out and he goes, Bubba Howard. And I go, Hey Howard. And he goes, you're not coming back. And I go, no, they uh, offered me a 80% reduction in pay. And he goes, what? And I go, they wanted me, they were paying me a million. You know, he knew what I was making. Mm -hmm. They were paying me a million, and they gave me a $200,000 take it or leave it. And I, and I think that I could, you know, do something a little bit bigger on my, on my own via the Internet. And it's just pure principle. I mean, like, I'm, I've been a workhorse for you guys. I've filled in on Fridays. When you, when you took off on Fridays, I was the fill-in guy. Um, you know, I go out and touch the fans and go out and greet the fans. My call volume numbers are as high as yours. But they tried to, and he's like, that, he goes, I wish, and he told me, that. he goes, I wish I would have known about this. And I said, Howard, do you not remember what the, one of our first conversations were at Don Buckwald's office? And he said, yeah, I do. I said, I only honored that. And he was upset that I didn't get him involved earlier because he didn't know I was getting screwed that bad. He was pissed about it. Very pissed. But anyway, I, I was a man of my word. I wasn't going to get him involved. I didn't email him. I didn't text him. I didn't call him and say, hey, Howard, do you know they're trying to screw me? <laughs> Take an 80% haircut? When, you know, like, you know, would anybody have taken that deal? I don't think so. I would have. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> 200 sounds good to me. Would you, would you yeah. Divide that amongst 15 employees and see what you got. Talk about, you said you were born that way. Is that, um, did you, you think He's that the rattled. way that you see the world? has to do with your relationship with anyone, perhaps your, your father or someone in, in your family? <sighs> hey, dear, he has Don, a horrible relationship dear with his father. Don Lemon, <laughs> you are one of the most tone-deaf, just tone-deaf, race-baiting journalists. I've, I'm embarrassed for you, quite frankly. Yeah. 
now you're bringing up his relationship with his father. With like 30 seconds left in the got, interview. You got 30, Stare at his face, man. Yeah, like, like, I mean, this is just. You know, you should have shook, put your hand out and said, Elon, although some tough questions, you nailed it. I appreciate you. Thank you for the hour and five minutes and, and, the, opportunity. Me, and, the, op- and the potential opportunity you're giving me, sir. Appreciate you. Boom. Don Lemon would be on the air today. He, the Don Lemon show would be on X today. Because Elon would appreciate that. He's like, you know what? The guy tried to trip me up, asked me some tough questions on the guise of First Amendment. I'm going to sit here and pound my chest and say that, you know, that's what X is all about. I answered him, and he manned up at the end and thanked me. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you for the intellectual debate. You know, we don't agree on everything, but at least we got to talk about these issues. And thank you so much for your time. And I more look importantly, forward to the next one. And more importantly, thank you for this forum. Yes. Thank you for this forum. Because guess what? You don't have that forum today there, buddy. Which gives a guy like me who got fired from the mainstream media an opportunity to do a hit piece on you. Yeah. The people we grew grew up with. Um, My aspiration is to... uh, I think I'm I'm on the spectrum. I'm going to at least start telling people that. Dan, can you give me a doctor's note to say that I'm on the spectrum? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Do whatever it takes to extend extend consciousness into the future. That's my goal. Um, To make life multiplanetary. As part of extending consciousness. Life multiplanetary. Yes. I can't even wrap my head around that. And extending consciousness. I'm just, trying, hey, I'm just trying to pay my water bill. I can't even think about living on another planet right now. And consciousness <laughs> into the future means like living longer. Yeah. In some, in some even you. if it's virtual. I got you for that. Consciousness is the future. Has this, has, have the past. Tell me right now, man, Dan, not in a gotcha moment, but more in a, like almost a fanboy type moment. I wouldn't love to have lunch with Elon Musk. Oh, I would love to. I, I mean, think it was so interesting. Like, Absolutely. And, and, not, and not as like, not trying to be Don Lemon, but more like Mark out. Be like, man, yeah. tell me tell me more of your, like, you are I deep, would, brother. I would love to have lunch with him, yes. I I'd think have to it would be, be high as a billy really goat to be on his level. A few years, and considering everything that's gone on, has it been difficult for you and your family life? Now he's talking about <laughs> his family, like Elon Musk's direct family. That's a great way to wrap it's up. It's been okay. <laughs> so <laughs> then how do you see your legacy, Elon Hutton? How do you see? Well, I see it as being the first guy to fire your ass. <laughs> yeah. Second. Second. Second guy. I see it as this, uh, you know, as the opportunity that I tried to give you. I'm now taking away there, yeah. buddy. Maybe you should worry about your legacy, Don. Yeah, that's the, that's that's the end around. You know what? Don't worry about my legacy, Don. Worry about yours when you no longer have. Because you need have. a job. Because you need a job, bitch. <laughs> How people see it. I, I, first of all, I say that the. Um. By the way, it's like there's a less than a minute left. So, if I died knowing that I that I did what was right, or or did my best to do what was right, and even if in the history books they said I did, did wrong, I would still feel okay about that. I care about the reality of goodness, not the perception of it. Um, I think we should view civilization uh, as tenuous, as fragile. Um, if you if you do study history broadly, you'll see that there's a rise and fall to civilizations. Dan, do you think that he would score higher on IQ tests than you? Oh, absolutely. All right. Not that level, though. If you want 24-7 on-demand Bubba and the crew, go to BubbaArmyHQ.com. The Bubba the Love Sponge Show will be back after this. The victim, the victim, like, what did he like about the, the uh, this freedom speech platform? platform that he didn't take accountability. Anna, uh, do you got video on Trump saying about the Jewish thingy? Yeah, it's in there. It's, hey it's an audio only. If you, if you right, scroll see you, down, Danny. Yeah. Yeah. Scroll down, Willie. Really? Yeah, it's just, a, it's just audio only. So just letting you know. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Jewish person. Be honest with you, I don't. Okay, perfect. Well, no, it's, it's not about disagreeing or agreeing. Let's just go like, with whatever, you, however you feel. If, if you agree with them, double it down, bitch. I've heard, I've heard a lot of people drinking for that. Do I agree with that? You just said it. No, I know. I'm, you I'm just making, said it. I know, it out know, loud. I know, I know, you know but I heard I'm, that. I'm allowed to change my mind. That's true. Yeah. Well, I'm allowed to change my mind. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's true. For sure. I, I actually want to recant what I said. Did you? Yeah. Because I think that we should make a distinction between, like, how you feel about your religion People literally how you want feel us about to fucking Israel as a country of making actions. And you can agree or disagree. What's up, Alan? Hating I don't like over-sweeping statements about anyone. 
Yeah. Like that is. You, you should be able to criticize like, Israel and be like, yeah, oh, you're like, done. Yeah. That's like saying, you know. I'm going to feel like Chris Bear right quick. So, yeah, 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 yeah
You're listening to the man that is best friends with Deion Sanders, Tony Stewart, and not Hulk Hogan anymore. Now, back to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Some of that's good stuff. That, that new was stuff re- recycling through. Thank you, Macho Man. I know that you're the one. You and Brad James putting that all together. So thank you very much for that. Uh, this show, the Bubba the Love Sponge Show, is sponsored by BetterHelp. Again, this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com. A lot of us spend a lot of a lot of portion of our life trying to th- wish that we had more time to do the things that we want. The best way to squeeze that special thing into your schedule is to know how important it is to you and to make it a priority. Therapy can help you find what matters to you so that you can do more of it. If you're thinking about starting on online therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited for your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time. It's no big deal. There's no additional charge. Learn uh, to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com. Forward slash BTLS. That'll get you 10% off your first month. You got to use the BTLS kicker. That's B-E-T-T-E-R, BetterHelp, H-E-L-P.com. Forward slash BTLS. Um, this next story is um, an excerpt of of Donald Trump, uh, I think, at a rally. And um, he makes this... Uh, Who's messing around? I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I, Jesus. I, I apologize. You even had the endorsement to get ready. Then you're. I, I know. I. Jesus, you're dumb. Okay. Sorry. No problem. I do need the two Jewish people in the room <laughs> to be or to be intellectually honest. Put political affiliations aside or, as to what you may. To, you know what you may identify as or not, and and analyze this statement, not for what you politically align yourself with, for but as a Jewish person. That's it. Any Jewish person that votes for Democrats uh, hates their religion. They hate everything about Israel. And they should be ashamed of themselves because Israel <laughs> would be destroyed. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Just, he hold flamed on. out at the end. Uh, he had on. two good ones. Hold on now. Just hold on. They hate everything about Israel, and they should be ashamed of themselves because Israel would be destroyed. You have Iran now making a nuclear weapon. None of that would have happened with me. That's a big thing. With me, Iran was broke. They were absolutely stone-cold broke. There was no terrorism because they didn't have money to fund Hamas and Hezbollah and Correct. the other 28 groups. They had no money. They were stone cold broke. So we have two. I don't smoke in front of the family. We we Me have we, we have two two Jewish individuals uh, in the studio, and your I like both of your opinions. I I can't. I don't have a dog in this fight. Sure, you can. <clears throat> no, have I mean an I think about I, think, what I, he said. I actually think he's right. Mm-hmm. I think that he did have. I mean, I, again, this isn't my endorsement for him, but just you know, intellectually being honest. I think the words that he spoke are true. I think that he had a better a better grip on that on that region and had ter- terrorism down <clears throat> not as f- well funded and the, and there and there's there's evidence and there's I mean it, it's 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 truthful and factually truthful that Joe Biden our current president released 6 was it 6 billion Six million or six well, billion? Was, I think it was billion. billion with a B. Six billion dollars to Iraq. Uh, you know, day but Iran. I, I mean, Iran, Iran, Iran. Um, I think day before, day of their attack of the of of of. Yeah, it was a couple. It was a couple of days before. Just enough time to fund it. So that's what we know. Anna, first you, then Seth. G- give me your opinion of of Donald. Trump's statement. It's funny. I was actually talking to Jay about this during the hot mic, and I initially agreed with Donald Trump, but I decided to walk it back. And this is why. 
I think that you should be able to be critical of anything and anyone without being called, you know, a racist, a misogynist, an anti-Semite. There's plenty of people in Israel who are very critical of the Israeli government. And I, I don't know any Israeli people that are against going in and finishing the job in Gaza. But prior to October 7th, there were millions of people that were taken to the street. Maybe not millions, thousands of people taken to the streets because they were not very happy with uh, Benjamin Netanyahu and his, and his administration. So I think you should be able to criticize the government without being called, you know, an anti-Semite or a self-hating Jew or something like that. But I kind of agree with them because it's like, what is Israel supposed to do? Just sit back and let it happen? That's like if 9-11 happened and we gave Al-Qaeda Florida. It's like, well, uh, that wouldn't happen. Why would we do that? Seth, you may not comment, but your mom did. <laughs> Where? She texted me. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say? get Elisa's take first. Oh, man, it's stiff. It is stiff as hell. She put, he is a foppy double cop face. Hmm. If you know what foppy double really? cop is. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what Elise thinks Donald Trump is, a foppy double cop face. She doesn't agree with what he just said. No, she said he's a f- face. That's what hmm. that, that's Can her I see, uh, just because I don't know, I don't, I'm learning still how to speak that. Oh my God! So <laughs> you know, I think yeah, what Anna is saying is said. that's what your mom says. You can agree with his policies, but his rhetoric may not be the best rhetoric. Because I made the analogy: this is like when Biden said, "If you don't vote for me, you ain't black." He's essentially saying the same type of thing. And you know, I I like Which Trump's policies. Cool. I like you know America first. There are the, the next seven to eight months is going to be sound bites from Trump because that's the way they're going to attack him. And this one, for me, if I'm intellectually honest, I don't like the words. I love the policies. What he's saying is absolutely true. But to say that to Jewish people, I think is, as a non-Jewish person, a bit offensive. It's not going to make me not like his support or his policies, but I just think it's like this binary decision. If if you do this, not then you this ain't a Jew. Us, yeah. I mean, really? What? I mean, that's kind of I think you could have handled it far. I, I think you could have handled it. I think you could have said virtually the same thing, but handled it way more classily. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, I think I think you can. I think, I, think said, you, I think you can question the current pres the current president's policy mm-hmm. and 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 what he has done in in this in this in this Israeli conflict that we have right now, and not have said it as brashly as what he did. And maybe get the same effect, potentially. Because I guess what it was, was uh, the question or statement that was said to him was, how do you feel about the Democrats in office that have criticized the way that Prime Minister Netanyahu? Netanyahu. Yeah, Bibi has handled the (laughs) Israeli-Hamas war. And obviously there's a lot of Democrats in office that are pro uh, here, here are the uh, here are the people that are uh, against my mom. Elise is a ridiculous retard. <gasps> no, and you can't say uh, that. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, you can. Uh, oh, you can uh, say it in the Rumble chat. No, no, oh. you, you can't. Oh, you can dear. say it in Rumble chat, I guess. <laughs> well. So that's so that's you know that's how people combat others' opinions right there. Well, I was gonna, I, I was just gonna say is that I agree with uh, Jay is that he probably didn't say it the right way, but the question, I think he was more saying that if Jewish people vote for the Democrats that are in office that are against Israel. Oh, he's more talking about like Rashid Tlaib, kind of like the blood, AOC you know, like the blood and, spread, you know, how yes. it was about something totally different. Yes, they don't the really they don't really explain what the uh, the question kind of. It's all going to be out of context, Bubba. You know, context is everything, and I so don't know. I don't know. I, I just. I, I did I tried to stay out of this one and and now I got now I got at least full hot <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I mean like I I mean I, I I don't think the current president necessarily has handled that particular situation very well um, I think it could be over by now could have been over by now I don't know why we financed terrorism the way he did in the releasing of the money I don't think that did any justice and any stability for the region. Uh, and you know the people that we've had, you know, on the air, uh, Anna, your 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 dad, Jack uh, and Yell, yeah, Jack and L, uh, they uh, they pretty much kind of d- kind of agree with us in the fact that we need to crap or get off the pot and come in there and do something or not. <clears throat> I think they'd prefer just America stay out of it than them give money. I th- yeah, to I Gaza. think that, I think they're, and it's really sad because it's it's a really unfortunate situation. But it's like who intercepts all that money? Who intercepts all the humanitarian aid that's been sent to Gaza since 2007? Hamas. 
So unfortunately, all that all that stuff just gets you're just feeding I, I, I just the people why. that are causing the problem. I don't know why the correct answer isn't, regardless of what you align yourself politically with, why the correct answer is, let us help you stomp out Hamas. Let's get rid of Hamas. Let's all full, you know, full, all resources, full steam ahead on ex- exterminating Hamas. Doesn't that fix everything for the most part? As long as it's done in a precise way that avoids civilian casualties, because that's the big international outcry is the number of civilian casualties that have suffered in the initial phase of this war where they just bombed for days and took out massive infrastructure and then took out power and water and all of those things. And so that's that's the fine line that Biden has to ride or Trump has to ride is how do you support Israel in a way that the world perceives as humane? You know, what's so interesting is that everyone is screaming. The world is screaming at Israel for, you know, how they're conducting business. Right. No, I've heard zero people call for Hamas to surrender. Mm. Come forward. I am. Surrender. Right. Let the let the hostages go. Come forward. Mayor Hamas, can you please surrender so we can get this thing over, please? No, not no. a single soul on any platform has called for any for all of Hamas to surrender. No one. Well, Hamas could end the entire thing. Absolutely. Cease Pfizer Hamas by giving up all the hostages, and it's and over. Surrender yourself. Give up your hostages, and then, then which would also save the lives of your own people, by the way. Anyway, I'm running late. I gotta go. If you want a deep dive into the Bubba the Love Sponge show from the past, go to BubbaArmyHQ.com. The Bubba the Love Sponge show. We'll be back after these words. Leave AOC and the squad. They're all pro-Palestine, anti-Israel legislation. Like, very... um, but they, Over, uh, yeah, so you know, how is that relating to this? Well, that was that, the question. Because, I got. yeah, the Democratic leaders are in charge. And plus, when uh, Biden got rid of the Iran sanctions that gave 90 billion to Iran in 2021. Oh, and then he was saying, and by the way, any Jews that are Democrats are against, like, it was a, is that, that was the question he was no, he just said, he just said, you know, what, what, do, you, what do you think of how the, the, the Democrats have handled the uh, uh, Iranian or the uh, Israel Hamas conflict? Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. Like, well, Democrats are, in 2021, when they got rid of the Iran sanctions, that they say funded most of all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then also the uh, Democratic uh, the, the squad, the squad, the squad that absolutely hates Israel. Yeah. It's like if you vote for those people, then you want the death of Israel. Yeah, but he also made a comment like any Jews who are voting, voting, Democrat, voting right? for Democrats. Yeah. Are, Which yeah. is why, I mean, I don't... They're going to take those sound bites from now sure. until the end of it. Well, saying is like like Dave Jay said, he didn't word it right. Well, as well, eloquently, but that's no, what we yeah, love about the him. Words more than the word thing is. Well, like, did you see the all the clips of the the mainstream media saying the word bloodbath and what yeah. it means in Webster's dictionary? Number three means an economic downfall. That's what the definition of bloodbath. <laughs> did you see Biden's tweet from? The <sighs> oh, it's so funny. Fuck. We got a podcast to, in here? Uh, I'm talking yeah, about I got Charles, you, Clem Charles, 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 yeah, t- uh, after the show, Tommy and I was going to run and get a smoothie and then come back for the pod. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just two minutes away. Let me. Yes, Bubba. After the show, will you bring me the vacuum? Yep. I got a vacuum here. The Dyson? Yeah, the Dyson. Did you see Anna gave me a 15 pound dumbbell, the one that you stole from me? Yeah, at the, uh, at the roast, right? I got it down here. In case I need to hit you in the head with it. Why don't you use it? Get some striations. Shut up, Sam. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> what 
Thank you, dog. So let me, we're, um, hmm, I'm kind of, I got like. Yeah, we're. we're gonna see we have to do take two more breaks? Yeah. Oh, fuck. We got human and better help out of the way. What, let me? We got human and better help out of the way, that's good. What'd you say? Uh, we got human and better help out oh, of the way. Sometimes your tongue is really thick, you know? Oh, damn. I was talking to myself, I then, I'm sorry. I think when you talk to yourself, you enunciate even worse. Yes, I do. <laughs> I, I, I mumble even worse. Yeah. Camper Scott, shut the fuck up, dude. Stop reading chat. Yeah, stop reading chat. Stuff. I don't know, why don't you read stuff? Why don't you know what's going on? Why don't you know what people are saying? I do. And if it bothers me, I turn it off. Okay, well, if someone's calling me Jewish, calling me in a negative way, I can't tell them to shut the fuck up? Yeah, you can. You're obviously getting upset about it. Don't let them get, get to you, man. Why is just responding to somebody meaning you're upset with somebody? Well, you're clearly upset by the tone of your voice. I'm just trying to I think you can. Anna, I read two chats every single fucking day. Okay, so do I. And if it upsets me, I don't look at it anymore. Well, he handles it differently. <clears throat> right. He thrashes so it Someone goes, notice says Jewish ass is not off for Bubba smoothie. What's that? It goes, notice says the Jewish ass did not offer Bubba a smoothie. Uh, Dan's the one that bought the smoothies. Uh, no, but I just said that I was going to go get a smoothie. Oh. I'm Jewish and a tight one because I know that you don't like fucking smoothies, Bubba. Not your kind, I don't. Right, exactly. So, I can understand why you wouldn't ask me because I would say no. Right. But don't fuck them. Why is this what I said? I said yeah. fuck you! Yeah. I mean, like, what the hell? Eric Hill, 50 on the cash app. Fish on the J was my only PayPal today, Lam Lam. Oh, no. It's been a slow month. I know. March. Man. Hopefully we can pull the nose up with what Macho Man. Oh, yeah. Macho Man, we got a lot riding on them fucking one and twos. Uh-oh. He's fucking doing push-ups back there. He's gonna look good. Vegas Bubble Army, 25 on the cash app. Yeah. Speaking Mario, Pedro, I'll get you the we got our Venmo. Are we got our Venmo taken Still away. Checky. I'm gonna try to get back on Venmo today. Vegas Mario. Get a hold of a fucking intellectual bot. They bot you. Oops, and they say, oh, we're going to give you a real person, but the real <clears throat> person's a bottle of beer. Listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Were you sleeping in and missed the first hour of the show? Don't worry. It's all at BubbaArmyHQ.com. Now back to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. If, if you're not careful, and Seth, I'm not saying that you responded wrong, because you can respond however you like. I'm, that's the official statement for me. I don't care. I tend not to read these people because they tried to drive a wedge between us all. That's like they, a lot of people that consider themselves fans or not fans of the show love nothing more than to try to get us to infight. And it's just sometimes chat's quite ridiculous. It really is. That's why I know that I'm the most hated because I don't watch it very much. I can only imagine if I watched it a lot. I bet you they say horrible things about me. But uh, that being said, can everybody stop being a bunch of dicks uh, on not my group of people in the studio? I'm talking about the listeners. Can you? They're fine, Bubba. They're can, fine. Can, can they're you, fine. No, I, I, they, they just. I mean, like, the, I'm just at, not going to take a. I'm just not going to take a, a random Jew bash joke. Like, that's. I'm not up for that at all. But I mean, things are said every single day. Like, fat, you suck. Get them off the show. Not you, me. So, but I mean, just some things are. I'm just not going to no. just let go well, by. I think it's you, me. It's, it's me too. Well, this is very surprising. Mitch the Mark's dad, twenty five dollars on the Venmo. Yay. Why is that very surprising? Because Venmo. I just said Venmo. Oh, hold on. Are yeah. you sure about that? <laughs> I, well, Mitch said his dad did a Venmo. I checked Venmo, and it's $25 in our Venmo. Yay. Hold on here. 
March 19th, March 19th. Yeah. So look, does that mission now? Let me, <laughs> I hate to even try to like take the money out because that's when it tells you. That's that, when it shuts us down. That's when it shuts it down. And don't put any more money in. I well, mean, Venmo I, I don't is a put, big one for us on 199. Venmo, Venmo's huge on on 199. Uh, so, and I. Um, yeah, so I don't. I'm a, I'm afraid to to transfer it to try to try to transfer it Damn. because uh, because it could be like bam, and we get xed out again, Lummy. You know the weird thing is John yeah. Costica uh, and Mario both uh, on the PayPal. Thank you, PayPal. Uh, it's looking like Venmo and Cash App. What, Lummy? Well, so last time that we we got it unlocked was February 29th, and it was Mitch the Mark's dad. He's our uh, good luck charm, is that what you're saying? He's the key. Y- yeah, because... The, the Venmo access. The so Venmo it's like, omen. with Venmo, which is at the Bubba Army, that you might need to put, like, something in the memo, like, you know, like, love you, or... A he put great, he put great job. Oh, nice. Seth's cool. Uh, I hate Anna. You know, what? <laughs> just whatever. Standard. Whatever, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. And uh, I'll, maybe later today, let me try to hit the transfer button... You don't want to do it now? Well, okay, I was. Might I as guess. well. It's only twenty five bucks, right? Then what do you we'll mean it's only twenty five bucks? Okay. No, try. no, there's money in there. There's oh, a, oh, there's okay. A, yeah, there's, let me see. Transfer to bank. All right, let me. I'm going to try to transfer it all right one, now. One to Hold three on. days. Nope. Look at <clears throat> X. Oh, that's just. It says that didn't work. We're reviewing your business profile to make sure that we can support the type of business you're conducting. This quick review will help us confirm that we're providing the best payment experience possible. While we while we are conducting our review, you are able to receive payments. However, you won't be able to send, transfer, or withdraw any money. What? We'll either resolve our review or contact you within the next 24 hours. Thank you for your patience. That's been going on now, what, let me, three months? Yes. So then I got actually spoke with a bot or a chat support personnel on Venmo and went through the whole, I'm like, told him like, listen, we, we showed him that screenshot of the whole nine yards and, and the, and the response back from the, from the person that was supposed to be helping me was, Oh no. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> what, what do you, That's what, not a good indication. What, what do you mean? Yeah. Oh no. I mean like, you know, like I got caught, like I'm a child sex trafficker or something like that. Like, you know, like what we're doing here is just is illegal. Is, there's no nothing that we do that's illegal. We we put on a, a radio program. We put on a a, a, a a con. We put on a show. We put on some content. We we don't have Squirt Olympics or poop hits the fan or all the good stuff. We shock in the piz. We don't do any of that stuff anymore. Ned his herpes too. Twenty dollars super chat. Uh, so somebody, uh, again. somebody, somebody uh, <laughs> again. Before I leave, let me. I have to go into words. Uh, so I don't get so late, but somebody throw in a, another Venmo, if, even if it's a, <laughs> if it's if it's a dollar, to see if indeed if we're getting Venmo. Now put a, put a little something in the memo section. Yeah, you a can use it. an emoji or just a text. Yeah, Bubba Venmo at the Bubba Army. Let me see if it's working. When when they finally let us take it out, let me. Maybe this is our our our, our forced four hundred one k. There you go. And the fact that you know <laughs> they're not going to let us take it out for three years. So when we do, but when we finally do get taken out, it'll be a large amount of money. What if they just put "great show" in the memo? That's, that's, they it, did, that's fine. What, they could put Bubba. Did. They could put yeah. J. They could put an exclamation but point. Great show is exactly uh, what it's for. Till emoji, yeah. dagger emoji, bomb emoji. Okay, don't do bomb. No. Oh, sorry, don't, don't do that. Do any sorry, of those. Don't do. Don't Hold do on, I just got a dollar. Anna, why would you say that? I thought that you just needed a, no. a memo. Why no. would you, Anna, you put, like, That's you, how I send Venmo. You just Don Lemon yourself. Sorry. That's the you Mark's just, dad a dollar test on the Venmo. You just, you just <laughs> seem like a really intense person. Have you always been this way? <laughs> don't put a bomb I'm emoji. Sorry. In I'm the, sorry. They, they think we're bad people. <laughs> Anna was irresponsible and stupid. For asking you to put a bomb emoji or a kill emoji or a dagger, that was that's, that's only going to cause sorry. us more problems. Sorry about that. Oh, you think it's funny? No, I don't. Yeah, I think it's yeah. stupid. <laughs> it's the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Want to listen to the show on demand and on the go? Enlist today at bubbaarmyhq.com and sign up and start listening. The Bubba the Love Sponge Show will be back after this. Mark 
is a mark, super fat bubble light. You might have to type it in, group lips. I'm saying that, I don't know. This is Mark's dad figured it out. So, PMS. Something that's rusty to eat. But BJ Click, three days ago it was up, now it's down. He's cracking for Prius. <clears throat> you know, great, but if you're writing and all the stuff they're doing with social media is incredible. <clears throat> what a big long linger. <clears throat> Excuse me. He agrees. He says they're not letting them do that. Jason Hefner. Very good hummus flavor. Have you tried Learn garlic lemon? lemon. lemon boy. It's okay, you know, I've saying. discovered hot honey hummus and garlic lemon hummus. Uh, hummus. NC Surf, good morning. What's up, Bama boy? <laughs> what up, NC Surf? It was one okay. set. I bet Steve got more. What up, Nash? See you on Friday, buddy. What up, Lunger? Is it Lunger or Lunger? I've never I think no. it's Lunger. I don't know. He's never had an issue either way. <laughs> I like lunger. that. It's big Lunger. Big L. Huh? Lunge, you know. You're lunging. Like I'm doing a lunge? Like yeah. Okay. Big Lunger. Yeah, you gotta get the hot honey. Feel like hot hotness. <clears throat> What up, Travis? <laughs> I just got a smoothie cake. <laughs> Good morning, Lingar. <sighs> oh, man. I'll see you three. Good morning. Damn, <clears throat> Liz. Dude, I got new issues with haters. I'm just not taking any Jew shit. Dave the Slave, good morning. <clears throat> Don London looks like a tan can. <laughs> That's fucked up. Oh, God. That's fucked up. He's not here to hear agreed that. I know, I should have seen that. Oh, he left. You know what? Don Lemon. There you go, Berto. He doesn't, Dan no, looks much better than him. He does. Because you haven't seen him. Berto. He's already half. Like I will be Spencer. He has got too much makeup, you know what I mean? Like, he had that, that radio. He didn't have it's not because Bobby <laughs> promised he could be $25. He's, very, he's, he's a very handsome so man when he was younger. Do you know who Errol Barnett is? Oh, my God. Duck here, $5 on the gun bundle. <laughs> Hello, Brian, sir. Some people can't find it. Some can. Spencer Spencer. Biden for a HOA president. I saw that. <laughs> That's a good one, Alexander Morales. No, no, it's Rusty Taint. I'd vote for Biden for a fucking HOA president. Hmm. Okay. war president. I got the Hasidic president. No, Bubba didn't detail his bread conversation, but we're going to try to get Brent on the show. To talk about it. If you ran a business or you ran a McDonald's, did you hire Joe Biden when you're going to shoot? No, I wasn't hiring him to do it. Maybe he agree. can mop the floor. He could be a greeter at the front, like Best Buy. Or Walmart. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Walmart. 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 Yeah, Walm
My hair is super greasy and disgusting because I'm going to go hey, roll want, around you tonight. Want, I didn't want to wash it yesterday. Always, it's effort. Uh, <laughs> two seven would be great. That would be good. I've seen people like pause and cat calling. That's pretty funny. So my autographs, Travis, thirteen dollars ninety six cents for that. Thank you, so my autographs, Travis, my favorite buddy. KFC Chesamil. I had to repost that on um, Bubba Army Facebook. I'm, I'm because I, I guess I fucked up and. What? Yeah. He's <laughs> hilarious. Oh, here. Let me see if I've seen. Positive note. I think I have seen him. Creeds and Travis for the two yeah, months. Yeah, watch it after the show. <clears throat> Thank you, Creeds and Dr. Dan's Blue and Onion Maker. Good morning. Oh yes, Spencer. Spencer. <laughs> alpha man that wears women's deodorant you're listening to the bubba the love sponge show uh, that's right women's deodorant but let me coming soon bubba alpha alpha uh, as we say goodbye the clem kush podcast will be will, seth has to go and get himself a little smoothie action he didn't offer me a smoothie <laughs> because he knows because he knows I don't like the same kind of chai grass smoothies that he likes. He likes the real exotic what when what kind of smoothies do you I remember we went and got a smoothie one time. Yeah. And you substituted something that I like for something else and no, I, got they real, don't, I got real mad at they you. They don't put sugar in it, they put dates in it. Yeah, screw dates. Yeah, is it, so. is it green at all? No. Okay. It's horrible. I can't do green drinks. No, no, no. I can't do I can't do non sugar. I can't either, and I yeah. can't do green. Listen, bitch, put the sugar in there for me. I don't need any date substitute. If I want a date, has lots of sugar in it. Dates do. Yeah, you know what? Sugar has a lot of good sugar in it too. <laughs> Great that's what point. It's pre- what I prefer. Great he point. was literally spitting out like the date pieces on me, going, "This yes. is disgusting." And I was like, "Oh god, this is I'm definitely getting COVID." Then we had to get back on my mo- <laughs> we had, then we had to get back on my moped and drive the back streets through through South Tampa in order not to get killed. I thought I was going to die for sure. Man, back in the day, you were far more heroic than you are today. I don't think I think your anxiety would really take over if I said. Get on the back of my moped now. What do you mean? I'd get a, I'd get on the moped. You would? Yeah. Okay. I'm all about it. Whatever gets some views, man. All right. Moped it is. Okay. Um, Jay, how much of a wig? How, how much would you flip out if Trey or <laughs> is it what's your daughter's name? Sage. Sage came home and said, Mom, Dad, we got a fundraiser at school and it, I need you, Mom. Or dad to come uh, to the gymnasium uh, tomorrow, and I'm going to lick your feet. What? Yes, I- I'm going butter. to lick your feet. Watch. Hold on. It's uh, repulsive. Uh, and in front of an auditorium of people. <gasps> oh, and armpits. Under- armpits. Armpits. It's mean, arguably worse. And <laughs> armpits and feet. In front of what looks like to be like maybe the size like of like maybe rally. maybe Yingling Center, so yeah, maybe no like kidding. you know like That's five five six thousand. That means all those parents knew, yeah, and well, they were uh, all cool with it. Yeah, like ew. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Travis, twenty five o- on the cash o- app. Oklahoma high school fundraiser students licking toes uh, happened at another school before. Uh, here's more footage of, of it happening. I think Dude, if we saw this at a prison. If we saw prison we wouldn't allow it a lot of people are like well it's the kids and it's their parents doesn't matter man it's gross could you imagine we're going to do a prison charitable fundraiser and all we're going to have to do is have the prisoners lick each other's toes how much, what? Do, they, how much do they make i don't care how much they made it's wrong it's, it's absolutely disgusting. wrong. I think that matters. That's it's a fair question, Mummy. <laughs> That's a fair question. Can, you, can we do? Can we do like maybe a, a chocolate bar sale or? <laughs> I know, it's a little more traditional. Yeah, or can we just maybe go to some large corporations Come on. like Diaco Law and say, "Hey, can we get can we get fifteen hundred for a billboard at the football field? Whoa, Something you know, like that." They uh, so they raised one hundred fifty thousand dollars. 
Oh. All right. Well, do we want to do this for, do we want for what cause? Maybe we're looking toes. Does it matter? Like, yeah, uh, was <laughs> maybe, Trey, does. maybe Trey's looking Pop's toes if we're bringing in a buck fifty. I'm just telling you. You can't get a buck fifty selling chocolate bars. <laughs> 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 You can't. Maybe you can America's finest chocolate. <laughs> maybe maybe you got to really you know raise the stakes of of of. A it's a page out of OnlyFans, yeah. man. I got to respect the hustle. It was yeah. for a local nonprofit <laughs> that hires workers with disabilities at a metro coffee shop. That's beautiful. Thing. Hold on now. So That's the, for a the, coffee shop. The workers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. that they were raising money for a metro cafe that employs people on the spectrum. Correct. All right. Why don't you just go to affluent businesses and, and ask them for a donation then have all this licking of feet and armpits, right? Yeah. Please. Uh, Clem Kush will be next. What's that usually up by, Seth? One or two-ish? Yeah. Yeah, as soon as I get home, I'll put it up today. Okay. Probably abbreviated one just because I'm just, oh, I was I was taping till, I was taping till 7 o'clock last night here at the studios. How did you two four six it, or you didn't? I, I couldn't. I'm completely off. Oh, I'm just you four yeah. six eight, man. So today is gonna be a has to be a readjustment day, even though it's midweek. So, haven't been to the gym this week. I'm just really down on myself. Uh, but Clem and Kush will be up next, and I can't even tell you where that's gonna be. What, what, what do you mean? I mean, I, I can't tell you what we're going to talk about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What kind of mood you're going to be in or how much you pissed me off or anything like that. That's so, but I'm, so I'm, fun. I think all of that's in play. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, iHeart, uh, Spotify, uh, iTunes, Apple Music, or you can just go and good old Bubba Army HQ. Go and sign up for that. It's free to be a grunt. Uh, all you have to do is create a screen name and give us an email, and then we're well on our way. Jay, do you like the uh, $10,000 Diaco Cash Cube? I think it's a pretty good idea. Yeah, thank you, my friend. Uh, what, now, will you look into the legalities of us being able to put a golden boob ticket in there? Yes. Okay, buddy. Absolutely. We'll see you uh, later for Clem and Kush. Appreciate you. <laughs> Thanks for letting me finish. You've been listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show, starring me, Bubba the Love Sponge, co-host and show historian, Lummox, co-host, Anna Hummel, co-host, Dr. Dan Diaco Esquire of Council, co-host, J. Diaco Esquire, the Spitting Cobra of Council, Brett, the Filthy Ginger video editor. Yeah, back here wearing shit up. It's Mini Macho. The BRN agent, Thomas Buttoned Up Bean. And for everything else, go to TheBubbaArmy.com. Now, Time for the legal disclaimer. Exactly. The Bubba the Love Sponge Show is intended solely for the enjoyment of our listening audience. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or other use of this show without express written consent of the Bubba Radio Network is prohibited. We must dissuade him of this delusion. Until next time, always remember. Oh,